Mike, 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 Mike. I think we're good. I think we're great. Okay. Let's do this. If I do something like this, and if I push this button right here, is that from... Oh, it was something on the screen. Okay. I think we're fine. I think we're good. Yo, we good? Yes, we're good. Okay. You have a new Alpha and Omega patch to install. It's gonna take 25 years. Yeah, you know. Okay. Get me in there. Let's see if I do a little something, something like this. Boom. And then we kill the giga awesome Undertale low fi beat. Boom. And then, if I do a little something, something like this, and this, we're all good. It's a black screen, but we're all good. Don't worry about it. Okay. Papa Franco! Ah, oh, shit, it's broken. That's good. Okay. Now, where did we leave off? We were in chapter four. Skeletons in the closet. And the way I understand it is... I, I was in Paradise VR. Okay. So I did the friendship thing that unlocked in this chapter. Uh, grant a little bit of money. There is a painting in Paradise VR that I have not yet gotten, but we will do so eventually. I'm not going to waste too much time on it just yet. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to move forwards with the main story and a little, little, little bit so we can unlock more stuff. And to my understanding, I think the game wants me to go back to or go to Tender. I thought it was my agency, but you know, it is what it is. Let's just do that. Take a look. The handshake icons are looking pretty good. I can't progress with this just yet. I have to unlock more friends so I can recommend friends over to that guy. Um, there was a friend in here. I fixed that. I don't know why he's not there anymore, but you know. Uh, this one is Madoka, and that's about it. Okay, cool, cool. To tender we go. To tender we go. I also have quite a bit of money. If you take a look, I have damn dude, three point four milli, just chili. If I can get to like chapter seven today, I'll be a happy man. No, oh, there it is. There it is. That little freeze, I think that's my PS4 showing its age. Ryan, I know you're trying to help, but you just threw that bomb at me. Again! That hit my butt! What the hell, bro? Ryan, please, dude! Be on your little more merry way, alright? Leave me alone. Uh, I don't think we have that much more left of chapter 4, to be honest with you. Let me just go ahead and top my health off. Give me a soba and hot broth, yo. Now that these colder months are upon us, fam. Hell yeah, brother, you know what I mean? Give me that.
Back to it. Arigatou gozaimashita! Ryan, please. We've been over this. I'm a connoisseur. I'm a connoisseur. Hey Swift, welcome family. How you doing? You must be making a killing with the state this city's in. Ain't that right, Ayabe? And it's all thanks to you. Do you know anything about the Matsugane shooting last night? Not too much, no. But hey, I thought you got Higashi for all your Matsugane needs now. Word travels fast. Who told you that? Kaito. Just now. Huh? You forget how to keep a secret, Kaito-san? Or are you trying to get your buddy killed? Higashi's screwed if Hamura finds out he's been helping us. Look, man. There's no point keeping stuff from Ayabe. Better to just tell him up front than have him find out somewhere else. What can I say? I'm a professional. Sure. Professional snitch. Ooh. If the shoe fits. But sorry. I really don't have much for you today. Say what? You telling me I bought you a drink for nothing? What? Are times too tough to buy around? Here. Let me at least repay you for the booze. Go on. Heh. <laughs> Did you know Hamura's in hiding? He's been out of the office ever since last night. Not even the cops can find the guy. <sighs> yeah, Higashi told us as much, actually. You charging us for this old news? I'm starting to wonder here. Okay, okay, fine. You want answers? Go ahead and ask. Everything's on the house for tonight. Very generous of you. I'd rather talk business than sit here in silence anyway. Sounds good to me. Let me think. Pretty good, good. Good thing I got popcorn. Ooh, popcorn sounds nice. I'm pretty good too. I'm a bit tired, worn out, and stressed. But overall, I'm pretty good. Uh, started the stream off a little later this time around because I... I had a phone call to make and I needed some shut eye actually, so I just rested for a bit, you know what I mean? Because it's gonna be a sick session today, we're gonna make a lot of progress. Uh, I have another game I wanna get to. Hey, Disco Jensen, welcome. How are you doing, family? Um, I have another game lined up, but I don't wanna disrespect this game and just rush through it. But I feel like I have a pretty good idea of where I wanna go. Like, we're completing all of the friendship quests. Uh, we unlocked Paradise VR, and apparently there's this, there's this thing called... Don't tell her? Oh, I have it right here! I have it right here, Swift! I have, I have it right here, Swift! It's right here, Swift! <laughs> you sure you don't want another surprise? It's still wrapped! <laughs> uh, I have a good idea, but in order to like maximize our efforts... We have to progress a little bit more. Now! Let's get these SP stars. <sighs> Why did the Kyore clan come to Kamurocho? Why are the Kyore and Kamurocho to begin with? What's a Kansai group doing this far from home? Because they wanted turf in Tokyo. Duh. Even if it meant war with the Tojo? They couldn't have the numbers for that. True. Compared to the Tojo's 25,000, Kyore have a meager thousand at most. Plus, Kamurocho is not exactly their home turf. And by that logic, they don't stand a chance. And yet they've been here almost two years now. Crazy when you think about it. Even the cops put money on the Tojo clan, crushing them into dust. So, what's the holdup then? The Kyore has the backing of the Kajihiro group. In other words, a lot of fucking money. We haven't heard Kaji of the Kajihara Hira. group. Isn't he a construction bigwig? Yep. And one of his subsidiaries is the perfect Kyore cover. I suppose you'd know it better as KJ Art. Yeah, ah, we're familiar. Okay. Makes sense. They would never have made inroads in Kamurocho without some big time financial backing. What does Kajihira have to do with the Kyore? Why is he funding Yakuza? 
Probably so he can expand east out of Kansai. The real money's out here anyway. From what I hear, he's got some big redevelopment plans for Tokyo. What kind of plans are we talking? Not a clue. But if they're coming from Kansai to do it, shit's gotta be important. And there's always dirty work with those kind of jobs, you know? Like what? Evictions, land sharks, laying the political groundwork. The Kyore is handling all that shit for Kajihira. At least, that's the word on the street. Yeah, thanks. These rumors of yours are gonna do us a ton of good. Well, what I know for sure is that the Kajihira CEO's been up in Tokyo a lot lately. Schmoozing with politicians, government officials, even Kazumi, the head of the Ministry of Health. Why would a construction guy be talking to someone from the Health Ministry? What's the connection? Beats me. Point is, the Kyore aren't here just for Yakuza shit. It's way more complicated than that. So what's happening in the Matsugane family right now? How are things in the Matsugane family? Well, you already know about the shooting. Their hands are tied while the cops are running the show. So, yeah, they've been pretty quiet. That's it? That's all you have for me? Okay. Alophon! A lot of fucking money. <laughs> real estate is always big money. Yeah, I wish we had real estate business in this game. The board game is, uh, it seems fun though. It seems fun though. I've run like uh, three or four uh, rounds of it and uh, I, I, I did not feel like it was a drag at all. It was it was good. Let's see. I, I feel like this is a... It, it ruins the mood and it's like... It it should not be asked in the sequence of why did the Kyure clan come to Kamarucha and what's happening in Matsugane. But by the way, how does it feel to be called a piece of shit? Nah, how's Kamarucha been lately? How's Kamarucha seemed to you Easy. lately? <laughs> Tense. And that shooting only made things worse. Nobody knows when the next fight will break out, or where a stray bullet might end up. Right. And our killer's only gone for Yakuza so far, but he could target anyone next. Gunfights? A murderer on the loose? This city's a mess. <laughs> you got that right. By the way, Amura might have walked, but the cops are still pretty fixated on this mole case. Even the public's wondering who'll be next. Huh. How does it feel to be called a piece of shit? <laughs> Just wondering. How does it feel when people call you a dirty cop? Eh, anyone who knows that side of me ain't exactly a saint either, you know? Good point. That's the pot calling the kettle black, or the kettle calling the pot black, whatever. <laughs> yeah. After Guess a couple so. of drinks, it's all the same, isn't it? <laughs> I should get going. Lovely. All right. I gotta go. Already? You're a busy boy. Yeah. Call me a Kaito boy. san Huh? Yagami and Kaito, yes. What an honor. Tokyo Police. The name's Kuroiwa. Mitsuru Kuroiwa. Kuroiwa. The one who almost put Hamura behind bars, before you two pulled him out of my grasp. Huh. <laughs> so what? <laughs> I've become a department punchline now. It I have you to is. think. Hmm, you're very welcome. And I see you're here too, <laughs> Ayabe. Oh, Kuroiwa-san. Nice nights. It's great to see you. Yeah. I cut out of work to grab a few drinks. You doing the same, Ayabe? Nah, <laughs> old me? I don't play hooky. Well, we should be on our way. Hey, let me ask before you go. The Okubo case. You let that murderer get off scot-free. After which he burned his poor girlfriend to death. And yet, here we are with another murderer roaming the streets of this city. I 
wonder who the next victim will be. That's your question? How you should I You consider that. Yagami Sensei. Man. What a dick. But if even Ayabe is intimidated by him, I wonder what there is to him. Oh no, I see the bottom of the popcorn bag and I see burnt popcorn. Oh no, ruined. You good talk? <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm, I'm used to dealing with assholes like that. What was Kuroiwa doing there anyway? I bet he knows about Ayabe's little side gig. Probably came to keep him from chirping too much. Right. Or maybe he wanted to keep an eye on us. Hope not. I don't need that guy breathing down our necks. Anyway, you want to head home? Not yet. Something's bugging me about the Kyore clan. What do you mean? Until today, I just thought they were here scouting out some new turf in Kamurocho. But it turns out they've got a construction conglomerate behind them, and they're involved in redevelopment, too. So you want to figure out who the real Kyore is? Not a bad idea. But how are we going to investigate it? You don't remember? We have a friend on the inside. <laughs> you mean Morase? Oh yeah. Come on, let's head to KJ Art. He requires some paintings. I don't see anything else that has popped up, so I think we are quite safe. Let's hit it. To go over there. Clean up, Tom. Swift is having her own little uh, popcorn anime arc over there. I wonder who's gonna win. <laughs> oh, come, what is this phrase, dude? Hey, talk. We're getting close to KJR. Hey, you want to bust out the drone? See what our old friend Murase is up to? Yeah, should be pretty easy to find him this time. <laughs> right this way. We might be up to some nasty shit. Wait, you want to go up here? Just grab this real quick. Bam. Uh, excuse me. This motherfucker. Right, it's spy time. <laughs> I was about okay, to fly the drone, fly. but I was like, wait, maybe you the game must initiate anyone coming something. In or out. Is that him over there? Ah. Hello there, buddy. Oh, 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 because oh, this view is obviously better than the other one. Obviously. Oh, no, no, no. There he no, is. You got it, game. You got it. You got it. <laughs> right where I expected. Yeah, not so sure it's that simple, though. Take another look. Morase's alone. Oh, what? Your point being? Hands up. <laughs> oh, shit. Fair play. You know, that Matsugane guy died at our hands. Always knew we'd get some Tojo clan boys sent over here. So, you see, we've been expecting guests this whole time. Yagami-san. <laughs> ideas, Kaito-san? I, uh... You're the ideas guy, aren't you? Damn it. If you two clowns really were Tojo clan, we'd have gouged your eyes out by now. What the hell is 
Town's sure noisy, huh? No one will care about, say, a couple of gunshots up here. Whose bright idea was this? This guy. Oh, is that really how it's gonna be, Kaito-san? <laughs> and just who are you? The bus was right Good there question, and Kaito -san. pushed me under it. Satoshi Shioya's the name. Satoshi Shioya. The Kyori clan's captain, huh? Higashi mentioned him. Hey, get some cuffs on these fools. I've got some burning hot questions to ask them. <laughs> you ready? I think we're gonna have a little fun. You think I'm messing around? Take him out now! No! Shoot him! Shit! You? Why? Is this really the time? Fair enough. First of all, Kaito, what the fuck Come was that? On. Let's move! You don't know how many there were. You could have gotten us killed. Best case scenario, only I would have died. But still, I want to live, motherfucker. Damn! Okay. Now! Spin the hurt a little bit. Who's the dude with the mask? I don't know yet, but his name... The name that we have is Jester. Okay, now... Would you like a flux fissure on your tummy, mate? Oh shit! Or maybe a tiger claw. Okay. Ah, it's a fucking tiger drop. Look at them just walking. Okay, while well, you guys do that. What are you doing? Hey guys, come on! Take him out, boys! Okay. Fucking hell, hyper armor! Oh my god! We got rocked. Let's go ahead and uh, grab ourselves an Odin. Hmm. Actually, Caldo. Yeah. Wasted that Odin, but it is what it is. It's fine. Is that all you got? Bye, bitch. We just killed someone. Christ. This fight is a mess. Ah! As a bad bitch. <laughs> bye, Felicia. Okay. Tie it up! Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. There you go! Get tiger drop, son! Ooh. He's up, he's up, he's up, he's up! Is it worth healing? I feel like it is. He's up, he's up, he's up. Take one for the team, boys. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, I didn't even get the kill, man. <laughs>
stepping on him and shit. Kaito, what the hell? That's enough. Come on, let's roll. Yeah, no reason to stay here. We owe you one. You should come with us. Hmm. Yes? Coming? Sure. May as well. Wait. Just like that? Hold up. I'm not letting you assholes get away that easily. Yakuza don't fuck around. <laughs> you three are gone. Hit him so hard he gets amnesia and forgets about it. <laughs> well, shit. You're not half as ugly as I figured you were. <laughs> what? What can I say? Not a good idea? Well, not like I'll get very far with it on, you know? <laughs> okay. Let's go. Kaito's impressed. I don't think I've seen this motherfucker anywhere before, though, so... Let's get a name to him first. See, had this been Yakuza like a dragon, Guys, that would have been a new party what member. the hell were you thinking coming here? What? You don't want us around? No. It's just, if Captain Hamura saw you here, he... How's he gonna find us if he's off the grid? What are you worried about? Yeah, but... Forget it. Who's your friend? Don't carry the mask around, would you like that? I'm Sugiura. Fumiya Sugiura. You kind of cute, don't tell my boyfriend. This isn't it's the first time garden. Sugira here has saved my neck. That mask. Ain't that the symbol of some big time burglary ring? It is, but I bailed on that. I'm flying solo now. What were you doing over by KJR? Don't want to talk. You've been stalking me. No, I just don't know where to start. It's kind of complicated. Hmm? Okay, well. I used to work for the Kajihira group, down at their headquarters in Kansai. You mean the guys backing the Kilray clan? Yeah. I had a job doing IT work for them for a bit. Keeping their servers safe, that kind of stuff. I was their systems engineer. An ex-Kajihara guy turned criminal, huh? Go on. Well, one day I noticed some accounting data was off. They were cooking the books. Really? Turns out the top guys were making a slush fund. They stashed away millions, writing it all off as some vague business expense. Digging it all up was kind of a thrill. <sighs> Until I got caught. Everything happened so fast after that. They accused me of embezzling company funds and threw me out on the street. Nobody would believe a word I said. But I knew where the money was going. A group of Yakuza known as the Kyorei clan. Specifically, a shell company called KJ Art. If I could just prove it, I'd be able to get back at the bastards who cheated me. So Sugiyara got a grudge against the Kajihara group. Which is why you were staking out the place. I've been keeping watch over there for a while now. <laughs> I even saw you break in and beat the crap out of Murase. Assuming all that's true, why did you rescue us? You remember when you asked to team up, Yagami-san? I thought about it, and... It seems like a pretty good deal. Might be worth putting our heads together for a while. Me and the Yagami Detective Agency. <laughs> Especially you, Kaito-san. Huh? No matter how many Yakuza come to take you down, you always have it handled. It's incredible. <laughs> what can I say? You got a good eye, kid. He has a new fan. And don't let it go to your head. Hey, can you guys please take this shit elsewhere? 
understandable. So, what do you say? I'm not saying we've got to become best buddies, but we can at least give each other a hand. How? You want your mole? I want the Kyore clan. We might not be after the same thing, but there's a lot of overlap. How can I get in touch with you? The sound is coming from my <laughs> controller. That Stop it. You're missing How the hell up my you setup. Do that? I took your phone, remember? Not like I had to hack it or anything. Uh, kids these days. Okay. You know, I kind of like this Sugiura kid. A I little compliment you. really won you over, huh? It's not like I fully trust him yet, man. We scratch his back, he scratches ours. As long as that's all he wants, I'm good. Agreed. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to the office. Cool. Later, man. Later, bro. If I keep chuckling, I may as well just watch and not munch on popcorn. You know, you don't want to munch on the burn stuff anyway, right? What? Tim. Oh my god. Uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see about that. We'll Look, see. I need to close up shop. So you mind getting out of here? Not that you should have come to begin with. Are, are these flies flying about? Is it dust? Like, whatever it is, you gotta fix that, bro. You gotta fix that. You gotta fix that bench too, alright? Okay, back to our agency. This is the wrong way, yep. Wow, the bad guy spawned right outside. Interesting. Uh, 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 there. I can run over there. Or I could grab a cab. I'm grabbing a cab. Screw it. Okay. I should invest some points into upgrading my HP, for example, because I I'm realizing is if I get like mortally wounded. I'm not playing with a lot. And motherfuckers hurt when they hit. Mushy mushy. Hmm? The bark. Hello? We're about to get the scoop on Mari. I thought if you were free, you might be interested. You know? hmm? What? What are you playing at? That woman wouldn't talk about herself to save her life. Maybe, but tonight's the night, buddy. Especially with you around. What, she has a crush on me, man? Why's that? Some other regulars are playing a little betting game to see if they can guess what she does for a living. Thing is, nobody's got it right yet, so I figure that's where you come in, detective. <sighs> is that a side quest? No, that's the main story. What the heck? No more. I do not comprehend this game sometimes, man. Yeah, I want to fight for sure, for sure. No? Okay, fuck that. Okay, let's play a little game then. So, a nurse, right? Gotta be a nurse. You think a nurse could go out drinking by herself every night? They're busy and tired. Mm. Maybe you're in the press then. Mm. <laughs> I hope journalists are so bored they go out drinking every night either. I don't know, motherfucker, you an alcoholic? <laughs> it's not a profession. A wine taster. Hey. <laughs> This is Yagami. A new challenger approaches and this one is a detective. Watch out, Mari. Huh? Okay. <sighs> yeah, I got this, man. You want him, man? It's 10,000 yen anti- What? Hmm. Uh. <laughs> eh? Eh? <laughs> hey. Okay. Let's, let's, I mean, it's a main storyline mission, so let's go. Yeah. 
Okay, let's put our heads together. Let's figure this out. <laughs> You're welcome to observe. Take all the time you need. The socialite secrets. Alright, I guess I'll see what I can glean from her apparel and body language. I mean, she might be a hostess. Uh-huh. Oh, wait, is there a cat in here? Yeah. Right? No? There's no cat in here? Is that what you're saying? Okay. No cats. Now, you have this necklace. Suspicious. Very. That necklace has some expensive stones. Certainly didn't come from the discount date. Hmm. If she bought it herself, she is doing just fine on her own. But it could also have been a gift from a guy. Then again, if she's here every night, chances are low that she's serious with anyone right now. Maybe she's already married? Then we check her finger. Hey. Ah. No ring. Not even a callus where one would have been. I gotta assume that she's not married. Nice. That's useful info. Her nails are nicely manicured. That probably means having long nails and nail polish don't interfere with her job. Mm. Wait, what? <coughs> oh. Pennies. Mm. That material isn't cheap, and the design is classy too. Probably a luxury brand. No way she goes through the hassle of dressing up to come to drink. But no way she wears that to work either. Mm. Could she be a freelancer of some sort? Oh, 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 oh. My man. Welcome to the stream family, how you doing? What about her makeup or hair? Hey. That's a wig. That color is a bold choice. It's safe to assume wherever she works isn't super conservative. <laughs> that's that's Swift's reward, man. Every time that's being played, I assume that's Swift. I would say a hostess, man. Your hair is dyed and your nails are done, so you clearly don't have a job that would impose rules upon you. Doing good, fam? How is judgment treating you? Uh, we just started actually. How has it already been 42 minutes? I feel like we haven't done shit. But we're still in chapter 4. No ring means no husband. You don't know that. You don't know that. You're dressed to the nines down to the accessories. Clearly, you have money. And the fact that you're here every night means you aren't working a very demanding hour. <sighs> One of these days I'm gonna be sleeping and someone's going to redeem it. <laughs> Still, even if someone else redeems it, I'm like, hey, that reminded me of Swift Man. It's a damn shame she's sleeping. <laughs> I'm right so far, huh? <laughs> okay, let's figure this out. I can't believe this is main storyline shit. How can you confirm that, boy toy, toy boy, whatever the fuck toy, boy? <laughs> I couldn't help but notice earlier, you paid your tab with a black card, right? Mm -hmm. Can't you only get one of those if you're filthy rich? Yeah. I don't know, motherfucker, but she's rich. Hmm. A CEO's lover. A side piece, even. I'll go that far. She ain't no fucking doctor and she ain't no fucking author. Actually, she might be an author. But there is nothing that indicates that she would be one. Yeah, CEO's lover, man. But that's not an occupation, though. Shit. 
to spending money however you want, I'm going to say you're romantically involved with a CEO. And the reason you're here alone is because he doesn't make time for you. Because he's chilling with his main piece. Listen! <laughs> Am I right? She makes sense to me, son. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, shit, CEO is sketchy. There could be a lot of labels and titles here, you know? Oh, you fucking cooked. You dumb. <laughs> real estate manager. If she's in real estate, could she be a part of Kajihara Group? Oh, get the fuck out of here. What are you, an author? <laughs> huh? hmm. She must be an author. <sighs> mm. Reload now. Nah, nah, nah. We gotta, we gotta. Oh, let's tell her true. I feel like every option would be wrong. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. Ah, great, awesome. Bro, bro, bro. I wrote the book on being discreet and tailing you. Huh? Peep this! <laughs> I got this. Yeah. She's the wife of a Yakuza. Ah. There she is. Let's stalk her. Are they gonna do the scene thing? This scene is so ominous. I hate it. <laughs> it's creepy. Okay. We're gonna be here for five minutes. I can tell you right now, she's not gonna be go to fucking write no damn book. How many stalking quests have you done, mate? I swear. It's like upwards of 10 now, it feels like. And have I gotten better at them? No, I can't say that I have. Let her walk, let her walk, I can't hide here. Turning around. Ah, 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 ah. You see nothing. You see. I'm not losing. She's right there. Yeah, you know. She's gonna turn around. Holy shit. Isn't that. No, you're not even looking this way! Oh my god, are we gonna walk toward Champion District all the way, fam? Oh, Jesus Christ. Move, Ma, please move. A lady can never be too careful. It's a crowded street, what are you talking about? Bug the fuck out. Discreet. See, that's the freeze I was talking about. This, this type of shit right here. Huh? Hey, that's a strip club. Marie? No, I can't. I can't read that. High end soap land. Hey, don't get the wrong idea. A friend of mine has a little thing going on at the beauty salon. Okay, you don't have to explain yourself to me. 
You knew I was following you? Yeah, I figured you would, and the odds were in my favor. She was right in front of me. How did you... I'm a detective? For real? Damn, she's onto me. <laughs> just who are you, Marie? But I may have a chance if she's going to work now. I just have to make sure she doesn't catch me. Marie would recognize me in a heartbeat, of course. Maybe I should... Uh... It's time for Janitor Caragol to come into play here. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother! There we go. <laughs> this should make it harder for her to recognize me. I am Bramsama. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, there's no way! Hey dog, I heard you like a tailing mission, so I gave you a tailing mission after another tailing mission, so have fun. Now he looks absolutely dead inside? What, Yagami or me? <laughs> Why is there a vampire following me? Would be the immediate question coming to mind. I'm gonna stare into this wall now. Yeah, I got me. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> Man, why are you Isn't so that... suspicious? I am one with the shadows. You see nothing. I can't believe this shit right here, man. Oh, wow, yeah, you know, suspicious, dude. <laughs> Must have been a rat. Mm, a lady can never be too careful. Was probably a house settling in. Must have been the for Halloween in fifth grade. A vampire princess to be exact. I looked hella creepy because mom did my makeup and hair. I can imagine. Bam, please. Is, is, she, is she like a worker in the bowling alley or some shit? Paradise VR? Like... Why are these segments so long? Oh well, I've been noticed. Get the fuck out of the way, lady. A lady can never be too careful.
Shut the fuck up, bitch. Backseat D's nuts. That's your favorite one, huh? Welcome, Pikachu. Wagwan, brother. Wagwan. We still haven't figured that one out. Hey, it doesn't matter what you say. You will get it. You will get it eventually, bro. <laughs> you say you know, but here you are. And here we are. <laughs> Motherfucker, move. I've been here for 15 minutes. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, my life. Okay. <laughs> we have circled the entire town, fam. <laughs> no, it's not. God, I hate this. I hate this so much, dude. You have lost your target. Oh, shut the fuck up, man. This is padding out the game hours. This is padding out the game hours. Yeah, she couldn't see him when his head was peeking over half the thing she's hiding behind us. It's a fucking vampire. Once you spot him, it's gonna be like... I'm not... Is she, the bitch is right there! Where is she? There she is! There she is. Oh my god! Oh, now I'm going with the shadows again! A lady can yeah. never be too careful. Okay, we did it, dude. No more tailing missions ever again, game. Thank you. Hmm? Just thank you. No, don't tell me. Find Marie's secret. Marie's secret? He is a car dealer at Lamont. She's a bunny girl from Lamont. I'm doing great, just chilling after waking myself up to music from Terminite. Terminite? How's Pikachu doing today? Well, what, what's she been up to? Hmm? She's a bunny girl. That's her secret. Open the door. Oh my god. Got it. Good job. Talk. How could you tell? Besides, I had a hunch that you might follow me. My favorite two songs are Beast Mode and Firepower. How about you, Pete? Huh? <laughs> but how? Impossible. I guess I know you would be the type to call my bluff. The bluff. Hey. Don't you get it? Welcome to what I do for a living. I'm a gambler. You're a gambler? That's right. A gambler only works when she's feeling lucky. I'm good, brother. Not been doing too much today. It sounds like a nice, lazy Friday, man. That's my little secret. A little envious, little jelly. But, uh, it's all good. <laughs> Makes sense why the idea of betting pool excited you, too. I only did it for fun at first, you know, but then I kept winning, and uh, <laughs> here we are. I'm a millionaire now. Now you're counting cards. 
And now you have a black card, is that it? But the others are chomping at the bit to find out, I assume. Tell you what. If I pay you, will you keep the secret? Yes. But make it a monthly thing. Yeah, that damn me. Can't exactly have rumors spreading that I make my fortunes in illegal casinos. Did she just give me a uh, hundred K? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do you say? Wanna see how you fare in my line of work? Yeah, I'm a beast at blackjack. Uh, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, I mean, that's all I gotta say. Still saving my game, though. You know what I mean? Uh, sport Highland, Sport Highland, Sport Highland. I don't think we have it, honestly. I thought I was supposed to gamble, bro. But I guess I'll just leave. And she disappeared as well, so... Okay. Yeah, you know, that works. Whatever. Ah! Ah, fuck. Entire place up. I got the quality wire. I'm off. Okay. Fine. Oh my god, leave me alone. Oh, who ate the cake? Uh, what's her profession? Uh, fuck! Find the lost kitten. Leave me alone, man. Do I need to eat? I need to eat. You can play many different sports in Sport Holland. Like badminton and stuff. Ah, boxing. Nice. Special tuna bowl. Ooh. Okay. Kokoroiki. Give me kokoroiki. I want kokoroiki. I got it. Comes with a large bowl of miso soup. Too. And I have room for more. I'm almost going for nap time, but it's 11.45 a.m. We should Back be going for it. lunch. Listen, again, again, again. This time around, I'm going to the bowl. Yeah. Okay. Back to it. That's a great activity. You know? Do the thing. Do the thing. You missed. I can't believe you done this. Pikachu looking out for other people sleeping up. Bro, 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 you shit up. Go kick rocks. You? Excuse me, sir? Grab There it is. It has hyper armor. Grab him. Good. Okay, now. He's really, still guys? throwing bombs. Ryan, you gotta relax. Okay. Leave me alone, man. Why y'all gotta fight with me, man? Just leave me alone. Uh, there it is. I ooh, I have gifts. What you got? What you got? What you got? I'm just saying, cuz I know I'm a fucking profession when it comes to messing up my schedule. Yo, fucking. I think that's something everyone in this community has in common. I'm the same way. Give me, a, give me a vacation. If I, if I have some free time off, I will turn into a night owl, fam. I'll go to bed when normal people wake up. <laughs> or later. 
Got it. I'm so fucked up when it comes to that. I will be up for so long that I can go out to buy breakfast buns, like fresh breakfast buns, come home, not eat it, go to bed. <laughs> I'm weird, man. <laughs> Hello? Yagami-san. Um, this is Sari. What's up, Sari-san? You don't usually call me. It sounds like a good idea in my mind as well. I haven't I been able to reach Shintani Sensei. Two more hours. It keeps going to voicemail. He hasn't picked up since he left the office after talking to you. Mm hmm. And? Didn't you say the Kyori clan was after him? Yeah. He'll be fine. I just wanted to give him a scare. Okay. Still. Could you try him for me? Sometimes he ignores my calls. Maybe he'll pick up for you. Are you sure we're talking about the same guy? <laughs> but I might as well. Can't hurt to try. Is he hiding in my closet? Hi, Shintani here. Uh, hey, Shintani Sensei, it's Tak. Where are you? voicemail box of the one and only Masamichi Shintani, Genda Law Office's finest His attorney. His eyes were gouged out. Shintani. Leave your legal troubles after the beep. Mm. Interesting. Very fucking interesting. Okay. I gotta review the, uh, the the previous stream. There might be a clue in there. The Tojo clan is struck by Kyure clan gunfire. Kamarocho's disarray only spreads wider. On the surface, the diagram resembles a Yakuza turf war. But in the shadows are glimpses of a construction firm and political influence. And in Yagami's own shadow, Who the mole's else was sharp in that office? claws claim yet another victim. Chapter 5. Days Gone By. Days Gone, by the way? Mint game. Very well done. What do you mean he's dead? He's dead, motherfucker! Didn't you just say everything would be okay? Stay calm, sorry, son. I'm just as shocked as you. But I think the mole is responsible. <sighs> Have you contacted the police? No, not yet. You should do that right away, then. Do you think you could make the call, Sari-san? What? I need time to check things out before the cops show up and take over. Please. Yeah, okay. Thanks. Why drag her into this? Well, he said some shit he shouldn't have last time we met. I'm guessing this is a direct consequence of that. And the fact that his body was in my office means that the mole is onto me as well. I finally got my boyfriend up. Hmm. He's going to the bathroom right now. If he wants, I'll lurk on my phone. And once my tablet will allow... There's a cat in here? 
once my tablet will allow me to use it, I will be putting Twitch, YouTube, and a few games on it. Lol, this scene is when my fam... Can we please... Yo, we gotta update your phone, fam. We gotta get some commas and periods in this bitch! <laughs> oh, look! Fucking Pikachu's doing the same thing in Swedish. Oh, no, wait, he has an ellipses at the end. I'm fucking dumb when it comes to that. Shut up, cat. <laughs> Fuck y'all, man. Where's the cat? <laughs> Where? <laughs> I found you, bitch. What the? <laughs> A black cat. Now I'm mad superstitious. <laughs> His shoes are clean. I bet he didn't go outside with him. <laughs> Bullet holes. <laughs> that must be the cause. <laughs> I failed English. I'm sorry. Ah, it's cool. It's cool. I'll just suffer. It's okay. <laughs> okay, bro. I'll fix it for you. Here we fucking go. Now, if I know Pikachu right, if I know Pikachu, this motherfucker is gonna write the same message three more times. First time, he says, oh wait, I thought I fixed it, but I fucked something else up. Second time around, he will focus and he will write it out and it will like be pretty much perfect, but he missed something. And then the third time, we'll all accept it. <laughs> <laughs> your nap bar? What the fuck is your nap bar? It's for Timo. <laughs> oh man. Okay. That must be the cause of death. But that's not the most usual ammo. <laughs> Holy shit. Suspicious. His eyes are gouged out. Same as the mole's other victims. That's it? What about Shintani's phone? Might be a good place to look. <sighs> I get loony in the head when it comes to that. <laughs> If I stay up for a whole day and get really tired of them around like 12, 2-ish, I'll be thinking, oh, you know, I'll take a power nap for two hours. But then I wake up at like 11 p.m. and just laugh my ass off. There it is, boys. There it is. There it is. Wait, are the shades like a sensor in this area? Sensor? Explain. Let's, let's call this phone. <laughs> this man is a master troll. <laughs> Where is it coming from? It's coming from behind me. God? Hey. What? Yeah, that's exactly where I look. How did you know? How did you know? Shintani was in here. Maybe his phone is here too. Nope, no phone. Sounds like the vibration is coming from. Get the fuck out of my ear, dummy. <laughs> Stepping all over the body. I'm stuck! Wait, what's in the box? What's in the box? Oh my god, so slow. Floorboard. Ah, no blood on the floor. <laughs> the plant. Bro, it's literally suspicious. Yeah, it's maybe under the chair. Nope. Sounds like the vibration is coming from the body. It 
And something is pushing me, dude! Wait. Oh my god. This is the most triggering sound in the world. It's like a fucking <laughs> hornet's nest in my ear. Where's the fucking phone? Where's the fucking phone? Wait, wait. What the? Hey. Suspicious. Hmm? Hey. It's helping your headache? Yeah, it's doing the, you know, opposite for me. What about under the table? No, you said it's... Can I flip this motherfucker? Wait, is this gonna give me SP? Hmm? Is it under the sofa? No. Okay. The game would not plant the phone in his crotch area. They would not do that. So we go. There it is. The game is fucking pushing me, dude. Ah, there it is. Chintani's phone. I should take a closer look. I probably drained the fucking thing out of its battery, dude. Oh my god. Sweet relief. Holy shit. I'm gonna play some GTA 4B out back. Have fun, bro. Or text messages. His called history should tell me everything I need to know. Most of these are to Genda's office. All of them except the last number he called. Does it go... Up to the, does it descend or does it ascend? What does it do? Normally a phone doesn't buzz that long anyways. How is it not dead? That's what I'm saying. Shintani called just a few hours ago before his death. Who was he talking to? Do we call back? We tampered with evidence. And worse, I don't understand how this is gonna work out. Like someone else who was not in the vicinity of this area reported a body was found. We received a call from the Genda Law Office. Yeah, that a body was found in a different office? You got here fast, Detective Kuroiwa. That's suspicious. Shintani. That's suspicious. Huh? Yeah. His name has been coming up a lot lately. He's the reason Hamura walked, after all. <laughs> Perhaps you couldn't stand his newfound fame so you often. You would like huh? that. I heard you two weren't exactly on good terms. <laughs> Do you greet everyone by accusing them of murder? Guess that's just how cops like you operate. Forensics will be here soon. We will need you present as a resident of the property. After that, we'll need some time to investigate. How long? You'll have to find somewhere else to stay tonight at the very least. I don't have money for that. Yet you can afford driving a car. A million, rather. Hayabe's sources aren't even that reliable. Don't know what you mean. Oh, I'm sure you do. Yeah, sorry. I had to wait around for the cops to get here. Is Genda Sensei still at the office? Yes. He wants to talk to you about Chintani. As do I. Hoshino, too. Okay, I'll head over now. See you soon. This is what the entire game has been about, by the way. If you just break it down to what the little info box is telling you at the top right, every single fucking time it's go to the Yagami Agency, go to Tender, or go to fucking Genda Law Office. Uh, that's fine. Y you assumed I ain't say shit. Go away, Kim. Damn. You should have like a zip line, fucking 
Apex Legend style and just. Yes, we're doing it. Let's go! Go, 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 go between the offense like that. Hell yeah, that was a good one, Ryan. That's one. Fuck Fujihara. You had a knife, right? Let me hold that real quick. Wait! Thanks, Ryan. See you, Ryan. Okay, now, do we have any more friends or like side quests? We do have a new friend. Question mark. And we have a new side case. We have two new side cases. Uh... Wait, can I, can I, can I, can I actually do this? Can I go back into my office? I know it's a crime scene, currently. However... Okay, simmer down. I'm a man on a mission, don't you know? Oh, I can't go in there. Okay, that's fair. Um, in that case... Let's go over here. Take care of him. He's fine. Okay. Let's see what we got. Hey. You there. There is something I must tell you. Hmm? Me? Is she trying to sell me something? Should I hear her out? I don't want to really deal with this, but let's do it. Lend an ear. This is a scam. What about? A disaster will befall you. A calamity of water, to be specific. Oh. Is someone gonna redeem Hydrate one too many times? <laughs> I've never put so much stock in fortune telling, lady. Thanks, but no thanks. This is no fortune. It's a prophecy. I woke up to my boyfriend's stinky ass chihuahua pomeranian above my head. I let him off the hook for doing it because I had stuff to do. I see the stuck to the day. In other words, I have seen your future. You cannot escape fate. Okay then. No one defies their fate. Tread carefully, that's a threat. Threat and a thread of hope. It will happen sooner than you think. <sighs> Thanks for the warning. For the threat and the threat. Probably preys on people's insecurities to lure them into whatever she's shilling. Wow, it came true. Watch it, bitch! I told you it would happen, but you know that puddle would be there. He's probably in cahoots with you. A calamity of water. Once again, my prophecy comes to fruition. Wasn't that just a coincidence? It's inevitable. There is no such thing. All that happens is a predetermined certainty. Oh, I get it. You're in it together with the guy on the bike, right? If you think I'm trying to swindle you for money, you couldn't be more wrong. I only wish to forewarn people of impending doom. Nah. Right, sure. Okay, lady. Shoto. Hey, I'm honest. He's in cahoots with you too, right? Have you taken proper precaution for the black calamity that will befall you? How can I when your prophecy is so damn vague? At least give me some details. I'm sorry, but all I can see are shadows of the future. I lack the ability to decipher their exact contents. You're fucking useless! Eh? A black jacket? Black calamity? Huh? Wait, what? <laughs> What's his deal? That's Meguro-san, a regular of mine. 
An ill-fated man who has fallen victim to many, many disasters. Unbelievable. Though my prophecies have averted the worst of them, I am rather offended that he fails to see this. So why did he just run away from me? He bears the sign of a black disaster. Your black garb must have frightened him. <sighs> Poor twisted soul. He is losing his way, unable to cope with the pressure of fate. Personally, I think all your negative predictions are probably just making him paranoid. Mm -hmm. There may be some truth in what you say. I can't say I'm not concerned. Good sir, I have a request. Mm -hmm. What kind of request? Will you follow that? Oh my god, it's a sailing. Oh, it's a chasing mission, probably, because he's scared of me. I got this. The calamity will occur, that much is certain, but that doesn't mean you can't minimize the damage. Wait, a black calamity? Amon? If you prepared for a fire, does it not minimize its toll? I guess that's true. Besides, subtlety is your specialty, is it not detective? Mm -hmm. How did you know that? <laughs> it's simple, really. I only need to decipher your aura. Yeah, let's do it. Fifteen K. I am Amane. Hello, Amane. It's me. Wait, is she gonna be a girlfriend in the future? Shit. Yagami-san. This is Yagami. You must mitigate that man's impending black disaster. Be especially wary of black objects. I'm not one for animals above my head when I'm sleeping. Last time he did it, I thought a fat ass rat got into the bed, but it was when we were looking for him. Holy shit, that's a terrifying thought. If Yo, nah. I don't know what I would do if I saw a rat in my place. Holy shit. <laughs> Flamethrower city, baby. Where is this motherfucker? Here. Last time I could foresee the damn future, it was so accurate, I felt like I was reliving everything in the dream twice. Deja vu? I've had some deja vu moments in my life. Those are fucking creepy. All right, I gotta find the Megara. Shit! It's probably that insecure looking motherfucker to the right. Hmm. Suspicious. He's the only one looking worried about black objects coming at him, right? Okay. Wait, 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 ah! Dude, there might have been a fucking cat there! Oh my god, I missed out on it. I missed out on it. Holy shit. No, it's another one of the... I, can't. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do this, man. I don't wanna do this, man. Why would you want... Okay, so it's uh 28 hour minutes into. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Where'd he go? Let's see how long this takes. One hour, 28 minutes into the stream, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, wow, coming this way, yeah. Excuse you, sir? I would rather get stalked by the Black Hunter or Black Stalker, whatever his name was in Chernobyl. Like, holy shit, bro, just move! Booze. How could I turn it down? <laughs> Black clothes? Not a good place. Better go elsewhere. Jesus Christ, this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> a black car! I'll go another way. Oh my god, this guy is different, man. He's gonna come this way. For sure. I'm waiting for a racist joke. Not from me, no sir, Bob. Fuck that. Oh, you're losing it! I, if the game does that, oh my! Fuck 
There is no way. If, if this game. Do oh my god, I'm losing him. Oh! We've already been here for two minutes. Turn around, dummy. Huh? Don't worry. I'm not a cop. Nah. Speaking of cops, the boys in blue will go wild for the tits we got in the club. Nah. Goddamn fucking barkers. Ugh. Ah, shit! Okay. I lost him. Oh, no. Would tits make you feel better, sir? This motherfucker. Where did he go? Sinrio Avenue? There's a son and Mahjong parlor there. Or could he have gone to the Champion District? What the fuck? I don't want to ask. <laughs> Think. Where would he go next? There are only two options. Think about what he's been saying. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. That's a, that's a, that's a black car. He would, he would not dare to do that. This path is brighter. Whoa. Whoa. Sir? That's fucking lucky. I knew it. He must really want that drink. He was talking about drinks, true. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm losing them again. Imagine that. Okay, enough. Not enough. He <sighs> hey, welcome Zen and the Raiders. We have been here for five minutes. Welcome Abdurrahman Man 32 Hundo. Hope you enjoy your stay family. Oh my god. Howdy? Oh, we're, we're doing okay. How are you doing, family? Uh, so please stop being so paranoid. Just let me let me play the game. Doing good, eh? Hey, I like to hear that. How about you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. <sighs> I'm investing in everything that has to do with tailing after this. Everything! Oh wow! Paranoid guy. <laughs> I did it so finally. Holy crap. <laughs> okay. How was Pokemon? Zen. Yeah. Hey, how about a drink? It's yours for 
Oh, that's a scam. Don't do that. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. I could use a drink. I feel like I'm losing my mind. You're not doing good, Kara. Don't lie. You're tired of this tailing bullshit. I am tired of this tailing bullshit. But I'm doing good otherwise. Imagine if I was doing worse off in general with my day and had to do like tailing missions. That would be fucking terrible. <laughs> Excellent. Our buyer is right over here. <laughs> Black Alice. No way. Getting scammed. I freaking love it, dude. Huh? You're not going anyone until you pay up, you son bitch. Soto. He's wearing black pants. That's the black calamity. That's what I'm saying, 100k for a single bottle of beer? That's ridiculous. Are you kidding? That black beer is legit. It's made from water by melting the goddamn South Pole or some shit, son. The beer is black, too? No way! I saw you guys pour it from another can! Huh? Shut the fuck up! Just hand over your fucking wallet that will be your fucking body melting at the South Pole or some shit. <laughs> it's good in general, but there are I have a lot of gripes with it. And the gripes are being front-loaded into these past 20 minutes. Hey, that's enough. Huh? Who the hell are you? The Barker said the beer would cost 2,000 yen. Besides, baiting customers with alcohol is against the law, sir. You a cop? I'm a detective. I'm a private investigator. I've been asked to watch out for this guy. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, a bodyguard, huh? Okay. Then you can guard him by paying for him. Leave us your wallet, you smart ass. This again? It's good in general, but the tailing missions are kind of too long. Oh, get fucked. Get absolutely fucked. <laughs> Beautiful. Two K. This should cover a single beer. Soto. Hey, who are you, man? And since when did you become my bodyguard? Ah, uh, that fortune teller, Amana-san, asked me to protect you. She is the one you should be thanking. Wait, that leather jacket. It's black, the black calamity. You're the harbinger of my damnation. Huh? Excuse me, sir? I'm so tired of this shit, man. What? Oh, no, okay, so following a tailing uh. mission, there is a sprinting mission. Let's, let's fucking do it. But then again, she called it. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Thank you. How much money do I have? A lot. Okay. How do you even make a living? Like I said, I am unswayed by petty materialism. I simply seek to use my power in aid of those who need it. I see. I guess you really are an altruist. But that guy was pretty paranoid. Think he's gonna be okay? <laughs> he does seem to be a magnet for our catastrophe. I shall have to warn him when I see him next time. I have a feeling that we're gonna see them again. Maybe you could uh, try to soften the blow a little. Phrasing is everything in life, all right? I'll take that into consideration. That's it, that's it. Listen, we have another side case and I have a feeling that like the, the risk of running into another tailing mission is quite high, quite high. Uh, and we also have a friend in the sewers. Okay. One step at a time. We're making great progress, alright? I don't know why it's so satisfying when enemies go flying in these games, right? Like, the satisfaction of uh, landing a... Tiger Drop or Flux Fissure is... It's everything. Okay, I'm not sure what to expect here, so let's go ahead and save our game real quick. Didn't we do this? Oh man, oh okay, here we go. This is, this is a sprinting mission. 
That was Tokunaga-san's hat, right? It's loose again. Look at this bullshit. Look at this bullshit. Okay, here we go. What's the hat? There it is. Hey, your hat. Wait. I feel like I already did this. Ouch. Excuse me. Hey, you okay, man? Ah, I sprained. I think I sprained my ankle. You got me, son. Don't worry about me. Get my hat, please. Uh. Look, look at this shit. Look at this shit. All right, just, 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 just look at this. Oh, it captured the hat. Wait a sec. Where'd this motherfucker go? He's making sharp turns. Look, look at that turn. Wait a sec. Bald shaming? Bald is beautiful. I agree. <laughs> mm, hmm, what the hell is this? Oh, I sprained my other ankle. That's my head. Give it back. Oh, uh, yeah? <laughs> Fam. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Oh, I can't believe this is life. Wait a sec. This motherfucker's jogging. He's he's just jogging and I'm sprinting and he's winning. Wait a sec. That little motherfucker right now! I'm not bullshitting, I just feel bad for this dude. Really can't keep a wig on I caught the child. What do you want me to do? Like tail someone now? You're pretty fast, mister. Yeah, I'm pretty fast, motherfucker. Give me the fucking hat. <laughs> Find us keepers, man. What? I'm running again. Give it back unless you want me to hunt you to ends of the earth. I thought your ankles were sprained. What the? Okay. Holy shit! Look at this suave motherfucker. Hmm. Kids will be kids. Hey, Yagami san. I will let this little incident just fly away on the breeze. The goddess of the sun won't smile down on me if I let life's trivial matters bother me, right? And here comes the complete personality shift. Have you ever considered finding a way to make sure it doesn't blow away though, like super glue or just shit? Fish push, Yagami-san. The lady of the north wind is a fickle sort, you know? And who am I to try to predict the whimsy of such a woman? <laughs> right. Yagami-san, here. Why don't you take this? It's money, right? Thanks. Hell yeah, brother. Mm -hmm. What's that? Oh, I do believe the breeze is whispering my name. I feel the muse is on the wind. Perhaps I shall compose a poem to accompany this delightful little ditty. We shall meet again. Haha. <laughs> Fuck out of my sight, man. It's more like a typhoon than a breeze. Okay. Now, that's done, that's done. We have a friend in the sewers. I'm about to gag at this dude's attitude. <laughs> oh, wow, awesome. The game left us off here. I can't see any more new friends. Let's go ahead and see if we can befriend this motherfucker real quick. Where do I get to? Go? This way?
please be easy to befriend. Just be easy to befriend. Don't be something like, yeah, I'm gonna need you to play Mahjong blindfolded and win within three turns or some shit. This is impressive. Uh, examine it. Look, look, look at that. Gracefulness. Okay. Where you at, friendo? Akiyama-san? Those eyes. They're deeper than the Kamarucho sewers, yet brighter than a trash can bonfire. Just who are you, anyway? This is Yagami. Can I help you with something? Depends. Let me introduce myself first. I am Morio Onodera. I tell you, buddy. When you've spent as much time below the pipes as me, you stumble across some strange shit. <laughs> Literally. Dealing in such odds and ends is what I do for a living. Hmm? Got anything worth looking at? How about a talisman that boosts your luck at the casino? And that's just for starters. Hmm. <laughs> I ain't after any money. What you want? <laughs> I chose this lifestyle because I don't want to be tied down to the filth of the world above. They call it the almighty coin, but I say it's the root of all evil. What I value now is experience. Hmm? Go on. So I have people talk about their life experiences and give them something based on what they say. Hey! Your eyes tell me you've gone through quite a lot in your young life. I bet you got some amazing stories to tell. Pay with SP at Onodara Wares. Okay. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> so I assume... Triple Yokan. I'm buying no damn desserts from fucking sewers? Okay. If I'm understanding this correctly, right? The basics of shogi. Understanding of shogi is not guaranteed. It's a fucking debate. When I have to get in places in Yakuza, if I'm not paying attention to the map, I'll go the wrong way. Oh my lord, it's a Mario reference. <laughs> I thought so too, I didn't want to say nothing though. Okay, gold tuna cat food. You know what, let's get that. And if I'm, if I'm correct, our gauge with him will go up after we make a purchase. If that's the case, this one's super easy. <laughs> I knew you were one of a kind. What an incredible story. Can't wait to hear more. Hey, okay. Let's do this a couple more times. My man. Yogami's yeah. home. Allow me to buy... It's worth. It's worth. Beautiful. We missed that in the first chapter or the second chapter i'm not sure but we got it now in there since i'm such a nerd when it comes to this particular sport i'm buying a soccer ball for sure you are one unusual guy honestly i don't think i've ever met another fellow with such an interesting background oh uh, yeah yeah so i'm throwing in a little bonus this time i just bought a football That's what that sound reminds me of. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, we made a friend. Awesome. Great. I'm gone. Now we can focus on the main storyline. Unless... Unless we go to uh, Tender to see if they have any quests for us. But you know what? Since quests are not missable, let's just go to the detective agency or Genda's law office and take it from there. It's obvious for Mario and Luigi fans to see this, especially when he lives below the pipes. Ooh. And the whole color scheme and get up here going on. Yep. Okay. Save my game. Beautiful. Don't be scared. Yeah. Just get the fuck out the way. Okay. Unless there's more.
I bet she has a quest for me. Unless... No. She doesn't even say hi. This guy right here? He's on my radar, man. He's a little sus. This guy is sus. I know you've had a rough night, Yagami. But if you're up to it, can you tell us what happened to Shintani? Yeah. Sari-san was having trouble getting in touch with Shintani. So I decided to give him a call myself, see what the deal was. But when I dialed him up, I heard the phone ringing in my closet. Shintani was killed the same way as all the others. The others? Do you mean his eyes were... Gouged out, yeah. But Shintani's beef was with the Kyore clan. Why would the mole target him? I'm not so sure. It sounded like he knew something when you talked earlier. Right. Think this is some kind of Yakuza pissing contest, do ya? Come on! The mole is way bigger than you know. He probably knew more about the mole than I did. And his source had to have been Hamra. Maybe they killed him to keep their secret safe. But... Why did he have to put Shintani-sensei's body in your office? Not sure. Maybe to harass me? Maybe to scare me off their trail? <laughs> Maybe both. Yagami. Hmm? You might want to lay low for a bit. It's not safe for you here. Get out of town. Go... somewhere quiet. If the mole comes after you next... Right. I'll do just that, Genda-sensei. Camera, why you would know, you do that? I watched over Chintani since his first day as a lawyer. The kid had a good head on his shoulders. And a knack for the job I could never compete with. But he didn't have the guts to succeed when push came to shove. Not the most persistent lawyer I've seen. Even so, he looked up to me. Guess I took it for granted. Thought he'd always be part of the team. When I first joined, Shintani-sensei was the one who showed me the ropes. He was a reliable man. Thanks for this, Yagami. Come on, Sarikun. I'll walk you to the station. Sure. Feel free to stay here tonight, Yakami. <laughs> I appreciate it. What about you, Hoshinokun? I think I'll work a little more before I head home. <sighs> if you say so. Good night. Good night, boss. Now the game is laying it on a little thick here. So I'm wondering, is it... Are you a red herring, bro? Because you mad, sus. Make yourself at home, Yagami-san. I'll leave you the key. You've been here way longer anyway. You deserve it more than me. Thanks. Okay. We have nothing else to do, so... Um, Yagami-san... Do you have a minute? What's on your mind? Sure, what's up? Well, it's about Shintani-sensei. Mm -hmm. Yagami-san. I know you just told Genda-sensei you're gonna lay low. But that's not true, is it? You wanna keep hunting down this killer. And if I said yes? Don't worry, I won't tell Genda-sensei. But in return... Hmm? I want to help you. Look for the mole, that is. I won't slow you down. I promise. Looking to avenge Shintani, huh? <sighs> he wasn't as strong as he let on. The tough guy act was a mask he wore to hide his insecurities. Deep down, he was just weak. That's why he was going along with Hamura. Not because he wanted to. 
I mean, who can say no to a Yakuza? And now look how it turned out. I was sitting right next to him this whole time. Yet there was nothing I could do to help. You know, I'm still young. I don't even know what kind of lawyer I want to be. Criminal? Civil? Not the slightest idea. But I know one thing. I don't want to be the kind of lawyer who sits on his hands after his friend gets murdered. Which means... Are you sure about this, Hoshino? Genda-sensei told me to lay low. If you're seen helping me... Don't worry about that. I'll defend myself in court if I need to. Now, Yagami-san, do you mind if I tag along? <laughs> You'll just tell Genda-sensei if I refuse, huh? Yeah, you got that right. That's blackmailing. Not much choice then. Welcome aboard. Glad to be working with you. Well, let's get down to business. First off, I want to know what Shintani was doing before he died. And I have some evidence that may tell us just that. I should have something that hints at what Shintani was doing before he died. The phone number. Can you track this down for me? Shintani dialed this number earlier today. I want to know where it goes. Right. That makes sense. Actually, I would have given it's this phone number to It's a good thing the killer Makoto. forgot to take Shintani's phone, huh? This way, we can see who he was calling. The killer didn't forget. Even if the phone was gone, we'd still be able to get Shintani's data from his provider. I don't trust really? him. Really? I had no idea. Yep. I bet he left the phone so I'd find the body quicker. Huh? I mean, he went through the trouble of hiding it in my office of all places. Mm -hmm. Probably wanted to cause as much chaos as possible, you know? He wants to be found. Hey! The number got a hit in the search! It's apparently for the, uh, Advanced Drug Development Center? What the hell? What? Do you know it? Three years ago, there was a pretty famous murder there. The patient was killed, and their body dumped in the mountains. And the man they arrested for it was named Shinpei Okubo. Okubo, Okubo. Wait, he was yep. your client, wasn't he? He worked as a contract laundry man for the center. Every two or three days, he'd stop by to pick up their dirty linens. According to the police report, it was thought he carried the body out in a bundle of sheets. Right. And you defended him in court, and won. But then he... he got free and... You can stop there. But why would Shintani-sensei have called the ADDC? Who would he even talk to? I bet we'll find out if we give them a ring. But it's getting late. You should go home. We both need some shut-eye, eh? Yeah, we can start fresh tomorrow. Where do we want to meet? Oh, right. <laughs> we want to keep this a secret from Genda Sensei, after all. There's an arcade called Charles up on Park Boulevard. That should work for now. Okay. I'll let Kaito-san know. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I'll see you. It doesn't quite strike me as the ice-cold killer type, but... Uh... Looks can be deceiving, man. He's sus. He's sus. Did he leave? Am I free to sleep? Time to go nap time. Yes, sir. I told Hoshino I would meet him at Charles today. Guess it's time to head over. Unless... Uh, look at this. This is pretty cool. I found this out last stream. Hmm. <laughs> hey! Outside. <laughs> Alright. Oh, no. Komaki? Who the hell is that? Is that the hobo hmm? that jumped me? What's that old man doing lying on the ground? Is he okay? That's a setup. They're gonna jump me as soon as I do. Rescue the old man from what? Mm. 
who did... That's a friend. Excuse me. Are you alright? <clears throat> we need mugwort. Is that boost? Hmm? Mugwort? There should be some growing just behind that fence. Sorry, but could you grab some for me? Okay. The fuck is mugwort? Excuse me. You mean this? Yes. Now, can you place that mugwort into the gourd right there? Just stuff it in, close the lid, and shake it like a motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, brother, that's much better. <laughs> Glad to hear it, old timer. What, what, was, what was in that drink right now? Oh, this right here? I call this an extract. An extract? Of what? Technically speaking, this is a medicinal decoction, but extract rolls off much easier at the tongue, doesn't it? Oh, but forgive me for not introducing myself. I'm Iyama. I make and market my own extracts right here in Kamarucho. That's why people call me the Hermit of the Dragon's Palace, motherfucker. <laughs> I love this. This is guy. Yagami. <laughs> You know that abandoned building in the hotel district? That's the Dragon's Palace. My pharmacy is on the fourth floor. A pharmacy? So that mugwort was one of the ingredients. Mm. Hell yeah, brother. I came here to gather ingredients for an extract I'm making, but I got winded and ended up making a nasty fall. <laughs> I'm glad you were around. Otherwise, I might not have made it. Mm. I just met a man who was apparently a hermit that makes drugs in an abandoned building. That's not strange at all. Ah! What? Ugh. That's a lot of motherfuckers. Ugh. Out of the way. Oh, he just dipped. I thought he was going to give me an extract. Uh. Uh. Hyper armor! Ow, my ear tried getting comfy only to yoink my ear but out of my own ear. Wait, wait, wait. Do that. Ulta is gone. That's good. Wait! He's not dead. What the hell? This guy has infinite HP. So does he. He's Scoozy. Okay, we'll do the thing. Fucking hyper armor. Got it, got it, got it. Get fucked! Oh, what the hell's with this guy? It's like he's invincible. <laughs> Looks like you don't even have a fraction of his strength. Yagami-san. It seems like you have gotten yourself in quite the pickle, Yagami-san. Yama-san, you shouldn't be here right now. Now hold your horses there, young motherfucker. I want to at least pay you back for your help earlier, so I brought you a little something something. Thunderstrike? Hmm? What is it? It's drugs, motherfucker. It's one of my miraculous home-brewed extracts, of course. Once you drink it, well, you find out soon enough. Ah? You done chit-chatting with your hobo friend over there? Hurry up and fight me, asshole! Ugh. Damn it. Let's chug this liquid Viagra and see what it does. <laughs> extracts. This will let your crane attacks break the enemy's guard. Stop! What? Oh. Okay. Where is it? Ah! Do the 
thing, do the thing, do the thing. Like that, boom! They're dying now. Get fucked. Okay. You don't get you all the dogs in. Fucking do the, do the, do the tiger drop, dude. Oh, I missed again. This guy's good. Double tiger strike. Ah! Tiger strike. Oh boy, we're going to do drugs now. Kara, time to call the police on you. JK! <laughs> do the thing, do the thing. Ah, oh, missed again. Okay, tiger drop. Tiger drop. Boom! I love that move. Well, what the fucking shit? <laughs> so, this is the power of your drugs. <laughs> How was that, son? Pretty darn effective, wouldn't you say? Yep. Shit. Yes, sir. I had no idea it would be this potent. What are the side effects? As thanks for saving me, I'll give you the key to the dragon's palace. So feel free to come by whenever you want. Now, the dragon's palace should have two paintings I could get to the pawn shop owner. So this is great. This is great. The Dragon's Palace is a nice casino and gambling hall. So swing on by if you're looking to get away for a while. <clears throat> I didn't think it was... Wait, am I thinking of the right place? Ah, oh, my back is killing me. Even these extracts of mine can't fix old age, it seems. You want some help, bro? Excuse me. You think you'd be aight? If not, I can always give you a lift on my back to the Dragon's Palace. Ah, uh, no thanks. It's cool. Okay. It's a tailing mission of sorts. <laughs> no. Surely not. Surely not. Oh, this is cozy. I should add it as a channel reward. What's all this? <laughs> this is not sanitary at all. Why don't you have a seat? Is this some kind of stew? Is that a box in the stew? What the fuck did he put in there? Uh, curious about my hot pot, are you? Well, this would be the liquid base of our extra. Huh? Make it a highlight message. <laughs> that would be fucking cool, isn't it? Yeah, uh, that's a good idea. You mean this weird stew? What the hell is that? Correct. That stew contains a special broth that when mixed with the right ingredients, turns into the extract. These extracts are specifically concocted to draw the essence of each ingredient and transfer that power into the body. Hmm? You mean like when I drank it during the fight? Indeed. Now listen close, motherfucker. Extracts can have a variety of different effects depending on the one you make. See how there are many types of extracts here? Each one requires a different set of ingredients. You can find all the ingredients you need by looking around the city. All you need to do is add them to the broth, and you're done. That doesn't sound too hard. Mm. Nah, it's not. In fact, I have just enough ingredients to make another extract. Why not try it out yourself? I can make it anywhere in the world? This extract takes shabby wire and plastic. I'm not putting this shit inside my body. What the fuck? Rate of great success increase. What? 5%. Rated 1. I did it. Looks like it's just about ready, man. Bring the ingredients over here. Thanks. Hey. I'll give you a little recipe that details everything an extract might need. If you want to try your hand at brewing more extracts, then go gather some more ingredients, motherfucker. Also, take this gourd. It's filled with a special solution that allows you to brew your own extracts at any time. Free of charge? Excuse me. 
Why does this say scavenger hunt on it? Ah, uh, yeah, I forgot to tell you about that. There are errands I would like you to run. I'm trying to develop as many new extracts as possible, so I would like your help with collecting the right ingredients. If you make me the extracts listed on this recipe right here, I'll teach you how to brew more. But for now, get to scavenging, motherfucker. Good luck, have fun. If you're looking for an empty energy bottle, I often see this on Pink Street. Small branch, park bull. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh shit! This is going to be extremely useful to us. Eventually. So, where is this exactly? It's my school now, motherfucker. Thank you. Right. Okay. Got it. And it should be marked on my map. Perfect. Now! Ah! Got it. So, we have Paradise VR, which can make for farming money. We have Extracts, which we can use to grant Extracts that give us more SP. You want to fight? Let's fight. Really? I'll keep it later. How does Ryan keep popping up like this? Is he the mole? No waste. Look at you! You are a menace to society, sir! This was the worst day in my life when I met you. God damn! You won't leave me alone! Mr. I'm just trying to help. You're just fucking everything up, dude! That's not the stairs. I'm sorry, bro. Okay? What you want me to do? Segura. Kaito-san told me you'd be here. Don't forget about me next time, yeah? Wish you'd fucking forget about me. Is there a reason your little gang needs to keep meeting up here? I feel sorry for you. It's so guy. nice of you to let us use your store, Higashi-san. Especially when you're clearly so opposed to the idea. Don't talk down to Yakuza, kid. It's okay, Higashi-san. I think we all know you're nicer than you let on. What the hell? Damn, and you're braver than you look, Hoshino-kun. You got the skills to back it up? Just a third degree black belt. Huh? Not that I've ever had to use it. <sighs> well, I'll call this meeting to order. Sure, I'll do the honors. Okay. Masamichi Shintani of the Genda Law Office has been murdered. Given that his eyes were gouged out, it's likely the mole was responsible. And I'll need all of your help to track him down. That's a lot of the ADDC, huh? Weird time for that to come up again. <laughs> again? It's come up before? We can talk about that later. What's important now is Shintani called them before he was killed. I don't get it. What's the connection between Shintani and the ADVC? Hmm. Huh. I think I remember them being in the news a lot last year. Regarding what? Something about a new drug that could win a Nobel Prize. Yeah, here it is. The ADDC's research into AD9 has now been published. 
one of the world's leading scientific magazines, leading to the gathering of reporters from both Japan and abroad that we have here today. It's a brand new dementia drug. They call it AD9. This was right after director Kido from the ADDC published his paper on it. They're still undergoing clinical trials on larger animals, but apparently every single mouse they've given it to has made a full recovery. <laughs> The man giving the presentation here is Dr. Ryusuke Kido, a world leader in neurophysiology and the primary researcher on AD9. He's the one who showed me around the center when I was looking into Okubo's case. Guess he's been the director for a while now. From what I can tell, the Ministry of Health is increasing the ADDC's budget to hasten the development of AD9. They're even adding another building to the center. It's a huge project. <laughs> Damn good deal they've got. I'm still not getting it, though. Why Shintani go and call them? That's what we're about to find out. And there's only one way to do that. Come on! Can't just take a man's phone. First off, we'll need to figure out who Shintani was calling. Yeah, but how are we gonna do that over the phone? I suppose that all depends on your acting skills, Detective Yagami. <laughs> This is Shintani. I just have to figure out who he called and why. ADDC, front desk speaking. Hi there, ma'am. This is... Shintani. A lawyer. This is Masamichi Shintani. I'm a lawyer from the Genda Law Office. Oh, it's good to hear from you, Shintani-sama. Could you put me through to the same person I spoke to yesterday? Do you know the extension you wish to reach? Oh, uh, it sort of slipped my mind, sorry. Can you maybe look into the transfer history? Mm. Why don't you just tell me what the call was about, and I'll connect you to the proper department. Oh, uh, in that case... Click! <sighs> it's regarding the dementia drug. It was about 89, the drug that can supposedly cure dementia. Sorry, but I'm not ah. authorized to talk about that. Uh, why don't I connect you with our publicity department? Sure. That Please hold, sir. Doesn't sound like you're making much progress. Thank you for waiting. Uh, uh, yes? It seems our publicity department never received a call from a Shintani-sama. I see. Thank you, anyway. <laughs> no way this happens over the phone. It'll be faster to just head over there myself. You think that's gonna work? Not sure, but I know the director, remember? Worst case scenario, I come back empty-handed. I'll come with you, Yagami-san. Okay, me and Agashi will go check out what's going on with the Matsugane family. Shouldn't be tough with Hamura out of the picture. Hey, I don't remember saying I was gonna help you. By the way, Yagami-san, whatever happened to that guy from three years ago? Shinpei Okubo. I don't know. He's in the detention center. Been there since they gave him his death sentence. Have you ever gone to see him, Yagami-san? No. Why would I? Why do you ask, anyway? <laughs> I don't know. I was wondering what he was like. The case got tons of news coverage, you know. I was also wondering what you thought about the case. I mean, did you really think that he was innocent? Probably. But then he walked and killed his girlfriend. You defended him for that, that too, yeah? I did. Okubo-san asked me to after he murdered Emi Chan in cold blood. What shall I make for myself? Peanut butter and banana sandwiches or something else? I think peanut butter and banana sandwiches sound good. <laughs> yeah. Did you believe him then, too? No. He kept saying the same thing. How he could never have killed anyone. He was set up. But... I didn't believe him, no. Fighting for him in court made me sick to my stomach. 
Do you think he deserves the death penalty? That's enough of the question, Sugiura. <laughs> well, my bad. <laughs> Was that too far? Maybe. Nah. If you say so. Um, He's Yagami -san? incredibly sus! You're heading to the ADDC now, yes? I'm gonna grab a taxi for us. I'll wait for you over on Park Boulevard. You do that. This is probably my favorite character in the game. The man who doesn't even want to be here. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. <laughs> I'm not one of your little buddies. Remember that. Okay, mate, might start gaming soon. I'll be in the living room relaxing. I right, fan. Thanks for stopping by. The ADDC, huh? This has got to be fate or something. Let's see what they got. I feel like now we're blazing through the story. And it doesn't feel that bad. It doesn't feel like we have that much other stuff to do anyway. I mean, I could spend some time in the Paradise VR. I could do a bit of gambling in the uh, Dragon's Palace. But since no quest is really missable, it makes more sense to unlock stuff. And just do them in one major session, right? Or like minimize the amount of sessions it takes to finish them. Like for example, if I had done everything I could up until this point, now that extracts are available, I am assuming a lot more components and ingredients are, are available in town. That would have been added extra game hours on top of what I've already put in. But... If I do the initial stuff with the stuff with the components, then I, 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 I with efficiency. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Over here, Yagami-san. Yeah, I see. I you, have bro. a taxi for us. Sus bastard. What's that? Mine. Pedals. <laughs> What's that? Twig. Oh my God. It's about to take a lot of time, bro. Get me to ADD. Right now. I've heard a bit about this place before, but the ADDC, isn't it just one part of a larger organization? If I recall correctly, they call it the Medical Institute. Is that accurate? <laughs> yeah. They own every last inch of this campus. <sighs> it's incredible. Even with all these buildings, they're still getting budget to expand from that new drug. So? Is it the same as you remember? Yeah. Huh? Don't go too far ahead! Yagami-san! Leave me alone, man. What are you all shaken up for? Calm down. Just stick with me and you'll be fine. Got that, Yagami? What? Yagami-san! Try not to just ditch me, okay? Is something wrong? It's just... After three years, it still looks the same. Huh? 
Almost like time itself has stopped. Yagami-san. <sighs> Come on. So that was Front something that occurred there. in the past. You're way too close, motherfucker. Do you have an appointment, sir? I don't, sorry. My name is Hoshino, from the Genda Law Office. This is my partner, Yagami. We're here to talk about a murder that took place in Kamurocho yesterday. A, a murder? A co-worker of ours named Shintani. He was the victim. We have a record that he called this center before he was killed. Huh? We're hoping you can help us track down exactly who he spoke to. I'm very sorry, sir, but I can't provide such private information. Well, could I at least talk to Director Kido instead? He's an old friend of mine. Just let him know Yagami stopped by to say hello. Uh, I don't think that'll be necessary. Don't touch Look me. over there. Gentlemen, I really don't know what else you want from me. I have nothing more to say. I've told the police all that I know. Ryusuke Kido. Yeah, I know. Sorry about all this, Director. Problem is, my partner here won't give it a rest till he sees the scene of the crime. But I'm sure we'll be leaving soon. Well, that's not what we agreed upon. You know this isn't about how long it takes. And what about Okubo? I take it he's still not fessed up? Uh, no. Not quite as of yet, sir. But we all saw where the body was. Exactly where he said it would be. Quite true. Not much point in fighting this now. The Minister has made it clear that he wants it resolved soon as well. Just look at how much trouble one contractor has caused. Sorry, which minister? I didn't know about this, sir. I feel like he struck a deal with Kido. He's not trying to be here either. He's just trying to play the part. Everybody's trying to play their parts. Get this over with. The health minister. It's all his call how much funding we get. The director, if I may, if you would just direct me to the scene of the crime, I could head over there myself. I'll be out of your hair in no time, I assure you. I'd rather you didn't wander on your own. So instead, she can show you. Terasawa-kun, these gentlemen here are Shintani-sensei and, uh... Yagami. This is Yagami. It's a pleasure. I hope I can help you find what you need. Well, with that, I'll be taking my leave. Thank you again, Director. Apologies for all the trouble. This way. I can show you how to get to Wakusan's room. Who's Wakusan? The guy who died in his room? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And you are... Terasawa-san, huh? Wow, you're young. And a looker to boot. Um, can we keep this professional? Huh? Nice try. Shintani Sensei. Not the friendliest girl in town, huh? We're not exactly welcome guests here. After I busted my ass to pass the bar, I always figured I'd have my pick of the ladies. You sick of the man. Hey, yo, Ma. Right this way, please. But you stood still. Straight ahead is the ADDC's general ward. Wakusan's room is on the fourth floor.
This was the room assigned to Wakusan. What's down there? That's the research wing, where they develop all our new drugs. Oh. You can't get in without a gold key card, though. Not even I have one. <laughs> gold, huh? I suppose because it's the heart of the Center's operations. Huh. Sounds like it's a whole nother world back there. Security like that must be a bitch. Come on, Yagami. Let's see what we got here. Before he died, Wakusan spent most of his time in here. And when was he admitted? Two years ago. With Alzheimer's. Some kind of dementia, right? Alzheimer's is a neurodegenerative disease that leads to dementia, yes. In fact, it's the cause of almost 70% of all dementia cases. So, they're one and the same, kinda? Anyway, do what you gotta do, Yagami. Alright, don't get in my way. What if there's a cat in here? What if it's outside? Uh huh. Suspicious. Okay, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am. How can I hear that cat, bro? How is this possible? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the? <laughs> this is bullshit. Okay, what do we have here? Uh-huh. Investigate. Well, it has wheels for one. <laughs> exactly, like a fucking two pixels. Wait. There is nothing about the bed that I can... It's a regular bed. There's like nothing out of the ordinary here, unless something is sticking out. Hmm. It looks like y'all changed the pillows. Um, is there anything underneath? Hmm. Investigate the bed. I'm investigating it, dude. What the heck? Maybe. Bro, uh. there is nothing on the bed. Hmm. Try from a different angle. If I stand right here. Bugged? Hmm. I don't see a goddamn thing. Uh -huh. Is this the right move? The way she's staring at you, if she meowed, I would have lost my shit. <laughs> Madame, are we in the right room? Cause... <laughs> what the fuck? Has anyone else slept here since Wakusan's death? Nobody, no. And Wakusan was missing from his room the morning of the Bullshit. incident, yes? That's right. So, he was murdered here, then carried out. I can't say for sure, but it's likely. Working on that assumption, how was his body carried outside? I should look a little closer. Presumably through the window. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yes, 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 yes. It's presumably through this suspicious. window. Suspicious. I guess suspicious. The window's sealed shut. There's no way Wakasan could have escaped through here. What the? Suspicious. All the rooms have windows like this, right? It seems like people would notice if something was going on in here. Well, we only have so many employees in this ward. The halls stay fairly busy, but it's mostly dementia patients moving between appointments. I see. I wonder how the room looks from the hallway. You got all you need from here, yeah? I think so. Look, man, you just go ahead and grab a coffee or something, all right? I got this from here. Jesus Christ. Hmm, you can definitely see what's going on from out here. Shintani-sensei, can you lay on the bed for me? Uh, I guess so. Care to join me, Terasawa-san? What do you got to lose? Her job? Her dignity? Did he just wave job. at her like... Trash. So from this vantage point, you can't make out the person's face. So... Was this the colossal waste of time I knew it'd be? Nope. I got something I'd only get from being here. Does it matter? It's been days. Case is practically closed. Shinpei Okubo is guilty as hell. Well, according to him, he's not. Well, of course that's what he says. Consider the facts, though, man. You want to review the case? Here's the thing, man. Okubo is the perfect fall guy. But why would they want to frame him? Cause I know he didn't do it. It doesn't it doesn't Sure. Let's go over what we know so far. Whatever you want. Perhaps she knew too much. They killed her and framed Okubo. Alright. Here we go. Our victim was the patient staying in this room. Koichi Waku. Male, age 66. At 8.30 a.m. on the morning of the crime, the nurses noticed he was missing from his bed. Given Waku's degenerative state, they assumed he was wandering around the hospital somewhere. But after being unable to track him down, hospital staff filed a missing persons report. Right. You know what a dementia patient's like, though. Hard to imagine they'd make it outside on their own. The only conclusion, then, was that somebody must have taken him out of the hospital. After inspecting all the cars that came in and out of the center, they were left with one possible suspect. A laundry man by the name of Shinpei Okubo. It didn't take much prodding for Okubo to confess burying Waku's body out in the mountains. And lo and behold, three months after Waku disappeared, the cops found his body rotting away right where Okubo said it'd be. Cause of death was most likely suffocation, but they still don't know for sure. Any objections to this so far, Yagami-sensei? Actually, yeah. You're forgetting something. And what's that? Okubo-kun insists he didn't kill anyone. All he admits to is dumping the body. I can't say for sure that the guy who dumped the body actually committed the crime. If I budge on that, I would be admitting Okubo-kun did it before the trial even started. Oh, sure. But come on, Yagami. Guy's got a history of assault, and it's on record. Roughed up his girlfriend, accidentally broke her finger. Right, but that was over six years ago. He was just a kid. Got drunk, made a huge mistake. And what? It's okay for a kid to hit a woman? Of course not, but that's not what he's on trial for. True. I don't condone what he did, but legally, committing one crime doesn't mean you're guilty of another. Fine, but what about Okubo's shaky alibi? He said he left the center at 10 a.m. after grabbing the sheets from the general ward. Claimed Wakusan's corpse somehow got loaded into his truck. <laughs> Who's gonna believe garbage like that? If anyone should, it's his lawyers. Huh. We're meeting with Okubo after this, right? You should just be honest with him. Tell him the case is unwinnable. 
Are you two done here? Yep. Can you show us the garage next? The one where Okaboku parked his truck. The Best service speaker. entrance, I think it was. That's the only other place we'll need to see today. We'll need okay. to take an elevator down there. Follow me. I'm ready to go. No one asked you, bro. So the elevators would be here, right? Here. All right. Uh. Nani? <laughs> Well, this is eventful. We could have squeezed in a conversation here, but I guess... Fuck it, right? Oh, okay. Hey, Yagami. You're never gonna last if you keep taking cases like this. Shut the fuck Criminal up! Criminal suits are a constant test of your conviction. Your sense of justice. They don't even pay that well. Careful who you say that around. Look, just chill out, okay? Take it from me. I've been around the block way longer than you have. <sighs> Looks like a regular old garage to me. Hmm. You'd make it out with no problem if you put a body into your truck down here. It's quiet. It is. Hey, Yagami, check this out. These are the carts they used to collect sheets and linens. Day of the crime, Okubo was all over the hospital with one of these things. It would have been simple for him to sneak a body in there and cart it right out. Maybe so. Where was Okubo parked on the day of the incident? Oh, um... Are you trying to fabricate something, sir? A little too quiet. Deep in thought? Hmm? The truck was parked here, with the back facing the elevator. Here's a recreation of it. I see. DNA evidence from the victim was found in the flatbed of the truck. That's proof enough that the body was there. And when they confronted Okubo, he flat out admitted it. When was Wakusan last seen? Just before 8 a.m. on the day of the crime. Yeah, 7.50 to be precise. An ADDC scientist will be testifying to that. He claims he saw him nice and cozy in his bed. I see. Can we talk to this witness? I tried to get an appointment, but they shut me down. Said they don't want us interfering with their research anymore. They're not willing to make an exception this once? This isn't an issue you want to push, Yagami. Worst case scenario, you get charged with witness intimidation. All right, all right. Anyway, the victim was last seen at 7.50. That's right. Breakfast I is at 8 o'clock, so the patients who can walk on their own gather Have in the fun. break room. But on the day of his disappearance, 8.30 came and went with no sign of Wakusan. You thought you'd find him quickly. Didn't exactly turn out that way. Right. Got that, Yagami? Here, let's go over some more details. Sure. Let's hear what the great Shintani Sensei has to say. What we know is, Waku was taken out of his room sometime between 7.50 when he was last seen, and 8.30 when everyone noticed he was gone. During that 40-minute span, Somebody suffocated Waku and stuffed him into the laundry bin. Nobody suspected there was a body in the cart. 
and the only clear culprit was Okubo, the man in charge of the laundry. To further back this up, DNA evidence from Waku was found in Okubo's truck. Then when the police questioned Okubo, he confessed to burying the body in the mountains of Okutama. Three months after the crime, Waku's corpse was finally found. With me? This thing's airtight, Yagami. I know you're getting into this, but come on. Just give it up already. You don't have a chance. Even though Okubo says he's innocent, I promised him we'd do everything we could. Not my problem. You shouldn't make promises you can't keep. <sighs> Fine, then I'll do it alone. You don't have to be involved. Even if I'm not, the loss will hurt Genda-sensei's reputation. I'm sorry, but our client says he's innocent. I can't back down from this. Ah, fine. I'll be in the lobby. She looks like she has something to say. Um, if you like, I could take you to see Wakasan's room again. You don't mind? Oh, that would be great. Here I am again. Don't really see anything out of the ordinary, though. But perhaps she has a clue for me. Do you? Um, are you finished? No, I'm not. I'm not. Not yet. Just a little longer. Okay, so... We got the bed. Wakasan was here until the morning of the incident. Then he just up and disappeared. I mean, what I think happened is, we can kind of see it from here, right? That part right there leads to the ADDC uh, department where they're developing the AD9 drug. My thing is, or my assumption is, maybe they brought him over there to give him some of the drugs. It failed, they killed him, and they needed the fall guy because they needed the project to go further on and they w didn't want this... this uh, blip on the map, so to speak. They didn't want this project tainted by a death. Is what Windows I'm sealed shut. There's no way Wakasan could have escaped through here. And who's the fall guy? Or the guy with the violent past? I wonder how Open well you can see him from the hallway. I think... I think I'm fine. Um, are you fi Yeah. Yeah, I've seen what I need. Anything else you can share? What you got? How long will Okubo-san's sentence be? Huh? I if he's found guilty, that is. Probably ten years, maybe more. It's hard to say for sure. And what if he confesses? Would they shorten his sentence? Well, at the very least, it'd make a better impression than insisting he didn't do it. But you're still going to push an innocent plea? Even though Okubo-san is the one who'll suffer for it? If he's really not guilty, he won't have to. I'll win. But to be perfectly honest, this is my first criminal case. What? Civil cases have been a mixed bag for me, too. I've actually lost more than I've won. Is that so? Apparently, a smart lawyer would never even consider an innocent plea in this case. Guess it's a good thing that I'm not so smart then, because I honestly believe I can win. Terasawa-san, were you close to Okubo-kun? I spoke to him thing. pretty often, yes. I would see him around the ward all the time. And what did you think of him? Did he seem like the kind of guy who'd do something like this? I'm sorry. The director told us not to say too much. Wait! It was just a general question. If you know anything that can help, just get in touch, okay? It's vital to the case. I'll do whatever it takes to set Okubo-kun free. But I can't do it alone. Just... give it some thought, Terasawa-san. Just now, we went to the ADDC. 
Thought I should have a look at things with my own eyes. And? How did it go? There's no chance you walk. You're practically a lost cause. Hey. Yagami-sensei, is that what you think? It's like this, Okubo. You tell me you're innocent, and I'll fight to the end. I really have nothing to lose by helping you out. It's just like I told you. Whoever did it is framing me. Shinpei Okubo. I believe him. And I believe my dear friend Shintani is involved. On the day of the crime, you were in the general war of the ADDC, yes? Starting at 8 a.m., you went around to each room and gathered the linens. Yes. Nobody would dispute that. Here is another thing. And after that, you covered Wakusan's nose and mouth, suffocated him, and then carted him out in the lawn. This line right here. Why would you do this? Why? Andre Ben. That's not true. Wakusan wasn't there when I went into his room. I didn't see him at all that day. You have to believe me. And I do. So when you went down to leave the center at 10 a.m. after gathering the linens, you realized there was a body hidden in the truck. Yes. That's what happened. Then, after debating whether or not to report the body, you chose to hide it in the mountains. Because of your past. What's his motive? That's gonna be a huge hurdle to climb in the trial. I had a criminal assault on my record. Exactly. I knew the police would have suspected me if I went to them. Aren't you forgetting the bad blood you had with Wakusan? Huh? Bad blood? What are you talking about? That's news to us. Three days before the murder, Wakusan claimed Okuboku'n here punched him and stole his wallet. They told me all about it at the center. When did you even ask? While you were busy chatting up Terasawa-chan. <laughs> Even if I bitch about it, I'm still damn good at my job. Well, Okoboku'n, did you take his wallet or... Not or quite. Him? They call it delusion of theft. It's a symptom of dementia. You think something's been stolen from you, then blame the first person you see. Not the easiest thing to deal with, right? Someone accuses you of theft for no reason? Must have been a shock. So when Wakusan tried to hit you, you just about hit him back. But I didn't hit him. No. You murdered him. I wouldn't kill a man over something like that. Ah. I wish I could believe you, pal. Do you? Come on, Okaboku'n. You've got a record of violence. It wasn't me. I swear, somebody set me up. Please, you have to believe me. Whoever did this is laughing at all of us right now. <sighs> Calm down. Yagami-sensei, do you believe me? I do. Okay. The next time, come alone. Fine, I can take a hint. You and Yagami-sensei can cuddle up all you want. Hey. You know that nurse, Terasawa-san? Cute girl. It sounded like she was worried about you. Bet you'd have a chance with her once you get out of here. I don't know. If you'll excuse me. God, I hate this guy. Shintani? They did not make him likable in the slightest. So Shintani just left you hanging, huh? He's gotta learn some damn patience. Maybe so. But this is my case now. I can handle it myself. Huh. Okay.
Yagami-san. So? Hmm? Have you seen Mafia lately? Well, where's this coming from? She's just not that great with men. I suggest you be more assertive. <laughs> right. Okay. Assertive? Uh, you mean that friend of yours, Sarikun? She's got Shintani all riled up. Said he'd have been nicer to you if he knew you had friends who looked like her. <laughs> Jackass. Hey, nothing's official yet, guys. Regardless, keep it on the down low, okay? Yet? That word says more than you think. <laughs> it is what it is. JK. I'll keep my lips sealed. I doubt that. Mafia Kuhn's a prosecutor, right? Isn't it kind of taboo for her to date a defense attorney? Can we not do this? Either way, guess the Okubo case comes first. We're pleading innocent, yeah? That's the plan. What is your plan here? This isn't gonna be an easy win. Well, I'm working on that. There's one piece of evidence that still bothers me. Yeah? And what's that? What should I focus on if I want to prove Okubo innocent? Oh crap. Um. That feeling says the drug or his dementia. Victim's body fluids. This is Wakusan, the victim. Suffocation is the apparent cause of death, but they still haven't nailed it down conclusively. As for his body, it was found buried in the mountains of Okutama. And Okubo's the one who told him where it was, right? As I've seen, he's admitted to that much at least. Yes, but he insists he didn't commit the murder. Maybe so, but you're gonna need evidence if you want to prove it. They find anything on the body? Maybe something that give our man an alibi? No, nothing like that. Well, that's a shame. Well, that's not my point, though. The evidence I showed you is... That evidence won't win you the case. What the hell's your problem? Was that Shintani? I think so. Get back here! <laughs> that bastard. Oh, it's eavesdropping on you. What the hell? Jump out the window. I tried to stop him, but uh, he pulled a stun gun on me. Uh, hey, wait up! What the fuck kind of wussy ass running style? What the hey! Hold up, idiot. Is that Mafuyu? Ridiculous, we're just circling the block. Oh shit! Ah! My kneecaps! You won't get away! I 
I don't feel like I got her. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. Woman. Help! Someone help me! Aren't you Terasawa san? Ah! Let me go! We got a grope out here? Scum of the earth! <laughs> Not on my watch, you son of a bitch! It's noble, motherfucker, but listen, you got it all wrong. I've been set up! Oh wow, what the hell? It's accurate. So I assume I don't have stuff like, uh, Tiger Dog? Unless... No, I don't. I don't have a Okay. So we grab that. Ah! Stun gun! I'm back. Who's getting tracked? Me! Nice. I want that. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Fuck him up. Take the stun gun. Thank you. Now! That's not how you use a stun gun. Oh, Terasawa. Okay, wait. This makes no sense. Why would she run away from me? Maybe Shintani intimidated her, but... Can all lawyers fight like that? That's assertive, alright. My guy can be assertive. Talk, motherfucker. Did you really need to run away like that? I assume you came to see me. There was something I wanted to talk to you about, yes. But I wasn't sure if I should. Then that pig-headed friend of yours started shouting, so I just lost it. Okay, but did you have to tase him? Not that he didn't have it coming. Anyway, I'm listening if you want to talk. No matter what it is, I'll keep your secret. Anything you tell me will fall under client attorney privilege. Well, you know the witness who last saw Wakusan? Said he saw him sleeping in his bed. Uh-huh. Well, that witness is a man by the name of Shonasan. He's one of the scientists at the ADDC. Not only that, but he's the director's right-hand man, too. This is him? Pretty much a run-of-the-mill researcher. Yes. He's a very dedicated doctor, so the nurses have a lot of faith in him. But something felt off when I heard what he had to say about the incident. And what's that? I guess I'm just skeptical as to whether or not he actually saw Wakusan. I don't think he's intentionally deceiving us, but he may be mistaken somehow. And if I had to guess, I'd say the other nurses feel the same. Tell Still, you know. why hasn't anyone mentioned this until now? How could we? Nurses talking about a doctor behind his back? That's not something a nurse could do without consequences. And if it came to a courtroom testimony... None of you would testify? Maybe the other nurses wouldn't, but I would. I never really fit in over there anyway. Besides... Yeah? I think Okubo-san is innocent. Oh, really? Sounds like I've finally got an ally on my team.
I'm currently employed as a researcher at the Advanced Drug Development Center. Part of our research consists of clinical tests we perform on patients in the general ward of the center. On the day of the crime, I was making my usual rounds through the ward. Yoji Shono. And what time was that? Around 7.50. You're sure? Yes. The patients eat breakfast at precisely 8 o'clock. I always head to the break room myself, uh, right around then, too. This break room, to be precise? That's correct. Our more mobile patients walk there for breakfast instead of eating in their own rooms. Then, while the nurses help the patients eat, I ask about how they feel and how the medicine is treating them. And on the day of Wakusan's disappearance, you passed by his room before going to the break room? Yes. And in that room, you saw Wakusan lying on the bed. This guy looks like a young Taiga Saijima. Yes. Can you describe the situation to us as you remember it? The door has a window, so you can see into the room from the hallway. And this is the room you're referring to, yes? That's correct. From where I was standing in the hallway, I could see Waku-san lying in bed. He was asleep, with a blanket covering most of his body. And what time was that? Around 7.50. No further questions. Yagami-sensei, why did you call her to the stand? She actually asked to testify. Is that a problem? Not really, no. But you're worried about her career? Consequences? Here's my chance for a comeback. I feel super clean and a burn I got from air out of a waffle make is no longer showing. <laughs> I'm having my first energy drink. It's orange, it tastes interesting. There it is. Terasawa-san, you were present for Shono-san's testimony just now, yes? Yes. Okay. Focus on and what is your opinion on that testimony? For a scientist, I felt his wording was rather imprecise. And as a medical professional, I felt his actions were negligent. Could I ask you to be a little more specific? Our witness, Shono-san, claims he saw Waku-san sleeping in his bed during his morning rounds. However, there's no way he could have known that just by looking in from the hallway. I have evidence supporting Terasawa-san's testimony. Shono shouldn't have been able to see Waku. I have evidence to prove that. I have played plenty of Phoenix uh, Wright games in my time. It's because if we take a look at this view, there is no way we can see the pillow, sir. Please look at this. It's a photograph of the victim's room as viewed from the hallway. In other words, this is what Shonasan would have seen when he checked in on Wakusan. And this evidence points to this fact. Whoa, 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 you just jumped. Let's see. I don't know. I mean, there was no way he could verify that it was Waku. The culprit was hiding in the hospital room. There is no way we can prove that. The culprit is Shono, who claims to be a witness, is also a very bold claim. The victim was already dead. Perhaps, because there was no way you could determine if the motherfucker was alive or dead at the time. Waku-san was already dead when Shono-san went to check on him. What are you implying? At the time, the defendant hadn't yet collected the linens. In fact, he hadn't even arrived at the ADDC. Meaning, Okubo-san could not have been the murderer. Assuming that's true, then, 
Why did he go through the trouble of hiding Waku-san's body in his laundry cart? Huh? He didn't. Uh, well, depending on how you look at it... Please. You know this is a court of law, don't you? Well, I have to calm down. Let's try this again. Maker. <laughs> I don't know. Damn, autocorrect. Thought I was making waffles would sound good with whipped cream and strawberries. Best place for it is IHOP. I wish we had IHOP. Sorry. Over here. Let me start. I over. fucked up. Wait. Our witness, Shono-san, claims he saw Wakusan sleeping in his bed during his morning rounds. What? However, I'm not convinced that's actually what happened. I mean, this makes sense, but none of the other choices make any sense. There is no way Shono could have chucked up on Waku, and this proves it. I mean, I, I still feel like it's this, because you can't see the motherfucker. Please look at this. It's a photograph of the victim. In other words... Shono-san was lying when he said he saw Waku-san in the bed. Excuse me? What he saw from the door was likely nothing more than a bulge of sheets. He couldn't have been able to identify it specifically as Waku-san. So to claim as much in his testimony seems like quite an exaggeration, don't you think? But common sense would dictate otherwise, would it not? Who would be in the bed other than Waku-san? Objection. Nurses are trained to always enter a room when checking in on a patient. In Wakusan's case, it's impossible to tell anything just by looking in from the hallway. There was actually one time a while back where we thought he was under the covers, only to find Wakusan eating in the break room a second later. And upon re examining the room, we realized that we had mistaken a bunched up pillow for Wakusan. The witness makes an important distinction. The prosecution asserts that Shonosan's testimony is clear. That the victim was taken out of his room at some point between 7.50 and 8.30 in the morning. They claim that because of this time frame, the defendant must have smuggled Wakusan's body out in his laundry bin. That's why Okubo-kun was assumed to be the only person who could have killed Wakusan. But if Shono-san's testimony is invalid, as the defense asserts, we have to consider the possibility that Wakusan was taken in the middle of the night when nobody else was around. After which, the killer could have waited until the morning to plant the body in the defendant's truck. In other words, the defense establishes that there is reasonable doubt that Okubo-san is the killer, rendering the prosecution's central argument unsound. Your Honor, taking this new testimony into account, I'd like to call Shono-san back to the stand for cross-examination. I wonder how this panned out, because he still has his position. Shono-san. Yes? Let's see how Shono responds with that evidence and Terasawa-san's testimony out in the open. I'll get right to the point. On the day of the crime, what did you see when you looked into Waku-san's room? Toast. I saw Waku-san asleep in his bed, I think. And did you get a clear look at his face? I don't remember. So it's possible that it could have been someone other than Wakusan in that bed. Or maybe even a pillow that you mistook to be Wakusan's body. Isn't that right? Objection! The defense is leading the witness. Sustained. Please rephrase the question. Shono-san, can you say without a doubt that Wakusan was in that bed when you checked on him? I... I, I don't think I can, no. <laughs> Not and a good look, brother. the defense rests. But I do have a quick remark for the prosecution. Huh? The prosecution's argument has fallen apart. Now, to go in for the kill. The charges against my client stem from your assertion that he's the only possible suspect, assuming the crime took place within the stated time frame. However, the defense has proven without a doubt that Shono-san's testimony is unreliable, establishing reasonable doubt for my client. I would suggest, then, that you withdraw the charges against my client. With such inconclusive evidence, you'll only be wasting the court's precious time. 
The prosecution does not consider the witness's testimony inconclusive. His memory of the incident may be fuzzy, yes, but that doesn't change that he saw the victim. So, your whole case is based on a fuzzy memory? This promising young man's future is at stake, and you're willing to throw that away on unreliable testimony? Dr. Shono is a bright and diligent researcher. After watching his own grandmother develop dementia, he vowed to create a drug that could cure the disease. After paying his own way through medical school, he went on to become the head researcher at the ADDC. Day after day, Dr. Shono visits his sick patients out of the kindness of his heart, leading to his valiant testimony here today. If you want to know whether I trust this man, then my answer is a resounding yes. But nobody asked. In other asked. words, because he's such a great researcher, his testimony is infallible. His own admission that he's not sure is somehow overlooked? Is that the sum of it? <sighs> because from here, it sounds like you're putting your faith in Shono-san's title, not his testimony today. The prosecution is not as easily swayed as you think. And you want to talk reputation? What of your client's history of domestic abuse? Your Honor, this is turning into a farce. Please, make him shut up. <laughs> oh, oh, he's gonna bring up Okubo's record. Six years ago, the defendant broke his girlfriend's finger. The poor girl is still suffering from the effects. And the cause? A minor, drunken disagreement. Now, fast forward to what occurred a few days prior to the crime. Wakusan, suspecting the defendant of stealing his wallet, lashed out and punched the defendant in the face. Given the clearly violent nature of Okubo-san here, that alone would be motivation enough to murder the poor old... Has it already Someone been talking a... shit? Huh? Huh? <laughs> How has it already been a month? Switch, welcome homie. How you doing? Hope you're doing better. Thank you for the subscription. You know you don't have to. Uh, but I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Kyodai. Okay! Is something wrong, ma'am? Please remain seated while court is in session. Terasawa-san? Okubo-san is not a violent person. And he hasn't even had a drink in over six years. Not a single drop since the incident. You know a My lot about My court him. will not stand for this commotion. He didn't blame Waku-san at all. He knew that the outburst was just caused by his dementia. That it was all the sickness's fault. So there was no reason for him to resort to murder. Terasawa-san, please. Okubo-san really is an incredible, caring person! Please leave this courtroom at once. You're right that he may be hard to approach, but he's a kind soul, and he always keeps his promises. Okubo-san's not the only person in this courtroom who would be affected by a guilty verdict, either. As a matter of fact, it would break my heart. And even through it all, he wanted me to keep this a secret! Not to tell anyone, not even his lawyer, that we were dating! Objection, Your Honor! She has ulterior motives- Oh wait, I'm defending the motherfucker. <laughs> even though he knew he could have ended up in prison, making sure I was safe was the only thing in the world he cared about. That's just who he is! But when the prosecution has already decided he's a criminal, how could he possibly be given a fair trial? <sighs> Her little outburst wasn't technically admissible, but as the trial dragged on, it hung over the jury like a stone. And in the end, Shinpei Okubo was found not guilty. But only well, a month after his release, everything changed. 
The same girl who had so bravely proclaimed Okubo's innocence died by the man's own hand. All the pieces are coming together now. It makes sense now. Something wrong? No, it's nothing, Vice Minister. But... I haven't seen you in about three years, Kido-san. I see you're still the director. You look familiar, but I can't quite place the name. I seem to recall you looking sharper. I'm a detective based in Kamurocho now. The name's Yagami. Ah, I remember now. You're the reason Terasawa-kun's no longer with us. He can't look at me. Remember, Shono? Okubo-san was unstoppable. If only my testimony had been better. Shono-san, right? Does it matter? What brings you here anyway? I'm investigating a murder. And I'll need your cooperation with it. Just like old times. Also, I haven't been able to drink energy drinks because of a murmur in my heart yes, caused by a faulty valve. So I'm yes. sipping it more than sucking Thank it you. down. I'm a sipper as well, but that, that sounds scary. A murmur It does in your seem heart. we received a phone call from this Shintani-san you speak of. Do you know who he was calling? Dr. Shona. The same Shono-san you were just with? Why would Shintani call Shono? Yes. However, it's unclear as to what the point of the call was meant to be. Shono was away from his desk at the time, you see, and Shintani-san didn't leave a message. You have no idea what he wanted to talk about? None. Shono says he doesn't know a Shintani-san, and sees no reason why he would be calling. Oh, really? <sighs> Look, Shono and I co-authored the research paper on AD-9. We're quite well known, as it turns out. Sometimes, complete strangers pretend to be close friends or relatives in order to contact us. Perhaps Shintani-san fell into that category. Have you heard of the mole murders taking place in Kamurocho, Dr. Kido? Three Yakuza, each one with their eyes gouged out. It's a grisly business. Shintani was killed in the same way. I've seen the news. Can you think of anything tying the ADDC to those murders? Huh? Look, just what are you implying? Look, I believe we're done here. There's nothing I can help you with. Please stop! You can't! Who are you? Detective Kuroiwa, Kamuro Police, Organized Crime. One of your guests here has information related to the case I'm currently investigating. That would be you, Yagami. Hmm? I'd like to speak to you as a material witness to the murder of the lawyer, Masamichi Shintan. Is that so? Oh, sh we're blazing through the game, dude! Okay, here we go. Previously... The mole's latest victim was the lawyer, Shintani. The last call he made brings the case that ruined Yagami three years ago back to the surface. I'll get to that question in a bit, hold on. A patient was taken from a hospital and found buried in the mountains. Yagami defended the suspect, Shinpei Okubo, and got an acquittal, but one month later, he murdered his girlfriend, Emi Terasawa, with a kitchen knife and burned the remains. Chapter 6, Collusion.
I'd like to speak to you as a material witness to the murder of the lawyer, Masamichi Shintan. Is that so? I'm Hoshino, an attorney at Genda Law Office. Officer, is this interview voluntary, or...? It is. It's your call, Yagami-san. I think I'll pass. Excuse me? You have your answer, sir. You can go now. <laughs> Bye, you can Felicia. make this easier if you come now. Next time, it won't be voluntary. Your empty threats don't mean much to a lawyer. Can you take this elsewhere? I really must be... Too bad he's not a lawyer anymore, then. Your friend's nothing now. Just come along quietly. I'll come back with a warrant if I have to. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Why do you suspect me, anyway? I bet you don't even have a reason. I can come up with a few good ones. Enough! Get the hell out of my office! You'll regret this, Yagami. Kuroi san <sighs> Wait, what? Now nah, hold on, Swift. What you doing over there, man? Hold on. You too. Out. Hold on. Before we go, can we speak we to Shonosan for a second? We got some shit to unpack here. We hold need to know why on. Shintani called him. Listen, I already told you he doesn't know. Get it through your skull. Now, please leave. No problem. We'll let you get back to work. This is really getting out of hand, don't you think? I can't believe that detective thinks you're a material witness. Yeah. I don't know what he's talking about. But what I'm more interested in is how he even knew where to find me. That's a good point. How would the police know we were here? Beats me. For now, let's focus on Shono, though. It would be a waste coming here and not talking to him. Agreed. Let's see if the receptionist can help us. Okay, let's unpack this. First of all, question. What do you like when you eat a taco? Like, shell type, I'm assuming. Uh, I'm a soft shell type like in my fucker, you know? Uh, and I like them with a kick. They have to be like spicy, you know? It's nice. Uh, trying Yakuza 3 next. It's remastered. Now this is the part. That I reacted strongly upon. Weren't you just playing Yakuza 0 the other day? How are you going to jump from Yakuza 0 to Yakuza 3? You got Kiwami 1, Kiwami 2, and then 3. You can't... What? What's happening over there? Kiwami is also remastered, by the way. I would play the others if they were free. Oh. But my recommendation is, in some way, form, or fashion, go through them in order because they make more sense and you... The stories, the emotional um, payoffs, they hit harder, I would say. When you know the characters from the previous... There's like a character development thing going on throughout the entire series. I would say. Okay. Receptionist. Shono. Have you seen him? Let's talk to him. Can I help you? Actually, I've already been here. I was just with Director Kido. Remember? Um. Oh, of course. Did you forget something, sir? Well, not exactly. I'd actually like to speak to Shono-san, the 89 researcher. Where would I be able to find him? Let me see. Uh, that should be the research wing. I believe he's in the Protein Abnormalities Lab. Probably need a gold keycard to get in there, huh? That's correct, sir. I should be able to lend you one with the director's approval, though. Just he give approves. me a moment to ask. Could you tell me your name, sir? Actually, uh, never mind. Kido-san seemed pretty busy earlier. I'll try back later. Are you sure, sir? Yes. Good call. There's no chance Kido-san would let us in. So here's what we do. At least now we know where Shono is. The research wing. I switched into my vampire clothes. We sneak up on someone who has a gold keycard. We knock him out, take his clothes, 
and going to the research wing. I feel bad for the one getting called a cyclope. Oh, Majima. Okay, 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 smart, smart. But did you beat it? Yeah. I wonder if there's a map around here somewhere. Okay, a map. Um, oh, it's a good thing the game is pointing it towards one, so let's, uh, let's get it. Let's get it. What the? Ah. Oh, still, you stuck in chapter four and you're gonna go to Yakuza 3. Swift, what are you doing over there? Okay, it's right there. I see it. Let's find the research wing where Shona is and a path that leads to that area. Suspicious. Wait, is there a cat here? <laughs> For fuck's sake. What the? Hmm? Suspicious. What the? This goes over to the hospital. I think Wakusan was up on the fourth floor. Suspicious. Hey. <laughs> the service entrance parking lot. All the delivery people come in and out through here. This All is right. where Okubo's truck was parked three years ago. But the best case scenario would be to go through Kiwami 2, Kiwami 2, and then 3. Alright, back. Sorry, I'm in class at the moment. No worries, man. No worries. Hey, Director Kido's office. Hope it's we going just well in, in class. There. Okay, so I could... Ooh, hold, hold, hold the fucking phone what the? here, mate. Suspicious. This leads to the research wing. The receptionist said he would be in the protein abnormalities lab, right? Correct. Huh. Well, I guess that's not on this map. But, is there anything hmm. else that might be of interest? Doubtful. Okay, so we got the entrance right here, and this is the first floor. Hmm. What the? Suspicious. That's where I would be. This is where we are now. The ADDC <laughs> lobby. Suspicious. Those are the elevators. Just kidding. Uh-huh. Wow. Hmm. What the? This is Yagami. Hmm. Suspicious. Hmm. <laughs> How are you, terrible? Uh, I was quite tired and worn out when the session started, but I'm actually feeling more energetic now. I'm feeling good. How are you doing, bro? Thanks for the hydrate. Okay. Some kind of security gate, huh? The research wing must be just past there. You can thank Chet for hyping you up. Ha! Um, <laughs> excuse Thanks. me. Yes, ma'am. This is one of Shono-san's researchers. She was just about to return to the lab. Oh? My name's Hashimoto. I can show you into Dr. Shono's lab if you'd like. I would love that. Look at you go. Are you I'm sure? I'm alright. Of That's course. Great, to hear, man. <laughs> great. We'll take you up That's on that. That's a relief. Even. Wonderful. Hashimoto-san just happened to be passing through. Thank you. Right this way. Time to cheat on my boyfriend really again. Lamau, me and my Yagami. banana jokes. <laughs> and I'm Hoshino from the Genda Law Office. So. Thank you for doing this. Oh, don't mention it. I'm glad to help a guest of Director Kido's. This place is so massive, you practically need a tour guide to get around. I hope you're okay with walking. Oh, oh that's walking. totally okay. <laughs> Holy shit, Swift. So, Hashimoto-san, what kind of work crazy. do you yourself He's do? undercover crazy. I'm part of the team developing 89. Dr. Shono is the head of that team, but I'm pretty new around here. Speaking of, what exactly does AD9 stand for? Well, the AD comes from the name of the center. Mm -hmm. The Advanced Drug Development Center, ADDC. And it's the ninth drug our department's developed. Oh, that was surprisingly easy. It'll be the first dementia-curing drug on the market, right? Seems like it's really getting fast-tracked because of that. But there's a lot riding on this one, right? It could finally cure Alzheimer's disease. That's right. 
Do you know how many dementia patients there are in Japan alone? A couple hundred thousand, at least. Maybe even in the millions? Right. As of 2012, there were 4.62 million. That many? By 2025, that number will increase to at least 7 million. Potentially up to 13 million, including at-risk patients. That's one in every nine people. Yikes. However, as a nation, we're already at capacity in caring for these patients. In many cases, people over 60 are stuck looking after their dementia-struck parents in their own homes. Worldwide, it's estimated there will be 135 million patients by the year 2050. It's staggering. In other words, AD9 could save the world. This could be a real miracle. I gotta say, uh, this is making me feel kinda bad about how we treated Kido-san back there. Director Kido will go down in history if we achieve this. A lot's changed in three years. The bastard's really made a name for himself. Be nice. Make me. I'm also wide awake right now. That's that energy drink talking. So there is that, and I'm getting Chernobyl vibes from that ADDC security system. I miss that game so much. I hope there's a sequel for it at some point. Dr. Shono is right over there. Or mods. Mods would be amazing. Well, if you'll excuse me. Mr. Shona! Is there anything else that might uh, pique my interest in here? That thing still has its lid on, by the way. Yo, my guy! How we doing today? Shona-san. Yagami-san? But... Uh, how did you get in here? Hey, calm down. I just want to talk. Uh, I, I I can't do that. Kido-san doesn't know you're here. Does he? Is there a problem? Oh, Ichinose-san. Uh, well, uh... I've never heard you raise your voice, Shono-san. Aren't you the guy from the lobby? My name is Ichinose. I'm here from the Ministry of Health. Offering political support to AD9's development. Kaoru Ichinoze. Kiro-san called you Vice Minister. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Pretty lofty for a Vice Minister. You can boss scientists around, but I'm not biting. So I see. Shono-san, please. I just need a few minutes to talk. We'll leave right after we're done, promise. I already told you I, I can't. Not without Kido-san here. I need you to tell me, why did Shintani call you? Shintani? I've never heard that name in my life. Stop this lying to me, man. Shono. You have to have some idea. Please, I, I don't. Now get out of here. I'm calling Director Kido. Do what you want. Just let me ask you one thing first. <sighs> this is a juicy one. Itchy nose, itchy band, itchy back, itchy nuts. <laughs> um, so this one would not be a great one to pick. I feel like yeah, he's gonna say, yeah, uh, making the call right now. Do you know about the murders in Kamarucho? No. Making the call right now. Are you scared of the director? Uh, no. Making the call right now. What the fuck? How do I win? You seem awfully deferent towards Kido-san. I mean, you won't even talk to me if the guy's not here. So why are you so afraid of him? Well, given how much tax money is going into the development of AD9, it's become quite a political matter. As such, the director is being extremely cautious about leaks. But I'm not here to talk about 89. I need to know why Shintani called you. And I already told you I don't know. Now please, let me get back to work. What the... What are you doing here? Kido-san. I believe I told you to leave. What about that didn't you understand? I wanted to ask about Shintani's call. About which I already said Shono doesn't know anything. And I needed to hear that from him, not you. 
Enough. Call security. We're not getting We were just here. leaving. Come on, Hoshinokun. I'll be filing a complaint with the Bar Association. Under the Minister's name. The Minister? Of Health? <laughs> That's right. Minister Kazami expects great things from AD9. And he won't tolerate distractions from your ilk. I don't know why I'm so upbeat, as if someone said there's a second Halloween now. Halloween seems to be your, uh... I feel like we came up empty-handed. Why event, would Shintani-sensei hey. have called Shono-san? Yagami-san? That wasn't the first time I've heard about Minister Kazumi. Huh? When was it, though? Who was talking to me about the Ministry of Health? Ayabe. Uh, I want to say it was when we were talking to Ayabe. It must have been Ayabe, when we were drinking over a tender. I definitely remember him mentioning Minister Kazumi. We were talking about how the Kyore clan ended up in Kamurocho. Apparently, they're being used as muscle for a construction company called the Kajihira Group. A while back, Chairman Kajihira himself was going around, laying the political groundwork for a Tokyo revamp project. And one of the people he met with was Naohisa Kazumi from the Ministry of Health. Huh. You'd think he'd go to the Ministry of Land, though. His project has nothing to do with health. What would he gain from meeting Kazumi? That's true. Do you think it has to do with our case somehow? Minister Kazami's name won't stop coming up. Is that just coincidence or something more? I don't know. Depends on what the two of them are talking about. In that case, maybe our Kajihira expert can help us out with that. Who? Sugiura-san. He used to work for them, remember? True. Oh yeah. Good call. I can be spooky. I just so had a vision you of know. you. I just had a vision of you painting your face green before a stream, <laughs> and no one's seen anything but your eyes, headset, and mouth. That would be that would be something. Just the fucking hoodie, or the hoodie itself would also be green. I would just be a pair of eyes. How oh, Kajihira and Kazumi are connected? Yeah. Any way you can find that out? I would just be I'm not really sure, but I'll give it a shot. Thanks. You're still at the ADDC, yeah? Just give me some time. I'll call you if I find anything. My man. I think I might hit my goal of reaching chapter 7 today. I might even... Nah, I don't dare to say nothing. I don't dare to say nothing. Oh, Yagami-san. What up? Um, I'm gonna head back to the office. I just got an email from Saori-san. Apparently, a journalist named Hattori barged into the office. Says he wants to interview you. Me? It sounds like he's looking into Shintani-sensei's murder, too. Anyway, I'll go ahead and drive him off. <laughs> You'll begin to sensei's ace attorney before you know it. Nah, I don't know if I'm ready for that. Honestly. Why? Too much responsibility for a guy my age, you know? <laughs> I think I make a much better sidekick for now. <laughs> okay, but when that gets old? I don't know that it will. Being a professional sidekick for the rest of my life sounds okay to me. <laughs> I'll see you later. This is... Guess I'm on standby until Sugiura gets in touch with me. I won't reach my goal of defeating Zero until I help the bind person. Blind person, I'm guessing. He said it, uh, someone kicked him in the side. What? I'm assuming you're at the massage parlor, right? That part of the game. Ooh! Ooh! Okay, alright. Listen, 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 listen. We have two things we want to tackle before we... Oh shit, we can't, we can't really do much anyway, so... 
Excuse me, sir, but do you have a minute? Hmm? What is it? Let me introduce myself. My name is Shin Fujimori. Have you ever thought about investing, sir? Hmm? Ah. Huh? Honestly, I think you're better off talking about that sort of thing with someone who actually has money, not someone who has 3.5 million. Uh, well, I say investment, but nowadays, anyone can do it as long as they have a smartphone. You can invest on your phone. Yep, stonks. All the way to the moon, baby. Ever heard of crowdfunding? Kickstarter? That type of shit? Coffee and whatnot? <laughs> it's where you gather online donations from all over the world. It's become a big trend in the past few years. Wow. And to streamline this process, we developed an app called Quickstarter. You can invest however much you want, money you want to whomever you wish, whenever you like, all from the comfort of your phone. Nah. Well, it sounds easy enough, but I'm not interested. Indeed. That's why millions of people make micro-investments with Quickstarter. Only a small donation is needed. And even small donations can make a big difference. They all add up to help a campaign reach various milestones. Finally, once a campaign meets its goal, everyone who invested gains priority benefits. Priority benefits? Can you give me an example? My phone went crazy and restarted your stream, so now I'm stuck in an ad. Damn, F. Let's see. For starters, you can get special products shipped to you or you gain access to brand new facilities. How? How? That actually sounds pretty neat. <laughs> Does it? I'll tell you this much, man. I once started up a company of my own, but I had a hard time raising the necessary funds. And wouldn't you know it? I got everything I needed from a crowdfunding platform I signed up with overseas. That's why I created this app, to help other entrepreneurs worldwide. Huh? Wow, so you're the president of a company? Oh, it's quite small, so it's not really a big deal. Anyway, the point of my story is, please try using Quickstarter for yourself sometime. Wow, fucking sound. Yep. Okay, I'll at least install it for the time being. This guy's tracking me. <laughs> please do. And by all means, let me know how it goes. This is some shady shit. Thank you. Plugged it in to end up watching the same PlayStation ad. Damn. Garbage, garbage truck is here. <laughs> there it is. Okay. I don't want to go there at all. It's a quick starter app, huh? Interesting. No, noob at play. I don't want to become famous. A new project. Whoa, whoa. What is this? What is this? I appreciate you, homie. Thanks, Kev. Ancient text deciphered. Mind over matter. Why does everything remind me of fucking POE? Enough! My man. I'm assuming that this leads to skill books. QR code compendium? Blech. I hate it. Dice cube strategy guide. Hug Bomb Alpha. Propeller H. Motor S. Ooh. Ooh. Expensive. Premier Dart. Get your fucking darts out of my face. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. This is the play. Dude looks like he lost his glasses like Welma from Scooby Doo. <laughs> People are investing! It's going up by itself. Do I need to do anything? Minimum 5,000. We did it! Okay. Now, if I go back in. A hundred percent. Do I have to buy it as well? Mm, 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 mm. No, it's not it. Popo. 
Let's see. I think this is the play. Because what uh, hug bombs will do, I tried them off camera, right? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. Um, 30 stacks. Okay, let's let's buy one for shits and giggles, all right? Does that mean that I can create another one? Or do I have to progress more in order to do so? Because what that does is, if we take a look, if I just disable my camera for a second here, go into skills, you can see that I have 5043 SP. If we go in here and we use this hug bomb, I could also use an extract. But maybe I save that for the good stuff. Maybe I save that for the good stuff. So 5,043, if we use this, I gained 100 SP. And I believe this is the best way of grinding SP real, real, real quick. Of course, it's costly. So what you do to mitigate that is you run the Paradise VR, which can net you... I mean, shit, you could, at worst, walk out of there with, like, half a milli. But if you're playing it right, you could go get out of there with well over a million. Well over a million. Now, what's the deal with this guy? I, I don't want to trigger it, though. I don't want to trigger uh, the main storyline. So let's be careful. What the fuck? Game? Okay. You don't give up, do you? <laughs> Okay. And stay down. Also, I just I just wanna know. I just wanna know. If I go into city, I have befriended 32 motherfuckers and it's gonna be 33, and we already have three people or two more. That are still in progress so it's looking it's looking good honestly i have one word for that shoot yes. My empty bottle nice he wanted that he wanted that what else did i need like uh, <laughs> Really, guys? Thank you. Get the fuck out the way! Ah, uh, ew, we just picked up fucking condoms, dude! What the fuck? Off the ground? Logic. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. When I came back and saw a username with a uh, red username that got banned, I thought I got banned for a minute. Man, no waste. <laughs> okay, what's the deal with you, sir? This looks like a potential scam. Potential scam. Look at that trash can go. <laughs> okay, what you got? Keep missing. Are you some kind of mutant, sir? Are you mad, bitch? You can try again anytime you like. I could use some extra pocket change. Hey. You mind telling me what's going on here? What? You don't know? Oh, Mr. Try and Hit Me. Mr. Try and Hit me. Almost gagged, sir. Okay, Kenji Tanaga. Let's go. You serious? I'm dead serious. If you can hit me even once within a 30 second time limit, I'll give you 50k. I gotta warn you though, out of all of my 200 matches, I haven't lost a single one. You think you can break that record? Yeah. 
All I need to do is hit you, right? Sounds easy enough. <laughs> you say that now, but I bet you will end up sprawled out on the ground like everyone else would challenge you. Come on, come on, Let's go. And you know what I love seeing more than anything else? Embarrassing, arrogant pricks like you. <laughs> so, if you think you got what it takes, then put your money where your mouth is. It's 5,000 per try. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. I'll take you on. It's more like it. Let's go. Uh, y'all need to back up a little. Just back up a little. Just back up a little. I, the great Kanago, prophecy, prophesy that you won't land a single hit on me and you will end up hitting the pavement instead. Interesting. Then I'll just have to shatter that prophecy of yours. This again. Uh, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Check this out. Oh shit. oh shit, okay, 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 okay. Gotcha, bitch! <laughs> Stop my time! Stop my time, thank you. Oof! Ha! Man, you got me! Me! Of all people, how? I simply aim my punches. That was a kick, brother. No prophecies needed, dog. <laughs> wow, that guy actually hit him? No freaking way! It's like he was doing some crazy kung fu shit. <laughs> yeah, he was fast as lightning. It was even a little bit frightening, to be honest with you. Man, you fast. You got the moves all right. I've never seen anything like him. Here, take the money. Boom! <laughs> oh my fucking... Wait. If OML is on my life, Ah, there's a G missing. There's a G missing. I got you baited. <laughs> but damn. This feeling in my chest, it hurts. So this is the pain of defeat. Who? Who are you, man? It's me. <laughs> this is Yagami. I'm sorry I didn't pull any punches. You were talking shit, so I just had to set the record straight. Kung Fu fighting song. I think, wait, no. Everybody was Kung Fu. <laughs> Okay, I I'm assuming there's tears to this shit. He's gonna come back with a vengeance saying, Yo, I trained day and night. Spent some month out in the mountains. But you can't hit me now. Hmm? Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, that makes sense because he's, uh... Because he's, uh... He's a friend. Damn it. Someone actually taught you to be like this? Damn straight. Who was the previous Mr. Try and hit me before I took up his mantle? He got defeated by someone named Kazuma Kiryu. I admired his way of thinking. <laughs> Back in the day, I was just another punk, trying to hit whatever and whoever I could, but I could never hit him. <laughs> I see, he must have been quite strong. He was. And thanks to you, Yagami-san, his memory's been rekindled in my heart. I owe you one, if anything. Now I have a new goal in mind. I'm gonna train over and over, day and night, a, mount a month in the mountains. <laughs> All right, bro. So, okay, okay, I can do that. Listen, can I do that again? Like immediately? If I can max him out, I'm happy. Okay. Give me that icon. Give me that icon. Give me that icon. Oh man! Oh! It's right there. Oh hell yeah, brother, let's go! The two time? The two time? I'm saving again. At Phoenix Wright was also one. Uh what else did we have? What else did we have? I lost again, man. I hit him before I'll do it again. <laughs> oh there is. And I won't be losing to anyone until I face him again. It's you! Oh. Aren't you? Hey! The one and only. This is Yaga. <laughs> so we meet again at last. I've been looking forward to our rematch. Ready to punch some air? Well, aren't you all fired up? Oh. Let's go. I've been training day in and day out for this moment. I'm practically untouchable now! Let's go, bro! Let's yeah. go! <laughs> Oh, 
allow me a brief divinity. Another POE reference? What the fuck? I see with my mind's eye a challenger, but what's this? He's on his knees in defeat. Listen, you need to take your mind's eye to an optometrist, bitch, because I see a much different future. Shit's falling in my house, what the fuck? Paranormal activity. What are you doing in the background, sir? Must we? Run. <laughs> ah! What the shit? He's onto me. Wow, he has learned his lesson. Wait, 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 wait. What if I do? Wait, what the fuck? No! I did it! I did it! Stop my jump! <laughs> he cornered himself. You played yourself, dummy. Holy shit. <coughs> Holy <gasps> shit, man. I can't believe you beat me. Twice. Two times. But a deal is a deal. Take the money. I must say, you are quite something. Take it from someone who's always running into one knucklehead after another. I still have yet to find a guy who can dodge like you. What can I say? The previous Mr. Try and Hit Me taught me well, man. He was like a god among men. His feet could move mountains if they wanted right. to. Tell me, what can a man do to push himself past his limits? Hmm. The only thing I can say is practice. Not just dodging, though. Huh? You mean I need to practice throwing punches, too? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you knock him out, he can't punch you. Word. Oh, shit, what the... <laughs> then what you're saying is, I need to get in fights more often. <laughs> I can do it. I'll bust some heads. Listen, randomly picking fights with people is exactly what I don't want to see you doing. Huh? I, I, I guess you're right. But then, instructions unclear. What the fuck do I do? Why don't you be my backup, huh? There are plenty of punks in town who seem to have it out for me, so I could use the help. Uh -huh. You want me to help you throw down? I can dig that. Good, because dealing with the k hidden gang on my own is getting to be a headache. Oh. Oh, no worries, man. I got you. If I see anyone trying to step on you, I'll swoop down on them with the quickness. My man. One word of caution, though. These are real gangsters we're talking about here, so they might even pull out some weapons. So bring your own. No worries. Knives and bats are nothing compared to your terrifying fists of fury. Now you tell me that. They can try all they want, but people don't call me Mr. Try and hit me for nothing. Let's see what they got. Okay, now, now, here's the important part, here's the important part. We need to unlock more friends, essentially. Because while I can do this, and I will, I wanna, I wanna do the quests in my agency, Genda, and the last place was Bartender. Right here. But okay, first things first. Give me that. Hell yeah. Just whatever it is, don't be a tailing mission. Whatever it is, please. I'm begging you. The heck is that? Hey, oh. oh, hey, Sukuma. What brings you out into the real world? That lizard flying across the screen? <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> Just something that piqued my curiosity. What could you possibly be curious about that a search engine couldn't tell you, huh? Oh, I picked up on this electromagnetic wave with a weird frequency. It's not normal radios or taxis or anything. Hmm? An electromagnetic wave? <laughs> Don't make me explain it. Listen, I was bored anyway, so I figured I'd come check it out. <laughs> you gotta be the only guy who would leave his house to check out an electromagnetic wave. Hmm? A block number. Is this the bomber again? Should I answer it? 
Oh shit. Can I save my game? I hate how peaked is spelled because it's pronounced peaked. I want to say piquade. <laughs> Pe piquade. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Shall we get straight to it, Yagami san? Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Hey. Good thing you can't hear us. I just sneeze like a gun going off. <laughs> how many times do we need to go through this, man? You are menace to society. You got a grudge against me, son? You can't keep blowing shit up. A grudge? That's fucking rich. You're the one who started this, Yagami son. You disarmed the first bomb, you know? You remember? It would have gone off without a hitch, but you just had to go and play the hero. <sighs> you out of your goddamn mind. Shut the fuck up. No more talk. Let's do this. There's a new bomb in Kamarucho. Just the one. Stop it if you can, dumbass. Your hint is... The pigeon coos among the cherry blossoms. What? Oh, hey, Swift. You look away from... Close your eyes. Close your eyes. And then, take a look at this. Wait. Say yeah. Say you close your eyes when you close your eyes, Swift. Say it. I'm spoiling it. Close your eyes. <laughs> Zen, check this out. Swift didn't want to be spoiled on the next playthrough, but if she doesn't close her eyes, I'm gonna spoil it. Are you panicking? You're seeing a lot! <laughs> you had your warning. The next playthrough after judgment! Ah! Why would you do this, Switch? Mm -hmm. Wait, did I swear during those? No, I didn't. And it's going to be, it's going to be a Nuzlocke. Or if they implement the feature by the time I get to it, a Wonderlock. There it is. There it is, dude. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. My boyfriend screamed in surprise from the bedroom. Maybe he watched the reveal of the next playthrough. <laughs> okay, I'll watch. No, you're good. You're good. You don't have to go nowhere. You're cool. You're, you're okay. <laughs> Mission abort. I'm not looking. No, you can look. It's over. <laughs> okay, guys. The pigeon coos among the cherry blossoms. The pigeon coos among the cherry bl I'm looking this bitch up. Ah! Is that? No! I'm ending the stream. I'm ending the stream. <laughs> what happens if you feel absolutely nothing? I mean, I guess we could set a little punishment thing, but it doesn't count for now, right? <laughs> oh no! Why is my vocabulary so good, yet I still choose words I shouldn't? Ah! Bar blocked when you revealed it. Okay, listen. <laughs> the pigeon coos among. <laughs> I refuse to let it not count. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. I wish I could gift you like chat. I wish I could gift people channel points whenever I fail it. I could just give them like, yo, you got, you just earned 5,000 for tripping me up. That'd be nice. Um, but it counts. I failed my very first 
Can't you? Can I? Twitch gift channel points on Twitch. Oh my god. A manual award of extra points cannot currently be done by the caster. Oh, your fate shall be decided at another time. You can't. Popos! Popos, wait. That still makes no sense. I mean, you could reject the redemption. No, 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 no. Switch got me, fair and square. But actually, who is to say that I was not referring to a female dog? In which case, it is not a profanity. Okay? <laughs> okay. Listen, this is... This is... The pigeon... Wait... If I refund it... He... Actually gets his points back, which is the same as rewarding them back. Free sub. He just subbed this session too! I could gift him a... I... I... That's a good idea, actually. I could gift him a sub. I could gift him a sub. Alright. Switch. You want a free sub, bro? <laughs> I'm just gonna mute my... Is it over? I'm just gonna mute my shit <laughs> whenever someone redeems it. He gets... I want a meatball one. Oh. Nah, I'm good. Shit. Shit. Oh, man. Switch is a different foe, man. He, he's scary. He's scary. Okay. Yagamishi. Yes, help me. How good? He's good. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> He's good. Okay. <laughs> Where? Huh? Hmm. Somewhere in Kamarucho. Huh? Is that bomb? Yeah. <laughs> Naturally. This electromagnetic wave is probably your bomb. Where is it? Easy peasy. Yagamishi. Where is it? Where is it? Why, you? The crazy shit. See, it's in game. <laughs> the crazy shit has been finding me. Anyway, make it happen, Sukumo. All right. While Sukumo handles that, I need to figure out this pigeon cooing and the cherry blossoms. Oh no. Is there, is there a hand here? Cherry Blossoms? Cherry Blossoms is... Cherry Blossoms is a place, right? It's not. Cherry Blossoms, Cherry Blossoms. Pigeon? And any pigeon, pigeon coos. I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Cherry blossoms, cherry blossoms, cherry blossoms, pigeon poo in cherry blossoms. It's a hot dog. No, no, no! You don't give up, do you?
fuck out the way! Popo store. Wait! Which Popo store? Tenkaichi. Cherry Blossoms. Cherry Blossom. Cherry Blossoms sounds like, uh... Yeah, you got me. That was the first time I've been... I have been bested. Well done, Switch. I should, I should create like a Hall of Fame or something. Because that was, that was good. You got me. So if it's a Popos... Bro, I'm looking this up. I'm looking this up. Hold on. <laughs> what, what is this called? Now, what if I activate it again? Th this is what I would do, Switch. This is what I would. <laughs> pink Street, Pink Cherry. That's what I would do. <laughs> okay, Pink Street. Uh, what? Papa, you. Popo store on Pink Street. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Let's go. <laughs> I'm actually slightly faster when they chase me, so this is good. So last time I had a quest like this, the bomb turned out to be all the way up here. Why is he targeting... Why is he targeting these places? Uh. Is it inside the fucking thing? No way. No way did you place a bomb. The pigeon coos amongst the cherry blossoms. What? Where's the bomb? found it I would have never found it I was going north and west northwest it was in southeast I'm just gonna rip the cord like last time you're welcome Tara thank you thank you thank you saved me a retry on this the countdown stop ah? excuse me sir what exactly are you doing are you trying to blow this place up uh, it's nothing. Hide it. <laughs> what, what, what are you holding? Is that a bomb? No, nah, wait, man. You got it wrong. This isn't... Ex is, hold, say, te say that this is the last one. I don't want to do more of these. Listen, man. You got it all wrong. Listen to me. Calm down. Breathe. I'm a detective, not a bomber. Indeed. This man is not the bomber. Not at all. I'm the bomber. What? Sukuma, good timing. Did you track the guy down? <laughs> Did you even doubt it? He's standing right in front of you. What? Huh? <laughs> I will be damned, sir. I'm tired of you shit. And the cops are gonna wanna discuss a few things, so you come in with me. Don't take another step. You see this? This whole building is wired, Sam. Wait, how did he hide that? Shit. <laughs> Quite a sight, in it. You see, I am the last bomb. What are you trying to pull? What do you gain by blowing yourself up? This town's security is trash, and I need to make them see that. What do you mean? Oh, switch! I got it! 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 Listen, I remember a story that you told me a while back, and I would like to say that I don't like strawberries either. In fact, I would hate to eat a strawberry on stream, so I would be devastated if you made me eat a strawberry on stream. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 
nine consistent viewers. Good job. I haven't done shit, bro. I'm just doing what I do. I think it's actually up to Zen because she raided me earlier. Why is he there and not running out as fast as fast and as far as possible? Good question. Okay. Focus up. Focus up. This guy was apparently fired from a security firm three months ago. Does that answer your question? No. Oh shit, you remember that? I remember everything, brother. <laughs> Will you eat something like strawberry flavor, like candy? If I absolutely have to eat strawberry flavored candy, I suppose I will as punishment for failing my channel reward. <laughs> Wait! I'm so sad. I... Don't make me do it. <laughs> You're fast, and yes, I am going to teach those money-grubbing sons of bitches a lesson they won't soon forget. <laughs> I gave everything I had to the city. I created a detailed proposal to revamp this entire city's security, and they just laughed at the cost. Cause I absolutely love strawberry anything. It's clear these assholes won't do shit until something serious happens. You can talk all you want, but I think we both know all you really want is revenge. Revenge has nothing to do with it. I'm sacrificing myself to show the people of Kamarucho the truth. And with that, bombs away. No! Stop! Huh? Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! I think not, sir. I'm thinking Jeff Dunham. Oh, the comedian! I thought... God, fucking, I read Jeff Dunham, but I thought Jeffrey Dahmer. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm afraid that won't work. I hacked into your transmitter and changed the frequency. Nani! <laughs> You're done, -zo, bro. Come quietly. <laughs> Hell, man, I ain't going down without a fight. Let's take this Must out. I don't want to trash this place on your account. Listen, man. Listen. Ah! Fuck you up! Get up. Do the combo thing. Fuck it now, sir. What? Okay. Let's tiger drop his ass. Bitch. Tiger drop! Ah, shit. Who do you think? Ooh! Clean. Huh. You wanna help, Sukumo? Nerds can outdo a bomber. Nice. You just yeeted the bomber. Imagine if that made it go off. This place was not this clean. Thank God that's over. Gug! You're gonna gug a lot. Shut the fuck up. In jail. Bitch. <laughs> Backseat D's nuts. <laughs> Why? You can type exact whatever you want, bro. Why would you. 10 points well spent, bro. Well done. <laughs> we go now to breaking news. The man suspected of blo bombing incidents in Kamarucha has finally been apprehended. The suspect, Ryu Asaka, a 34-year-old convenience store employee, was fired from his security firm earlier this year. According to the police, the rejection of Asaka's security proposal was the motive for his actions. Asaka's private residence has been searched and we are told some explosive devices have been deactivated. Well, it sounds like this is all wrapped up. I owe you one, brother. <laughs> I don't know why, but you got it, bro. You did it. Mission accomplished. <sighs> well, you Best hungry? Cutscene ever long. Wow! Look at you, Swift. <laughs> Sukuma with the dates. 
Seriously? I fixed an issue she was having with her phone at a net cafe and she was so grateful we're having dinner. <laughs> Damn, for real? And you go and dress like that, dog? She's weird, you got me. She likes me just the way I am. Even said I was cute. I think it's only in donation that it's not working. But I'm switching over to stream elements. At some point, I don't know, I just need some time, alright? Are you some kind of ladies man in your circle, so come on. <laughs> what can I say, brother? I must be sitting on the F5 key because my ass is refreshing. What the fuck? Also, that didn't dent my points? Well, you got it for free? <laughs> Next time, I'm letting you get blown up. That's fucked up. Okay. Holy shit. Now. No more dossiers. No more handshakes or whatevers. We're good. We're good. Another thing I'm curious about, can I invest more money into the, uh, hug bombs? Ooh, code finder. No, 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 God. I'm just gonna save my money for this stuff. <laughs> Give me them kneecaps, I need them. So. Had that many points, you just style it on the rest of them now. Pikachu could never, no, no. Pikachu could never, bro. It's gonna take him years to reach that, bro. Get the fuck out the way. For a miss to try and hit me, I just hit you three times. All right, give me a shut up, bro. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> oh, I gotta, I gotta spend points actually. I've been slacking. Ah, it's the spot. Back to it. I'm gonna do a pro gamer move. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Arigatou gozaimashita. Oh no! Is it time? Is it time, Kevin? Oh no! I think it's time, boys. I had no idea. He snuck up from nowhere with a pro game. Oh, Jack Har Red and Sacked at Jagville Scrivelic Socked Detty Brian Sagel Ma O Mauer. That sounds like him. That sounds exactly like fucking Pikachu. <laughs> That's how I envision it. I thought the pro gaming move was something else. Holy shit! Holy shit! Okay, give me them points. <laughs> she sounded like he was having a stroke. Poor Brian. Brian's not having an easy time on this channel, though. Let me tell you who what. <laughs> no way, Kev, Kev gave me 50k points. Kev, give me 50k points, bro. What the heck? Okay. Ooh. What y'all talking about there, brother? Hmm? There's Kaito-san. Looks like he's with someone he knows. I've never seen this dude before. What's up? Hey, Kaito-san. It's a friend of yours. Chuck. Oh, hey, Chuck. This is Adachi. Adachi. He and I go all the way back to middle school. Wouldn't it be some crazy shit if this turned out to be the mole? Adachi, this is Takyagami, the guy I've been telling you about. Oh, the man himself. <laughs> I think you can just uh, change the pitch level somehow. Or someone close to Brian. Hmm, I could look into it. The man himself. Kaito never shuts up about you. I'm Hayato Adachi. 
Now, why would you be important enough to get a name? Is what I'm wondering. Adachi Estate President and Director? I take it you own the company? Yeah, but it's still pretty small. Hmm. We hadn't talked in years, but we ended up randomly crossing paths the other day. <laughs> now I got a new drinking buddy. I had meant to introduce you earlier, but yeah, you know. Ah, no problem, bro. Chuck. In fact, we we're about to go grab a beer together. We wanna tag a long talk. It's 9 a.m., mate. The more the merrier, I say. Yeah, you know. Huh? Right now? This is all so sudden, man. I, I wasn't prepared mentally for this shit. Come on, jackass. We're going to Tender. It's right there. <laughs> Ooh. Actually, you know what? <laughs> That's an interesting tidbit you just uh, stumbled upon there, Swift and uh, Pikachu. I actually have a voice changer, but since I'm using a uh, voice meter as well, I'm not sure how it's gonna work, but you know, you know, you know, it, you know, it could happen, you know. <laughs> Adachi here was one of the smartest kids in school, you know, you know, <laughs> even back then. So you were an honor student, huh? Nah, he's blowing out of proportion. I was the slacker. I tested well, but I was also a little punk, always picking fights and shit. The teachers hated me. <laughs> and that's the story of how we started getting along. Adachi and I were always teaming up to keep some neighborhoods wannabe gangs asses. He was the brain, I was the brawn, you could say. We were one hell of a tag team, right, brother? <laughs> yeah, scary alone, unstoppable together. When you and I hit the streets together, it was bad news. Kaito! To this day, I don't think I've ever met a guy I would rather have on my team than Kaito-san. Bro, can't you make TTS cheaper? It's so nice. Oh, bro, grind, man. You just gotta grind, bro. If I do that, and people just come in like one or two times and they afford that shit, it's gonna be yo, it's gonna be a recipe for disaster. Bro, no. Make it cheaper for just me, dude. You know me, man. <laughs> it's nice to be appreciated, but no need to lay it on that thick. If you start sounding like Anonymous, I feel like I would get confused as fuck. <laughs> no, no, no. Nah, no, that's not what I meant, dog. Stamis, right? Kumpis, please, kumpis. <laughs> it's fine. Besides, you got a new partner now. Hmm? Oh, you mean me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> My partner? We're a pretty good team, but partners? What you think, Todd? Hmm. I don't know. I always thought of you as a colleague, a co-worker, you know what I mean? Co-founder of this shit. But I guess partner works too. <laughs> I just remembered what you remember. But like 1.5k or something. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I might meet you, meet you at like 2k or something. We'll see. Yagami-san. I hate to ask this out of the blue. But do you think I could borrow Kaito for a bit? Hmm? Some kind of job thing? Exactly. I was going to visit you at your office to ask this. But uh, sure. Uh, what does a real estate a agent firm like need a lot of like kites around for, huh? Wait. Ah, oh, come on, dude. I gotta fix that. I think it's actually the weird thing is if I test it, widget, test donation. Give me your fucking money. This is a test donation for eighteen dollars. It works there, so it's fucking weird. Nah, I'm kidding. I hope so, bro, because that's kind of fucking guilty conscience and shit. I won't be able to sleep at night, dude. What the hell? People eat chocolate-covered bugs, don't they? Yeah. Uh, what the fuck was it in, like, Thailand? They had, like, these, um, cockroach popcorns? Shit. Delicacy. <laughs> I'm gone, dude. I thought of the Law & Order version of that. Nani? Intrigued? About that. I need a bodyguard, bro. Oh. Yo. What's all this about, Adachi? You wouldn't think a real estate would have such a physical demand, right? But it does. Kamarucha's market has been attracting rough types for years, and they hate newcomers like me. What do you say? When you say rough types, you mean Yakuza? Yeah. Scorpion Lollipop. Yeah, I've seen videos of that. No thanks. I'm cool. What? Switch! 
Brothers, dude. What? Supposed to enjoy the fucking delicacies and amazing cuisine of the world. We're not supposed to eat bugs. <laughs> Give me like a what the fuck is that shit called? One chip challenge shit. Give me that. <laughs> And that's why you need a bodyguard? I'm so out of this game right now. <laughs> yes, but only if it wouldn't cause any trouble for you. I know you must be drowning in yep. cases. Not really. I understand though. And I'm fine with it as long as Kaito san is. What? What have I found? Pause your game for this. What is this? What is this? I can't pause just like that. What's, what's this? Give me, give me. What is this? Give me your fucking money! Oh, that's I go hard in the <sighs> Wow. What is playing right now? <laughs> God damn it! Oh my god, dude. What the hell? I'm getting derailed. Okay. Not really. I understand though. Not really because I'm I'm lost. <laughs> Gotta be open to trying new foods, brother. Oh my god, dude. Mm. No prop. Listen, I'm not giving you any friendly discounts, Adachi, alright? A million dollars in yen right now. Yep. Yep. This is Yagami. Incredible. I really appreciate how flexible you've been about. This. Kaito. Don't mention my fucking flexibility, bitch. Aibo. Mm -hmm. Well, Kara, what do you think about the one I just randomly found on YouTube? It's, it's funny. It's good. Are you waiting for a fist bump? It sure brings me back. Glad to be on board, there, brother. You're leaving him hanging. What the fuck you supposed to boom <laughs> Chocolate covered scorpions on pizza we in You guys are nasty as fuck what the fuck I'm disabling channel rewards I'm restarting the channel I'm going back to fucking two follower Andy bro Yeah you know 200 IQ. You shouldn't have anything cheaper than 301 points. So no new viewers can buy anything. They will just have to stay a little bit longer. That's not 200 IQ, bro. That's... My man. They will fucking follow. And let's say you get 250 points for that. And then you just go and take a shit or something. You come back. What type of 200 IQ shit is that? Cooked. Ew. I'm a Scorpio, so I won't eat that. I too am a Scorpio, so I won't eat that either. <laughs> Bro, you get watch time. I'm a suck a watch time. Fuck that. I want this. I want this. You get 300 points when you follow. Yeah, nah. I ain't interested in all that. Hayato Adachi, huh? I should have his company business card in my case file, and that will give me his address. Maybe I should check in on him. <laughs> nah. That's nah. Or you make it 3,000 and they have to stay for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Got him. Okay, case file. Chicken on Kaito. Okay. Where's the fucking thing, dude? I thought it was here. Is it not? Is it here? Valuables? Panties. Ooh. 
Adachi's company address is on his business card in my case file. But... Where? Is it a side thing? Partners! Got it! It's a side case. Got it. Tenkaichi Alley, Yoshikawa Building, 3-8. Let's get it. Well, I'm supposed to memorize that shit. Uh... What's that? No. It was Tenkaichi, right? I was hoping the game would kind of, uh... Ass catch him. Wait, what? Okay. Tenkaichi Alley, Yoshikawa. The alley, the alley, the alley, the alley. Here, here, here. Let's go. Time to find more munchies. Ah, shit. Swift's munchie game is impeccable. Hey, yo, King, what up? Huh? Likely story. Get lost already. There is Kaito san doing what he does hmm? best. Hmm? Is that guy in the loud shirt Yakuza or something? Probably. Adachi is shady as hell. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest if he was hiring a Yakuza. What do you mean, Shady? Haven't you heard the rumors, man? I've heard every negotiation his office gets involved in ends in threats. Yikes. I can't just ignore a rumor like that. Tuck. Mm. What's up, bro? How do I break it to you, bro? <laughs> Were those two guys talking shit? Relax, Switch. They weren't talking shit. Simmer down. Hey. They just didn't like your shirt. Anyway, how's the job going, kaito -san? Staying out of trouble? Now, why would you ask that? Unless you think I'm the one causing trouble. Nah, nah, I was just hearing rumors. Kaito! I think that's a wrap for today, Kaito. What do you say we grab beers? Oh, you got me, son. You should have told me you would be stopping by. Hey. Come on, Kaito. Tender sound good? Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, brother. I just want to grab a bite to eat first. I'm starving out here. That rumor I heard is going to keep bugging me. Am I tailing them? Hmm. Hmm. Time to make a five meat pizza and mac and cheese. That's the shit I'm talking about. You're going to make a five meat pizza? And fucking mac and cheese to a side to that? Like, what? That's Munchie Gang for real, for real. Ooh, there's a new friend. There's another new... There's... Oh, there are so many fucking friends. Oh, no. What's the deal here? Who's this from? Oh, I ain't, I ain't, fuck y'all. You guys are on your own. I ain't got time for y'all, man. I helped them once, nothing really happened. It is what it is, dude. It is what it is. Oh shit, he's right there. Yo, 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 talk to me, man. Oh god, oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Perhaps I should leave this mortal shell behind? Mm -hmm. Dude, what's he trying to pull? This is the only solution I have left. Getting hit by a car isn't the cleanest way out, but it's all I can think of. Hey, stop. What do you think you're doing? Just let me eat pavement, okay? I've already accepted becoming one with the universe, so fuck off. Hey, get a hold of yourself, man. You got so much to live for, hey. idiot. Now that you have calmed down a bit, mind telling me why you were so eager to turn yourself into roadkill? It... 
it all started with the company I work at, GA Labs. Hmm? GA Labs. It's an IT company. We released a really popular app two years ago and it's been blowing up ever since. Since we rose up to the top of the market, we decided to build our own corporate office and they put me in charge. That's something to be proud of. It would be if I hadn't miscalculated the budget. Because of my incompetence, we ended up short on construction funds. What if... What if we increase the timer by like one or two minutes every time I fail the challenge, the profanity challenge? That would be terrible. Imagine not being able to cuss for like an hour straight. That would be terrible. Holy crap. Ouch. I'm pretty sure you'll be fired once the president finds out. Before that happens, I will be resting in the afterlife. Can you not think like that? I mean, it all just comes down to money, right? Yes. But how am I supposed to gather that money? Hey. Got a hot key bind that shit. Cause right now it's a video file and I would have to create a new video file every time I fail. Woo! Yeah, yeah I got this is a, this is a, this is a quick kickstarter. Yeah. Do that. It's me. How can I help yeah, them? Bro, I've been drinking this fucking Papa Franco for damn near five hours. Eating habits could be a lot worse. I could be like the twins from Rugrats and eat bugs with everything. Whew! That would have been terrible. Okay. Ah, shit. In order to progress with this guy, do I have to donate to his project? Dude, he's right there. He's right there, dude. Uh, no. A new project was posted. Two hundred fuck. What? Now that I funded your shit, you're a stranger, bitch. Talk I'm I can't move. It's so infuriating when you just want to go zoomies, bro. You son of a bitch. You asked. <laughs> Now do you want to really, talk, guys? bro? Because this is goddamn bullshit, bro. Not on a... Oh my god. Let me move. Let me move. Let me move. There you go. He scammed me. This guy fucking scammed me, dude. Holy shit. And now Ryan is here. Great, awesome. And 
stay down. Ah, let me move! Thank you. Now. Hey there! Excuse me, sir. What, what do you mean, sir? We're friends. Yep. <laughs> a lot of people out there are full of amazing ideas, but since they're low on funding, they can't quite make them happen. With a single app, they can gather funds more easily, yeah. So... Thirty-four. Thirty-four. We need one more friend in order to unlock the next tier of quests. I imagine. So, you want to talk to me, bro? Got the mac and cheese waiting on pizza. Wait, did you order it or did you? Please, please, please talk to me. Yanami-san. Thank you for helping me out that one time. No worries. I saved your life and I crowdfunded your shit. What's up? Nice. Well done. <laughs> if you look over there in the distance, you may notice that construction is already happening as we speak. Ah. Ah. I put it on the pizza thingy, my bobby. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Hey man, it is what it is. I thought they were anonymous though, you know? Yeah. I I wasn't trying to touch your life, bro. <laughs> oh my god. How how much more do you need? I invested 200 k into this shit. Another 200! Bro. Bro. They take my money when I'm in need. <laughs> there it is, dude. What don't you do for friends? Okay, with that done, we have this friend as well. Fuck him up. Beautiful. I mean, this is this is quite a bit of SP as well. I don't know how, but I'm watching your stream as well as watching Markiplier, Bob, and Wade. Why are you singing Gold Digger? <laughs> How about we stop questioning this, huh? <laughs> oh my god, dude! This encounter rate is like those old RPGs. Like the maybe old Pokemon games. Rock that shit, thank you. And stay down. Just, just... If they could be a little, little, little bit faster, bro, I wouldn't have any issues with the fights. Never but they're fucking up my. Everything in existence. <laughs> oh, it's it's that type of stream it's turning into, huh? We're just wasting all of our points. <gasps> my stalker. I've been wondering about you. Hello there, Tomioka-san. Uh, how the fuck do I know her name? Nice weather today? Ah, perfect timing, Yagami-kun. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Well, I managed to lose the keys to the building's roller shutter, and now I can't get inside. I'm a master locksmith. I'm a lockpicker. Hmm. Hmm. The music video for you is out. 
for coming for you. Is that what? I still have 9.9k, so I'll get back to where I was in no time. I love the confidence. That's a dedicated viewer right there. I appreciate you, Swift. I didn't know Tomiyoka-san could be so demanding. I better get this shit open and quick. I'm on a timer? Chill, pig. Nice. It's open. What? Hmm. Oh, shit. You're that lady? <laughs> I, 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 I let's not say let's not mention that I spent like 400k on the quick starter app I ain't got the rent the nights remix I'm out of the loop Ready? you're an able-bodied young man and you seem to be good at opening locks so why don't I introduce you to a locksmith mm -hmm. I know okay Koizuka-kun. Did she just... What the fuck? <clears throat> okay. So what you gonna do? Teach me about picking locks? One of the finest locksmiths in Kamarucho. I just call him Koizuka-kun. Good to meet you, man. The pleasure's all mine, bro. Now then, Yagami-kun. Work hard to earn your key. <laughs> Is this another money-making scheme, perhaps? Yep. Whenever we get a job request, I'll toss it on to you. Oh, come on. Then you will head over to the client's place and open the lock in question. Okay. Ah, I think I know the place, actually. Yep. Wow, that's a lot of uh, points that need to be invested in this guy. Holy shit. We can do that. We can do that. Um, another thing I want to check out is... Let's go back to homeboy. Wrong way. Yep. Okay. Out of the what the way. fuck is the delay? I was gonna do. I was gonna do this. That too. That's a lot of health on this guy. Not the only one still drinking the same thing. Master sippers of energy drinks. Welcome back, Switch. Welcome back. Really, guys. Welcome back. I'm finished with classes. Ah, oh, hell yeah. How's the rest of your day looking then? What, what kind of plans we got for our Friday? Let's see. Bro, there are too many enemies now. Get one shot. Maybe we can hunger this thing. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, dude. If Cox lets me. Xfinity and Cox, the collaboration of the year, bro. I need to relax. Yagami san! Hey. Okay. We managed to reach our second donation milestone. Would you look at that? Bro, this is happening during the same day, essentially. Holy shit. Nothing has happened. Wow. It's starting to look like a real corporate office. It's all thanks to you and your excellent knowledge. You didn't like it? <laughs> hmm?
Oh, what the fuck? This is bullshit. I'm being forced to take a selfie, dude. Damn. Wait. I could have smiled. Yep. Hey, that turned out great. Feel free to share it with anyone and everyone. Don't tell me. What the f Yeah. Oh, thank God it's over. This guy took like 400k from me, man. Go away. What a friend. Okay. Um, that's that, that's that, that's that. 22% quick starter. I can't see any more for hug bombs, so I'm gonna keep my money. Let's go ahead and do another fight. On your chest. What a waste. Matana. Okay, so here's my idea. In order to make it... <clears throat> Maybe not as crazy as... Oh, hey, Kerrigo, go on the fucking actual treasure hunt, bro. See you in fucking Norway, X marks the spot, idiot! How about... <laughs> How about we just increase the limit? Listen, bro, you gotta go into this restaurant and you... Listen, you gotta go into McDonald's and you I gotta order a Whopper, bro. And you gotta fucking film with selfie that shit too, bro. <laughs> what if we increase... Each time I fail it, we increase it by like a minute or two. So, what if we increase it by like two minutes and next time someone redeems it, you can't profanity for five minutes. And then if I fail again, seven. There's no way you can get me a hug. I am seasoned. Listen, I'm an ex-YouTuber. I learn from my mistakes, all right? I am literally unbeatable at this current point in time. Open the door. That's a beautiful idea. Oh, oh. okay. Let's, let's go with that. Let's go with that. Imagine having a session where I can't curse for like an hour. That would be so terrible. I would be... I would be family friendly. I might finally make it in this content creation game. <laughs> Excellent. I already have some jobs lined up for you. You don't say. Okay. I got this. Bro. I got every single one of these. It's easy. Can I accept them all? There, I got it. Wait, does this mean my punishment is voided? I mean... No. <laughs> I wouldn't say so. How about them strawberries? Hey, talk to me! Well, I ain't eating no bugs. F that. I'm family friendly now. <laughs> hmm. Fudge this. What? 
Let's go! I'll read a whole ass manga on stream, bro. Let's How about see. That? Nice. I'm not on a time limit. This is almost there. Weird. Perfect. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb. No sweat now. I'm gone. No! Sweet! We're friends, dude. I would announce my fucking retirement before I eat a fucking scorpion. <laughs> uh, how come this guy quit streaming, bro? Uh, it's because his friend dared him to uh, eat a scorpion, a lollipop, but he was like, nah. He said, I'm not about to lie to you. He, he is on TikTok nowadays. <laughs> Holy shit. Disgusting. Stay down. That's disgusting to say. Okay. I love that thing. Bro, there are too many enemies during threat levels. Look at this. What if I eat one with you? How could we prove this? Why the fuck you wanna eat scorpions, brother? Leave them shits alone, bro. I'm vegan! <laughs> That's it, got him! I'm vegan, bro. Woo! I'm vegan. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it went smoothly, you got me, Ken. Let's do the let's do the one chip challenge, bro. Let's do it. Let's do the one chip challenge. Oh wait. Bro, get off. Delete my number. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, where is it? They're close by, so this is good, actually. Hey Margin. <laughs> you wanna eat one too? Hmm. <laughs> I actually felt Kevin slip away from the fucking keyboard. He's like, nah, fuck that shit. No. Carigal was the one who said bitch, wasn't me. Okay. Nice. Almost there. Oh, wow. That'll do it. <laughs> what if I'm helping them, like, rob the place? Ah! We got another condom off the street, bro. This is disgusting. This game is vile. It's like picking up the freaking dildos in Cyberpunk out in the street, bro. Disgusting. Oh, you want to do that? No. I don't. But. Am I blind? Oh my god! It's the fucking at the other end of the world, bro! Okay. Alright. No, you got it, game. I got this. I will do this task for you. This is the type of shit you gotta go through if you wanna max out all the friendships in the game. <laughs> da 
that's what you wanted to ask him? Damn. Bullshit, bro. Hey, Caragol, would you? Uh, the questions I get, hey, Caragol, would you eat like fucking you scorpion lollipops? It. And the questions that Kevin are getting, how's your day been? I know where I am on the fucking friendship scale. Jesus Not Christ. Much. Hey, Karaba, how you feel about bungee jumping, by the way? Wow. <laughs> oh, it's right in front of a hotel, bro. Like, somebody flung that... It's disgusting. That's disgusting. That's absolutely disgusting. How do I get in here? I got it. Deliver the extract and edit to your. Oh, you fucking. You guys should be a goddamn ashamed of yourselves, bro. What the fuck? Hmm. Okay. Well, there's a smiley on my screen, dude! Nice. Almost there. If I had three ah! K points, I would say Caragol will remember this. <sighs> okay. So with that done, Whoa. I know, I know this guy's nasty ass is gonna want some fucking condoms at some point. Where is it? Is it here? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. What's this? Twig. So in here we open open the door. Ah, uh. <coughs> I suck at this. <laughs> Don't be so hard on yourself, mate. All right. uh, so, so, so. Got it. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Actually, that's a good question. What's your guys' thought on bungee jumping? Um, I'm, I'm I, I I would do it. I would do it. It's my stance. But I'm fucking crazy. I actually looked up like um, how much it would cost to like jump out of a plane, you know, with parachutes and all that shit. Hmm? It's not that expensive, honestly. Yamasan, do you have anything that will help me feel more energetic? All right. Let me get the one I had the other day, yeah? Oh, here you are, motherfuckers. Plenty of extracts to go around. <laughs> Come to Papa, nasty son bitch. Okay. It would be last on the bucket list. <laughs> but what would be? What else would be on the bucket list? Now we get into the juicy parts. Uh, no, I have an empty energy drink bottle. I have an empty bottle. Wait. What? 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 Wait! 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 Empty energy drink bottle. Pink Street. Small Branch. Park Boulevard. I have twigs. What, what the fuck, man? Wait, don't talk to him again. So you're telling me that. Request. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I got it. I'm dense. Hmm. <sighs> what else do you need, bro? 
Let's try making an extract with the ingredients you came up with. I already did. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like punching an Xfinity employee would be at the top of the list. Holy shit. Yep. Wait, what, what, what do you need, dude? Flesh dancer? That sounds like a node in PoE, to be honest with you. Swing. Ah, this is... Swing extract? That's for Xfinity X Kevin right there. What the hell does this guy want, bro? Punch a Cox employee is a top of mind. Damn, y'all, y'all some violent motherfuckers. I just wanna punch a motherfucker. <laughs> um, extract, extract, extract. Unextractable. <laughs> Power attack. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Wait. Wow! Am I the only one hearing that when that happens? Excuse me. Mm. Hmm? You mean some soul searching shit, bro? I don't have any family, you see. The earliest memory I have is being abandoned in the mountains. So if I really think about it, I actually have no idea where I was born or who I, I even am. Crazy, right? That is crazy. But when I was rescued, I did have one old thing on me. An old crumpled up piece of paper. It sounds like the beginning of fucking seven days to die, isn't it? And on it was written the recipe for the mysterious extract. Huh? Wow. So the extract was the first thing you knew. You knew how to read at the time? Okay. Unable. I've been eating the tuna onigiris all this time! Ah! Okay, we can do this. Holy, this is a lot of extracts, bro. No, 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 oh no. Oh no, it's gonna turn into a gamba stream now. Excuse me, sir. I'll snag that old circuit from you. Can we gamba? What's this? Is this shoggy? This is why we gotta eat the scorpions first. But why? Why we gotta do this? Also, uh, I would like the uh, detective switch to uh, emphasize that Kevin said we. He is now a part of this mess. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. My train of thought, it's nowhere to be found. Wow. Uh, this one. Oh, what the fuck? Camping bitches? I missed. I wonder what AJ's thought of this conversation would be. It's just something to bring up on the next Lego plate. Nice. Get up. How's it going, bro? You got him? Oh, I missed. I'll make him eat a spider. Yeah.
can't stay down. So you guys are dangerous. Matana. Let me go! Thank you. Yeah. What? <laughs> ah. Uh. Yeah, I mean, you gotta stop picking up these condoms off the street, dog. It has to stop. This again? I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I'm gonna have to. These guys will chase you to the ends of the world, bro. Ah! You gave up. Nice. Get the fuck out of here! Terrigal, the condom collector? I don't like... I don't... I don't... I don't like how... Fluent that rolls off. I don't... <laughs> There's a lot of K's in that bitch, you know? It just... Strings together. Yuck. <laughs> the KCC. Y'all heard about the KCC now? What's the story about the KCC? The story about KCC, if you haven't heard, it's Caragol, the condom collector, bro. It's a very infamous story, bro. Doing that. What? Listen. Oh hell! Okay, it's fucking time to cease and desist here, bro. It's time to cease and desist. Like, what the fuck? You nasty, like. Kids are roaming the streets. There's no reason why y'all should throw out your fucking condoms like this. This is insane. This is like cyberpunk pre-patch, bro. Get picked up. That does not get picked up. Now it does. I'm breaking the game. If I had fallen off the end of the world, I'm shitting my game. Some shit has been spoken into existence. I'm not gonna do it. Okay. Is this another uh, hug bomb thing? Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah. Yes. No! Alrighty then, let's see. So, so, this, and then if I do. Is it this button? Oh, I can see. Wow! This setup! It's a big old head there! <laughs> Condom is right there. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta change myself so I'm okay. Wait, I can do this. Not now, not now. Stop. Cease and desist. Okay, I do this, I do that. I am here. I'm discombobulated like a motherfucker, bro. Hold on, wait a minute. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. That. Okay, yep. okay. Nowhere. So we'll just get off. But did that mayhaps reset my no. Okay, which one of you idiots did this, huh? Hmm. Okay. Allow me to take care of this problem. Yeah, okay, so let's see. We're gonna go 90 paces to the nice. south. There it is, like that. And then we do this. 
perfect. It's a very delicate matter, but uh, we definitely took care of this. Arigatou gozaimashita. A bakamitai. <laughs> okay, go. And then here. I have no idea why I'm doing this on stream. I should be I'm trying I'm trying to beat this game up. I'm back, took the dogs out, moved the trash can, and gave out pizza. You gave out pizza? Damn. I've just been picking locks, honestly. How much more? Okay, one more, one more. Give me that. Can y'all see it? It's right there. If you were a neighbor, I would throw a pizza party. Hell yeah, pizza for the whole community, dude. What kind of toppings did we have on the pizza? This should be the last one. This should be... Eh? Ah. I'm sorry? Ooh, that's new. Which one of y'all motherfuckers need a door picked? Hello? Hello? Don't... Don't tell me it's bugged. Now I wanna punch the guy that stole my pizza. Who stole your pizza? What? Am I bugged? I swear to God, bro. Listen. I'll, I'll pick this one. Everything was going so well. Talk to me. Oh my god. Did you not... Was it recently? Hmm. I hate you! At least stand by the railing. And if you see a confused dude trying to pick a lock, but he's not sure where the client is, you'd be like, Oh, hello, you must be the locksmith. I need help. But no, instead, you're here hiding. Why did you leave your pizza unsupervised, Switch? What happened? Walk me through the scenario. Almost there. Nice. Got it. I did it. That should be the last one. The wire broke. I don't care, game. I won the war. I won the war. Okay. And then... If we go over here... What's here? Look, I tried to do the thing. Bring it on. Wait! They stole the whole pizza? Bro, that shit happened to me too! What a waste. That shit happened to me, it's now that I think about it. Cause I thought it was like a physical scenario where they, like, you ordered it, you placed it on the table, and then you left to like go to the bathroom or something and someone fucking scarfed that bitch down. But I ordered fucking Domino's pizza, bro. And, you know? And then we're gonna deliver it to my, uh, deliver it to my place. And I told them, yo, when y'all get here, call me, and I'll come down to get it. These motherfuckers get here. These motherfuckers get here. And I guess they see, like, a dude or a couple of dudes standing outside my door, right, at this apartment building. And I guess the Domino's dude was like, Can I go? 
And, I mean, homeboys looking at the pizza delivery guy with like a fucking pizza in his hand like, Oh hell yeah, yeah we care, go! And they fucking got my pizza! It was late as shit, bro! It was like... 10 p.m.? 10 p.m.? And I was like, I called them, bro. I was like, yo, listen, because they have this little tracker thing on the browser. I was like, yo, something must have happened because it says that my pizza was delivered. It, it, it says the the whole process is complete. So it's 100%. Step five out of five. But the thing is, I don't have a pizza right now. So we got into a little back and forth like, uh, yeah, they might be on the way still and, uh, give it another 10 minutes. This, that, and third. It's like, uh, 1040 at this point. I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> we gotta resolve this. I ain't got no pizza. It's been 40 minutes. It ain't coming. So the same dude that delivered the pizza remade it and delivered it here. And I go down there like, listen, I'll take the pizza. And I know we probably fucking spat in the fucking thing or some shit. But listen, just answer one question. A answer one question. Did the caragol you delivered the pizza to look like me? <laughs> he was like, no. Well, okay then. You have... Y'all gotta do better, Dominoes. Cause it's not like you, you can't even pay in cash or with card. So you either gotta prepay, which benefits the pizza squatters, let's call them, or you get like a you got like a check that you have to pay within like 15, 30 days. Even then, it's like at the moment of the transaction, it's like, who wants a pizza? <laughs> It's a flawed system. Yeah, my DoorDash delivery guy stole my mushroom and pepperoni pizza about a week ago. Ah! Shit, man. And you knew he did that? <laughs> oof, that's fucking oof. That will give you trust issues, man. Every time I order from Domino's, I'm at the fucking window like a fucking hawk. Like, is that a bike? Y'all coming by fucking car? <laughs> but to open the window, you're like, well, I don't care. I'll be down there. Eh, down there ain't no damn caragol yet. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> okay. So, during the course of that, we made another friend. <laughs> Holy shit, this game is toxic. According to the pizza place, they made it and they've been having difficulties with DoorDash, guys. Oh, man. Can't you order through another service, or is that... Hey, AJ is here, in case you want to have a second opinion on the topic that was discussed. Uh, welcome, AJ. Don't hi, AJ, AJ, bro. Switch me on some other shit today, man. <laughs> okay, so what are we doing? What are we doing? Gather intel on Adachi Estates. Another condom? Another condom? There it is, dude. Picked off another condom off the streets. Yep. It's a part of the game, man! Holy shit. You know how you gotta say like a uh, certain name three times, like Candyman, fucking Bloody this Mary, or whatever? <laughs> it seems like the keyword with AJ is just say condoms, they don't fucking pop up eventually, bro. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> um. Here. Oh, that's how it is. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Look at what Swift. Now I'm hungry again. Swift with the Uber Munchies and Switch 
with the images of food he makes. It's like... Kara, I'm enjoying pizza. Tell me to mute the stream before you say what you pick up. <laughs> imagine, imagine Swift looking at the pizza like... Uh. <laughs> Sacred rot, got him. Okay, locals, locals, locals. You guys probably have something to say, no? Back, phone died. Anyways. <laughs> oh no. Hi, AJ. Bro, I'm so fucking lost. There would be no locals back here. Ooh, 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 ooh. AJ, look what I got. Hey, Swift, close your eyes again. Close your eyes again, Swift. Okay, you have been warned. Close your eyes. Eyes closed? Okay. Hey, AJ, look at this. Look at this. AJ, 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 look at this. <laughs> it's, just, it's like question mark. What do you mean? Should I close my eyes too? Look, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's toxic. Okay, you can look swift. It's okay. Um. Man, I don't know where the fucking locals would be. I'm looking this shit up. I'm trying to play an uh, untitled game that I don't want to spoil after Judgment. Untitled Brilliant uh, Minerals. Yep. You can't pay me enough to eat a scorpion lollipop. The fuck am I hearing? <laughs> Bro, it's been damn near six hours. I don't know what's being said at this moment in time, alright? AJ, close your eyes. Swift, you can look now. <laughs> oh! <laughs> no way! AJ, don't close your eyes. AJ, open your eyes. Swift, you... Yeah. The sequence has passed, Pikachu. Turn around. <laughs> Everybody, look at the stream, okay? <laughs> I'm watching my TV every time you tell me to close my eyes. It's like you guys are two high-level Pokemons and you're not obeying your trainer's uh, command. So, ooh, ooh, you see how that... But may, uh, if she was looking, then, you know, it's... Yep, 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 yep. I too have Untitled Game. Oh, is it the same version of the Untitled Game? Also, Switch drop the candy in case bugs I'm eating pizza, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so AJ, I'm planning to uh plan to Swift close your eyes and ears Nuzlocke it <laughs> uh, locals 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 holy I'm never gonna get done with this game dude holy crap Holy crap, dude. Holy crap. Uh, it's gonna be fun. Uh, where am I, which, which chapter is this even anymore? I started on chapter 4 and we are currently on 6. Is this 6? Yes. Okay, so... Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh yeah, AJ. That's my name, yes. Who the hell is... Okay, where is Lullaby? Lullaby, 
lullaby. Here. Okay. Neat. Let's go there. Ah, it's going the wrong way. Move! Listen, that's not it. That's the hostess club. I'm looking for... Is it here? I think it's this place. Hey, yo, my man. I need some help. Hey. Hey, Kamaguchi-san. There we go. We got it, boys. We got it. Caragol swore during three minutes, so now I get to choose a punishment. Wow, snitch. Holy shit. Wow. 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 Nani? <laughs> Good luck with thinking of that switch. You heard anything? Actually, I mean, if you think about it, is bitch really a swear word? Hmm? Hmm? Well, I've heard of them, and I suggest you don't get involved. Context, yes. Female dog. <laughs> uh, what is that? The way I hear it. <laughs> no, I was, I was cussing my ass off, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> huh? So apparently, my child in Skyrim, my <laughs> I, I, I scanned it with my super eyes and I still see no commas or periods. I clicked on something. How did I open the condom collector again? That's what I'm saying. It's crazy. <laughs> Ooh. Nah, he gotta eat a scorpion too. I don't give a fuck, man. <laughs> They use threats, tricks, they will sing to any load to get the job done. And Adachi himself is the worst of the pack. He puts on a good show, but he's downright evil. No way. Not that I've seen it firsthand or anything. Hope that helps. TY TY TY. You know how many exalts Hello? I missed out on? During these six hours? Hey Kaito-san, where are you right now? I'm at Adachi's office, what's up? Just something I want to tell you about. I like... I did not say I like. I like was never said... Oh my... God, Switch. What the fuck are you doing with me this stream, bro? <laughs> I'm gonna go play Pokemon off stream. What? Yeah? I guess I'll wait for you here then. Oh shit, typo. Oh my god. It's a typo, but yo, my mans, if you want to own that quote, it's all good with me. I bet. Fuck that sign, dog. What the hell? And that sign, too. Okay, wait. So, how, um, if I just count... Oh my god. I was just counting paragraphs just to see how much uh, I have left of this. Where's my guy? Right here. Duck. There's that, there's that, there's that. I could hit. I, yeah, I could hit chapter 7. It's about the Dachi son, actually. Where is he? Where is he? He went to dinner at Kanrai, and I'm meeting him there later. Why? You want him to hear this? Nope. Nah, bro. I think it's better that he's gone, actually. Yo. Huh? I've heard some concerning stuff about the Dachi san so I just wanted to make sure you knew. Mm -hmm. As a friend, I'm looking out for you. Listen, what do you mean concerning? I wasn't out digging for dirt or anything, but people have been saying Adachi's company does dirty business. They'll go as far as to say that he makes Yakuza look friendly. I just want you to be careful, brother. <sighs> he came all the way over here just to tell me that, Tak? Something like that. Better safe than sorry. Then you wasted your time, bro. I've known this guy longer than I've known you. The world can say whatever it wants, but I know when to trust my instincts. It's my call. 
without a fight, bro. You're right, but still. I don't need you sticking your nose into everything I do, man. Don't you have your own shit to deal with? Right. I'll mind my own business. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and don't worry about me so much. See you around, motherfucker. Dang. Okay. Kanrai? Let's go. Kanrai would be over hither. We're gonna have to fight Kaito at some point, I feel like. Let him know where we stand on this motherfucking... Bring it on. I'll fucking fight you. Come here. Let's do the super stuff. Okay. Really, guys? Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, Swift. Let's see what... Swift, switch. I click on you. I click on you. I click on this. I click on this. And there I am. Okay, so what you got there, brother? Oh. <laughs> what what is that? <laughs> but yeah, no like was said in that motherfucker. Thank you. Thank you. All right, there we go. Yep. Excuse? Uh <laughs> Seeing these clips, maybe I'll stay offline for a bit longer. I'm taking a hiatus too. I'm pulling a duck. I'm going on vacation. Deuces! Uh -huh. Okay. Pebble. Now that's family friendly. <laughs> oh, are you still eating your pizza? <laughs> Switch with the sabotage. Get me into Conrad right now. Just imagine Swift still eating her pizza like Excuse <laughs> Not done here Okay There he is I gotta say his associate looks pretty rough Maybe I can get close enough to hear them without them noticing Okay It's time to pull off uh, what we call a pro gamer move Incognito. More like in vampiro. <laughs> Idiots. They have no idea. Listen, I want that land, and I don't care what you have to do to get it. You keep the Ushimada family out of this, you got it? You threw out an accent. Oh, I got a couple. I got a couple. You doubt me? I've been beefing up security, you know? I've even hired Kaito. He's built like a tank, he's built like a tank, and dumb as rocks. I assure you, I'm making every effort to crush him. The real problem is that the landlord is probably going to be stubborn. You sounded Italian. I, I got something in my bag, Swift. I got some Italian in my bag. Io capisco un po' l'italiano, huh? <laughs> I have a contingency in place already. Take a look. Oh. A girl? She's cute, but what's this have to do with it? Kidnapping, bro. She's the landlord's daughter, fresh into her first year of college. Moved out on her own and everything. I've already got her address. <laughs> I don't follow. I have one thing to say. Oh no, here we go. 
I'm out of six. Right? Teach me your ways. Sensei! <laughs> Damn, bro. And it's expensive. Like, the price of one Domino's pizza is like equivalent to. I would say damn near three pizzas from the local pizza shop. TBH. Let's just say I got some thirsty boys ready to go. That's nasty. And a picture is worth a thousand words in negotiation. Oh no. Can I fix this? Kata Sensei sounds fitting. <laughs> Filthy, cold blooded Klimt Squad goals. <laughs> what? Oh, I clicked it! Hold on, wait a minute. Lots of clips to stream. Hey, you, you're putting in work. You're putting in work. Okay, let's see if I go. So, I, I, if I look like this, is this. <laughs> clean, dude, clean. There's that, there's that, there's this. Okay, there we go. Oh boy, here we go, here we go. Okay. <laughs> Nobody wants his daughter's stolen virtue going viral. Ew. I'm sure he will see things our way. <laughs> Holy shit, Adachi. You really do put the Yakuza to shame. Anyway, let's wrap this up. I'm meeting Kaito in a few, and this is higher level than he needs to hear. Right. You got you, you got our future in your hands. Handle it. Adachi's a monster. And Kaito is falling for this. Kaito-san is on his way to Kanrai. I need to talk to him about this. We gotta let our fish do the talking. This is the way we gotta reason with our brothers sometimes. I beat your ass up in hey. a vampire cosplay, bro. Hey, Kaito son, you got a minute, man? Duck. Hey, what is it this time, Tak? Huh? Kaito! I'm getting sick of this. Yo, Kaito, I didn't keep you waiting, did I? Bro, you know what's so nice about you? Tell me, Pikachu, what's so nice about me, man? It's about that time I got reminded you're streaming even though I'm watching the stream. My phone is lagging badly. Ah, uh, yeah. Wait, why would it do that after almost six hours? I don't know why I just thought about it. Oh, Yagami-san. Perfect timing. You always got... Oops, didn't mean to say it. <laughs> okay, I think we need to put some things on the table here, Yo. brother. Yo, Tak, what's all this about, man? The rumors about Adachi-san were true, Kaito-san. This guy is scum. <sighs> Listen, man, didn't I tell you to drop this shit, Tak? You did, but that's because you two have history. But whatever happened between then and now, he's not the same. Yagami-san, what are you talking about? Huh? Don't play dumb with me, man. I heard your whole conversation in Kanrai. You got your eyes on some land, and you're sick enough to have your thugs hurt the owner's daughter to get it? Not only that, but you would film a sexual assault and then use it as your bargaining chip? I think I heard enough. Wow, that's dark. Maybe you misunderstood something, huh? No, I wouldn't call it that at all. Even Kaito-san is just a tool of your scheme. Mm. You know what, Kara? I dare you to play a game in Shades. You want me to go, uh, freaking uh, dog style, Dr. Disrespect? I got contacts. I can do it. But I feel like after a couple of hours, them shits would start drying out and I would go full fucking Steven Wonder in this bitch. Like, Kara go, why aren't you reacting? I'm fucking trying, bro. It's not... It, they dried out. <laughs> I can do that, though. I can do that. Uh, maybe that's punishment. You hear that, Switch? Maybe that's punishment. Playing shades. <laughs> that would be so, such a douchey move. This guy starts streaming, playing in shades. 
Oh, well, you see the green screen lighting. It requires me to, you know, protect my sensitive eyes. Kaito, you know what kind of guy I am, right? You think I'm capable of the horrible things he's saying about me? Kaito. Aibo. Kaito, trust me. Come with me and I'll prove it, man. Right. You always talk, talk the same way no matter how few or how many viewers you got. It's hard to explain, but even if it's just one viewer, you're just talking all the time, frequently, constantly. So you're not bored that it gets quiet and people without- what, what, that I can't- Listen bro, like there is a, there is a quota of translation and I'm hitting the fucking limit. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's also true, but then- if I play without the shades, and then my sensitive eyes, the protection would, it would get dried out. It, it just, I'll, I'll play like this, fam. It, ain't nobody trying. What's wrong with your eyes? It's a long story. Uh, if I even can read the message. Yeah, bro, but I'm too slow now. But yeah, I can't help it, Pikachu. I can't, I can't control how many people watch. I just gotta bring that energy. You know what I'm saying? It would take 20 minutes for my brain to say, I got you though. I got the, I got the yeah. gist. I signed up for the job, and I'm not going to back on my word. This is terrible fist bump, mate. Huh? Yeah, bro, that's what I'm saying. I got you. Your word, Kaito. Suck. This, this is your... Aniki! Sorry, Tuck. You're my brother and all, but I told you to stay out of this. Anything from here on is my problem to deal with. I'm not saying you're talking too much. I'm just saying it's nice. Yeah, I got that. I got that. Hmm? I've seen some streams where it's like, if you only got one, maybe two viewers, maybe not even that, maybe you're zero viewers and like, okay, you know what, I'll just, I'll just keep it on my own until people start coming in. It's like, I like to hide the viewer count, so I don't know. It doesn't stress me out that way. Kaito! Are we done here? We need to get going, Kaito. Yeah. Sure, bro. He's using you, Kaito-san. I won't let him drag it down with him. <sighs> Did you hear a word I said, Tak? I told you to butt out. We gotta fight. We gotta square dance out here. Hell nah, dog. I know the truth now, and I can't just turn a blind eye to this shit. And I'm telling you, I don't need your help, dog. Come on, Kaito-san. So you willing to do what it takes to stop me? Yeah. That didn't sound convincing, but I'll kick your ass if I have to. I just looked at what I said. It's not even, in, not even in Swedish. Is it correct? <laughs> I tried, bro. I tried, <laughs> but that last part it completely threw me off. I wouldn't recommend trying. I could go like, I could literally Google translate it like that type of stuff, but I don't think that's gonna be good. When was the last time you beat me in a fight? Never. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Talk. What's the move? <laughs> First blood. Oh shit, bitch. <laughs> Get fucked. Shoot my friend in the fucking face, bitch. What's up? Boom! That's an appointment at the dentist, dog. Ooh, get a tiger drop, Kaito. Come on. Oh, fuck me. Caps. I got it. Okay. Ah, come on, Tiger Drop. Tiger Drop. Oh my God. Okay, we are in trouble. 
I meant that people without accounts or shy people overall can watch without needing to write because you're talking frequently, which is nice for them. Yeah. I imagine like most uh, most people watching streams just keep them on a um, separate monitor and they just you know keep it as background sound. Okay, I ate so many mentos, bitch. <laughs> But I wouldn't pay too much attention to the numbers, bro. Ah, ah so close. You motherfucker, Kaito. Oh. Tiger drop. Fuck! Kneecaps. When all else fails, kneecaps. This time I got you. Oh my god, you're so toxic! I got you this time. Tiger drop incoming. Ah! The bro, the tiger drops are impossible. Get fucked, Kaito. Okay. That's why I'm talking about the numbers sometimes because of that. It's crazy you don't have more. <laughs> it's it's a luck thing maybe it's a likability thing maybe I don't know what it is but I can't change nothing you know what I'm saying when did you learn how to punch talk yesterday whoa whoa swift which pizza would you rather eat pineapple pizza or chicken alfredo pizza what the heck is chicken alfredo pizza It's a place in Sweden, apparently. Uh, chicken Alfredo pizza looks very creamy. Uh, worth a try, I guess. Considering how long you've been streaming, yeah. I can't. I will. What do you want me to do? <laughs> uh, I can't just be me. I guess I picked it up somewhere along the way. Did getting your ass beat you back to your senses, bro? Ha <laughs> ha. I could have done without it, you moron. I've been seeing straight this whole time. Huh? You still don't get it, Kaito-san? What's it gonna take? I'm out of ways to communicate to you, man. Why won't you trust me? I didn't even want to fight you. Tak, listen. Seriously, Kaito. Enough dicking around. You can't do guard duty if you're being bruised and beaten all the time. <sighs> My bad, Adachi. But it looks like I can't go with you. Honey? This stubborn son of a bitch isn't going to let me through. You want me to come along? You owe it to talk to prove your innocence right here and now. Innocence? What? So now I'm guilty of something? You don't believe me? Can't say that I do, actually. You've said a lot of shit that hasn't sat right with me ever since we met back up. Like what? I guess you will have to answer that after you try Chicken Alfredo. All I can say, it's bomb. Question, the thing is, I haven't seen any place that serves Chicken Alfredo pizza, though. I'll be on the lookout. Come on, man. We weren't drinking a bunch of times. You've said all kinds of shady stuff. I didn't, I didn't need talk to point out just how much you've changed. Huh? You've suspected him the whole time, Kaito-san. Then why did you... <sighs> I still would like to have seen it with my own eyes, Tak. That's why I took the bodyguard job. I figured I would be close enough to see it. And if it was going to pull some ill shit with me around, you bet your ass I would have kicked his to stop it. Okay, nah, I'm just saying I think you should have more. I'm not saying you should change anything. I fuck with you because you aren't doing shit to get more views. And that's some real shit. You just do what you like to do. And that's some real shit too. <laughs> I thought maybe I could bring him around. 
What the hell, man? You could have just said that. I ate so many bentos because of your ass. I tried to tell you it was my problem, man. I'm not eloquent with words. I, like I said, I'm the brawn of the operations, not the brains. But nah, you had to go poking your nose Yo. into it. So, Wadachi, let's hear it, dog. Yo, is my fucking battery good? Where can I see that? It's my fucking battery's dying? You have anything that would contradict tax account? <laughs> Fair. I see how it is. Thank God for friends, huh? And here you were trying to save me. <laughs> it brings a tear to my eye, truly. I'll take that as a no adachi. Kaito! You know what, Kaito? You're a pain in the ass. You've never known your damn place. An idiot like you should just follow orders, not think. Hmm. I've got some work for you, boys. Oh shit, I need to heal up. You both know too much. Now I got no choice. Uh. What's the plan, Kaito-san? <sighs> I can't believe I let this guy suck me in like that. This is no time to move, Kaito-san. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Okay, I might need to eat some more bentos. You're poison to any partnership. You asked for it. False. Okay, here we go. No. Okay. Uh, say hello! Thank you. Now. Uh, let's go. Luxury Yakiniku. And that. And that. There we go. That will do. Now, we go with this style. Mop him up, mop him up. I'll get to you. Whoa, he hurts. Action. My guy, please. Let me take care of the trash first, and then we'll deal with you. You're annoying. There you go, tiger drop. Come on! Jeez. Oh no. Now Swift is going all in on Swedish. I don't know, you might need to get a new phone, don't you? Oh, that's a brother! He helped me! My man. I think I've streamed for so long, your Twitch is about to, uh, implode. How- how many- how many, uh, ads have you gotten during this entire session? Come on, Kaito, let's reconsider, man. I'm gonna come into a nice stack of cash real soon, homie. I'll cut you in. We're friends, aren't we? Look at that face. Look at that face! Holy shit! That's fucking sleep paralysis, in, like, personified, bro. Get out of my sight, Adachi. If I ever see your face again, I'm gonna pound it. Pause. K Kaito. It doesn't matter, my shit all act hey. like they're alive. I've gotten like three or four, that's a demon in reality. God damn. <laughs> I can I can see the sequence of thoughts and events as that sentence was unfolding. It's interesting, actually. You sure it was wise to let him lose, Kaito-san? Yeah, what was I gonna do, man? Kill him? Nobody's gonna save him from the weight of his own deeds. As for me, not sure why I went looking for a new partner when I've already got one. Forgot my commas, my bad. It's all good, homie. It's all good. Hmm? If I get fumbled, though... You know why? <laughs> Partners, yeah. huh? When it's all said and done, I owe you more than anyone. So don't let me down. I won't, Kaito-san. I feel like my voice is giving out, so if the microphone is gradually getting closer to me, that just indicates that <laughs> the battery is draining. <laughs> uh... That's your thing. Wanna get cheesy? 
<laughs> Hell nah. <laughs> You're gonna leave me hanging, dude! <laughs> I uh, can't fucking leave me hanging, dude! <laughs> Holy shit. Fucking toxic bastard. <laughs> wow. Mushy, mushy. Yagami san, it's Sugiura. Wanna meet up and talk Kachihira? Heard of a place called Koi Bride? Oh, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. Southwest How do you all know this place? <laughs> Just gotta have connections. Anyway, I'll see you there. Now, I am adamant about my goal of reaching chapter seven. And I would like to say we're almost there, so. Wait, what's the new project? Does it say dick? Dick medium? Near darts. Oh, hey! Yes! I did it. Bronze tier backer, dude. Right, that's there. Oh, that's where it is. I thought Koi Bride was that. What? What is this? Conban wife. Oh, one is the wife, the other one is the bride. Gotcha. Well, earthworm, earthworm, farming earthworms. Hell yeah, brother. Now, I guess the play would be to actually eat something. Let's see. That that's okay. There is no way this is not a condom made. Oh, what? Mm -hmm. Who is this from? Just leave me alone, dog. Leave me alone, dog. Not leave me alone, dog. What am I, Superman? I'm a Superman, bro. Oh, now this. This is some mouth-watering stuff right here. Yo, get me that cab Angus beef sirloin steak, son. With a wild hamburg stick. That's... Damn! 500 grams of meat? Nice. I need to stop letting my YouTube autoplay or I might get some weird vids while playing while I'm not in the room. Good stuff. You should, you should autoplay uh, my videos. <laughs> okay. No, 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 off. Wow, that's Ryan. Nice. Oh, what? Oh, come on! And stay down. You have ruined the finale for me twice. Let me move. Okay. Chloe Bride, bro. Let's get it. Heat. Ah, shit. What is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> you got here faster than I thought you would, Yagami-san. <laughs> well, how'd it go? 
Find anything between Kajihira and Kazumi? <laughs> Just a couple of rumors, really. Then what's with that grin? Fine. You got me. You know that meeting they had? Turns out <laughs> it was about the ADDC. What? She might not be off the mark. I might be crazy. For years now, the Kajihira group has been secretly planning an absolutely massive redevelopment project. And where were they planning it? This plot of land right here. Crazy do what crazy does, bro. That's the ADDC. <laughs> yep, the area around it too. To be precise, Kajihira wanted all the land belonging to the Medical Institute, which, as you know, is managed by none other than the Ministry of Health. So Kajihira's redevelopment plan was premised on getting land from the Ministry of Health. That explains why Kajihira needed to talk to Minister Kazumi. If they want to go forward with the redevelopment, they'll have to shut the Institute down, including the ADDC. But is getting just one bigwig on board with the project enough? It is in this case. Apparently, Kazumi was already planning to shut the center down. Huh? See, the Institute was created with the goal of addressing Japan's aging population problem. Too many seniors, not enough babies, all that. But for the past 10 years, the money's been going into a black hole. People even call it a tax scam. I mean, they're not wrong. Management's just a bunch of crusty government types. I see. So if the Minister of Health says the time's up... Bye-bye, ADDC. Hello, giant plot of land. Wouldn't that reflect poorly on Kazumi, though? Maybe, but I doubt he'd mind so long as he got a nice kickback from it. And that's exactly what Kajihira put on the table. I'm sure it was enough to cover the damage. A big old bribe, basically. On top of that, Kajihira bought up all the land around the center years back to avoid rising prices. All he needed was the Ministry of Health's go-ahead. <laughs> They're not even trying to hide it. Yep, but as luck would have it, it just wasn't meant to be. One day, Kajihira's redevelopment project suddenly got flushed down the drain. Something happened preventing the ADDC from closing. It's all thanks to this guy. Kido and his 89 research. Yeah, you don't just shut down a dementia drug that could change the world. So Kazumi started singing 89's praises to anyone who'd listen. You know how it ends. The ADDC stayed in business, the money kept flowing, the research kept going. Kazumi brushed the whole deal under the rug. And pulled it right out from under Kajihira. Yep. Guy must have lost billions in the process. Wonder what that feels like. I'd guess he's not too happy with his 89 business. Right. How'd you get all this anyway? I literally asked you today. <laughs> You want to look behind the curtain, huh? What? Nah, it's not that impressive. It was all published online last year. It was a pretty gripping article, but they couldn't substantiate their claims. Everyone wrote it off as tabloid nonsense. I think they might have been right. W why? The piece is by Kohatori. He's an asshole. You know him? Yeah, we go back. But apparently he stormed Genda's office today looking for an interview. Huh? Doesn't that mean you can ask him yourself? You better get a move on. Uh, I guess I'll have to. Kajihira has lost a ton of money because of his ADDC business. Does that have anything to do with why Shintani and those Kyore guys got murdered? So I'm trying to figure out what to get Sparkles, the salty sister. Got any suggestions? She like TikTok and very trendy. It's like, like complete opposite of me. I'm not very trendy at all. Um, I have no clue to be honest with you. <laughs> I have no idea. It's difficult. Thanks, Pikachu. Ah. Genda Law Office. Okay. I can do this. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. Shoot that one. Fuck that place. 
my son. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Backseat these nuts. I know, I know which uh, redeem is your favorite one. Okay, so we got Swift with the play the sax, uh, Pikachu with the oh Jesus Christ, Hydrate and backseat. Kevin with the Turkish Batman, but I think that's mostly him looking out for me because I like that one so much. Get the fuck out of here! And then let's see. Gordon. Seaweed onigiris. I'll take bento lancets. <laughs> Excuse me, pick. You want to say that to my face? <laughs> Have you guys ever eaten these sandwiches that they sell from the stores? Like, uh, no, Pikachu, Pikachu, uh, lost the chicken race. It was like, no, I don't want it. Do I want the, uh, Capital Knight? That's good. That's good. All I heard was the redeem pulling me out of spacing. It's getting that late, huh? It's getting that late. It is actually. Okay, let's do this. Ooh. Wait, wait, there's so many things. Hold on. New project. Is it. This is it. This is it. Of course it does. It works for 3,000 points as well. I oh, still have a fair bit of your day left, Swift. What kind of plans you got? Uh, so we did that. This. I have a fantastic way of making SP now. And I have the Paradise VR. I think I have everything set. I think next stream... All of my skills should be maxed out. Maybe. Oh, hey, Yagami-san. Satori not. still here? No, he actually left a while ago. Oh, yeah? <laughs> you really did scare him off then, huh? More like he couldn't handle Saori-san staring into his soul. <laughs> Who can? She mad close. By the way, um... Hmm? Afu you. Offer you. I came to offer condolences for Shintani Sensei. That's not the only reason. Tell Yagami san straight. Damn. That's a wingman right there. Right. Anyone else got something to say before I speak to Mafuyu? Go talk to Mafuyu. Okay then. I guess Genda Sensei took the day off today. He must be taking Shintani Sensei's death pretty hard. You think so? Something you needed to say? Yes. Well, Izumira wants to take you in, Yakumi kun, for Shintani Sensei's murder. Does he? A detective by the name of Kuroiwa said I was a material witness, too. What is going on, Yakumi kun? Hey, I could ask you the same thing. Just to be sure, you didn't do it, did you? What do you Me? think? Me? Kill Shintani? Yes. Of course I didn't. How could you even ask? I'm a prosecutor, remember? Doubting people is my job. So why is Izumita suspect me? Does he even have anything to go on? I I'm not sure. They're leaving me out of the loop on purpose, I think. But even Morita-san suspects you. They really don't like me, huh? I don't think they can charge you with a murder on the grounds of not liking you, Yakumi-kun. Well, either way, I'm glad you didn't kill anyone. Why is that? But if anything comes up, feel free to get in touch. 
If it's within my power, I'll do what I can to help. Thanks, Ma, for you. Wait, that's all? See you later. Say goodbye again to Sensei for me. Wow. She chickened out, dude. I'm gonna need to look at the playthrough on YouTube to get through chapter 4. So my boyfriend's friend, who is a Leo, I became friends with, as well as... So when me and my boyfriend visit his state for a vacation, I'll get a... <laughs> Wait. So my boyfriend's friend, who is a Leo, I became friends with. Why did you throw at his sign like that? <laughs> <laughs> This is important. This is pertinent. This is did mad relevant. Did Sugiura-san end up this finding anything? Leo, okay? What's the latest? <laughs> he did. Apparently, Kajihiro was trying to get Kazumi to close down oh, the ADDC. Oh, losing it, dude. What the hell is that? Wait. What? He Sucks wanted to use the there. center's land for his redevelopment project. But then the AD9 research came out and threw a wrench into things. Kajihiro lost a lot of money. Wait a second. That means he's connected directly to the ADDC. According to Hattori's article, at least. Hattori-san wrote about it? That's why I stopped by. I wanted to ask him about it in person. So, he hangs around when you don't want him, and then when you need him, he's nowhere in sight. <sighs> that guy's the worst, seriously. Hello? Yagami-san, it's Sugiura. Do you have the camera uh, too close, bro? Did a woman leave that bro? office you hang around in? Hmm? Oh, you must mean Mafuyu. Oh, I didn't know her name. She's pretty, though. Wait, Thanks. does that mean you've been following me? I'll tell you later. I'd worry more about all the Yakuza tailing Mafuyu-san. Huh? Yeah, it's like four Yakuza. Maybe more. What should okay. I do? We should do something, right? I'll be right there. Where are you? Head straight to Theater Square once you're down. And be quick got about you. it, yeah? I can't take them all by myself, Yagami-san. I got you, I got you, I got you. I say that because apparently Leos and Scorpios don't get along with it that well. Ooh. Has that historically been the case as well when you have met other Leos? You coming, Yagami-san? I'm on my way, I just dude. left Genda's office. How's my for you? Fine for now. But maybe not much longer. Those Yakuza are getting closer by the minute. You gotta Can't hurry, move. yagami -san. Can't move. She's just about to cross Theater Square. Uh, it's an invisible wall. What? Excuse me. The fucking theater is right there. I like this music. Are you there, Yagami-san? Mafuyu just went left on Theater Avenue. Got it, thanks. So now, what do we do? She's got even more Yakuza on her tail now. Way more than four by my count. Are they on her about some Yakuza related case? What family are they from? I haven't figured that out. Better just to get over to her quick. I wish you could walk and talk. Yo, roads closed, pal. You're Yagami, yeah? I don't have time <laughs> for this. What is that? Afraid that's not your call. We've got an appointment with the lady prosecutor, you see. What? You heard me, asshole. Now step the fuck back, or else! Okay. Take care of the knife wielder first, of course. Wow, get fucked. Okay, and then we go with, uh, Hyper Punch. Oh, fuck off, my Fuck off, yeah. I said, boom! Do it again. Boom! Cool. Next. <sighs> Damn it. Who are you? And why are you following Mafuyu? <laughs> Don't think we're giving up that easy. Yo, need a hand talk? Yes, please. Kaito san. I'm kind of bummed you started the party without me, man. I'm raring to go. What the hell? 
Not a second too late. Mind taking care of these guys? What the hell? You got backup? Ma for you, Chon? She's not in trouble, is she? Handle it, please. See ya. I get it. You guys are tailing Ma for you, Chon. He's I connecting can't exactly the pieces. let that kind of shit slide, assholes. Ugh. Shit slide, assholes. So Get it? Got it? Good. Can you hear me, Yagami-san? Are you still coming? Yep. I'm coming. How's my for you? Safe. Over on Nakamichi Street now. Her and, uh, four more Yakuza. I don't know if I can take him on my own. Got it. I'm turning onto Nakamichi Street now. Hurry, okay? Watch your back, Yakimi-san. Looks like the Yakuza are onto you. Huh? All four of them are heading your way. So they drop tailing her? Got it. Keep an eye on Mafuyu for me. Wait, wait, grab that, grab that. That's not what I wanted to grab. But it works. His name was Kawaii. I smell trouble. I am trouble. I thought it was on the bull's horns, bro. Now it hurts. Next. Konoyero. I'll know me by name? Let's go. Oh god, it's a V! Oh no! There's no way! Okay, you just relax right there, okay? Oh, 
I'm tempted to fight like this the rest of the stream. Whoa, 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 I'm dying. Goddamn shit labs, scam labs, goddamn trash labs. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna eat some tuna and egg sandwiches. They heal absolutely nothing. Why is it free select you don't know, huh? Mm -hmm. okay. One down. Stop. Does Tiger drop opportunities if you would just take them? My Shita is dead. Kawamura. I did it. Very stylish finish right there. Beautiful. I'm BRB. Alright. Oh, I'm getting hungry, bro. I should not eat. Damn. 20 past 12? You okay? Yeah. I think so. When I get in that zone, Kevin, you know what Who happens. Who were they? Not a clue. I'm only here because a friend tipped me off. Kaito-san helped too. Don't forget to thank him later. I don't understand, though. Why would the Yakuza come after me? Sorry, give me a second. Are you okay, Yakuza-san? How's your friend? She's okay, thanks to you, Sakura. Oh, glad to hear it. By the way, I'm tailing that van that tried to nab her. Great. We'll need to figure out where it was going. Right. Hello, Izumeda-san. This is Fuji. Oh yeah, Yagami-san. Those Yakuza or Kyore. I recognized a few of them from KJR. Why would the Kyore go after Mafuyu? Uh, we might be better off asking them that in person. Think you can head over now? No. I need to make sure Mafuyu gets home safe first. I'll call you later. I'll be fine. Don't worry. Izumida-san says he'll send some officers over for me. The Kyore clan is a Kansai-based group, yes? They're the ones who were harassing me? Looks like it. As for why... Because you're cute. <laughs> nah. It's because you know me. I think it was probably to get to me. Huh? I got kind of... Involved with the Kyore clan. That's gotta have something to do with this. What are you doing messing with Yakuza? What is it? The wire? I saw them hit you earlier. Oh. Are you hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Holy no. shit. I'm gonna make sure this never happens again. I'm not hmm? a criminal. Why would I I'll ask sort her this that? out with those Kyore guys? <laughs> you can't. That's not safe. Don't worry about me, okay? I'll stay far away from Kamurocho for a while. In fact, maybe you should come with me, Yagami-kun. Lay low for a while. Uh... The carriage awaits. You gonna be okay? That looks fishy as shit. I'm sorry, but I can't leave now. Not yet. Why, though? It looks like the killer we're after now somehow connected to the murder three years ago. That would mean... the Shinpei Okubo case? Yeah. Right before Shintani was killed, he tried to contact a researcher named Shono at the ADDC. The same Shono who testified against Okubo in the trial. That's all you have? <laughs> I'm still trying to piece everything together. But I have to keep going until this puzzle is solved. You know, it's been three years since I've seen you this worked up. Hmm? It's kind of refreshing, actually. Huh? <laughs> you just look so... alive. You're calling me depressed? Maybe I am. 
See you later. Hello? Hey, it's Yagami. Those offices don't seem Where right to me, man. Turns out the van never even left Camarocho. They all got out at some sketchy cabaret. A place called Honmaruen on Park Boulevard. Park Boulevard. Honmaruen. Gotcha. Gaito-san's heading over too. Gotcha. I'll be there ASAP. Okay. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. Um, that place is over there. I want to get to... Fuck, where's the nearest popo mate? It's this one, isn't it? And then I take a cab there. I think that's the plan. Huh? Oh my god, bro. Leave me alone, man. Leave me alone, man. For real, for real, man. I am playing with... That's a fucking Lamarche, bro. That ain't no damn popo. This is... Oh. Um, so here's the thing, I kind of have to stock up on goodies because, oh shit, uh, oh shit, uh, let's go, let's go, okay, cool, that's number one, number two, I ate all them two. And the thing is, let's see if I can do something like this. Yeah, I tore this up. One thing I can do is this, right? Go here, here, request, pop off, beautiful, and then I go back. Okay, and then... Oh, I'm, I'm fucking out, input delay. And then... I believe the play is doing something like this. Um, sashimi platter. Hand selected vinegar mackerel, hochori salads, and that's it. Do that. And then. Back to it. Arigatou gozaimashita. And then what we do is. Hunt down the nearest cab, basically. Like right hither. Okay, 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 okay. Get in. Very nice. I would say that. Drop me off here. And then what we do is. Shit. You think you would let me? No, right? If it's a dangerous place, the game will be like, yo, are you absolutely sure you want to go in here? At which point we'll say no. But let's see. Yeah. Condoms. Yep. Mushy mushy. Doc, it's Kaito. What's up? Hey, where are you? I'm almost to the cabaret. Right out front. Sugiura's here too. Okay, I'll be there in a sec. <laughs> Fuck, it's the same place. God damn it. I don't wait, 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 wait. No, it's not. 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 Let's do this. Uh fourth floor. 
real quick. What's up, my guy? Well. And then. Hmm. Huh? I have no idea. I've researched modern medicine and folk medicine from all over the world too. And it seems these extracts I make are based on something completely different from all known pharma pharmacology. So it's like an alien form of medicine or something. That's why. <laughs> now, let's see. If I do something like this, this. Where's the request? Holy shit. An extract recipe to knock out an enemy in two hits. What? Mysterious stone and gold tuna cat food. I know the gold tuna cat food is sold by Onodera in the sewers, but the mysterious stone though? Hmm. Question mark. First one. Okay. Now. To the meat and potatoes of the stream. This is gonna get messy, I feel like. Over here, Todd. Where? Wait. Gundam! No, oh, empty ball. What are you doing, bro? Look. That's the van we tracked. Mm -hmm. Right. Does that mean this is another Curie hideout? Wouldn't be surprised. Who knows how many of the bastards are going to be in there. But are you ready to find out? Okay. Yeah, anytime. Yeah, let's roll. What is that pose, bro? Huh? Hey, do you guys even have a plan? Don't need one. What? There could be a freaking army in there. <laughs> Doesn't matter how many there are. Yeah, I don't really care. Besides, I'm not in the mood for strategizing. <laughs> Why not? Come on, man. You think he's gonna let him slide after they hit his girl? You guys are freaking nuts. All right, it's all you, Utah. <laughs> you get to take point on this one. Let's go. What's the play? AOE attacks or high single target? Clubs AOE. rented out, asshole. Can't you fucking read? Oh, I can read, all right. Wait, aren't you? It's Yagami! Stop where you are! So, this is where you were gonna drag Mafuyu chan, huh? Hmm? Who gave the order? Was it Marase? Or maybe it was Shioya? What's it matter? We wanna talk to the big boys. Yeah, what he said. Shut it! But fine! If you wanna fight, Bring it on, asshole! Let's get it. Oh, shit! Ah, uh, that attack upgrade? Coming in clutch already. Beautiful. Shall I start gaming now or wait until tomorrow? I'm hey! In. You're out of step, dumbass! You're never gonna get any laughs with moves like that! Give me some fire, chuckleheads! That was fucking clean! Now. About time, bro! Alright! Un, deux, trois! Un, deux, trois! Un, deux, trois! Whatever it is, killing the mood. Onaki! It's Yagami! Huh? <laughs> 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 Okay. 
Where's my crewmates? Okay. Two boy! There they are! Okay. Boom, bitch! Oh shit, that's foul. Oh, you fucked now. Oh my god! What are you walking on? Something I should not question. Something I should just forget. You're not getting away! Shit! Jesus Christ, I'm the best of the life. It's more. Just go, tough. We'll be fine. Sure? Alright. You've got this. Right. My eyes. I'm not accustomed. Ooh, what is that? Healing? On the mountain key. Uh, nani? Oh, some, 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 some. Okay. Why am I yeah. bad? Relax, bro. It's, it happens. All right. Got it. It's Yagami! Holy shit! That's our first gun! I was going to laugh it was a condom, holy shit. Holy shit. Could you imagine? Don't you wouldn't shoot your mate, would you? Fucking coward! Let go of him! And why would I do that? You're the coward! Oh, the gun dissolved, bro. Toxic thing. No goodies. Now it's starting to feel like a Yakuza game up in this motherfucker, man. Is there someone behind that? Another right thing? gun. You know those are illegal, right? This is my eighth Yakuza game. I got this. <gasps> goody, 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 goody. I want it. Gun, gun, gun! What the hell? Wow, that's a whole ass sofa. Get rocked. We're doing well. Behind door number one, nothing. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Archer. Perfect. Teach me your Yakuza ways, Karakun. <laughs> Simply, you just mash a button, mate. <laughs> and you, 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 um. Holy shit, what the fuck was that? Teach. I should teach myself my own ways. The tiger drops. The tiger drops are innate. Let's go this way. R2. Got it. Yep. What's in this room right here? Huh? Okay, let's see. I got a goodie over there. Let's get it. Stop. Just get the goodie. Thank you. R2. Perfect. Yep.
What is that? This calls for a wire. I have seven left. Let's fucking get it. Almost there. Nice. Beautiful. Almost there. Oh my god, okay. Got it. Beautiful. Now, what do we have in here? Hey, that toughness is also in Yakuza 0 and every other Yakuza game. It's it's a staple, basically. It's a staple. Staminion X, the same as the... Uh, that's the same as well. What else do we have here? Open the door. What? Open the door. <laughs> oh, maybe this. So, what do we have here? This is very elaborate now. I'm lost. Okay. But there was one goodie I missed. Chalk! Kaito-san, Sugira, you made it. Told ya. Trust us next time, man. Right. Let's get going. You got any goodies? No. Oh? Oh, shit! What the? Kick it back, kick it back! Drop something! <laughs> oh, that was fucking cool. That was fucking cool. We bicycle kicked it, and my frames went to shit, but it is what it is. Okay. But we have medkits, we're fine. Oh, she stood no chance. Jesus Christ. I was just play dead at that point. Screw that. So wait, what do we have? We have walk over? Nope, never mind. Yep. And then we have that. We have this. We're fine. Relax, those are your mates. And uh Oh my. Boss? Boss? Why am I not surprised, Shioya? <laughs> I know how to make an entrance, don't I? It's damn good to see you, Yagami. Wish I could Crying see this shame thing. these idiots were so goddamn useless, though. Guess strength in numbers ain't all it's chalked up to be. Pansies, you all trying to get your fingers chopped off tonight, huh? You tried to kidnap Mafuyu. Hmm. <laughs> Girls? <sighs> you should have just told me if you wanted to fight. Would have been glad to do it at my place. What is it you want? Well, I've got a little job I need done. You boys in? What job? I'm not in the business of being refused, so I needed to take out an insurance policy. That's why I decided to give that girlfriend of yours a little ride. <laughs> Fuck off! We oh, would have done it for next to nothing. Almost no questions asked. We're that desperate? Damn right. But now this asshole went and hit Mafuyu-chan. 
So we're never gonna help him, no matter what he says. <laughs> we're that And desperate? even if Tak ends up on board, I'll still kick your ass! Have a little faith, huh? <laughs> a couple of comedians, huh? Oh. Fuck it. Looks like I'm just gonna have to bust your pathetic skulls myself. Easier that way. Yeah? You're gonna need more people, now go. man. Break their fucking faces. We don't have any gunmen, but we have at least three knife wielders. Yep. That's one! Of the knife wielders, because you don't want to get more to the <laughs> And now we have amassed quite a bit of this, so I find that that's another one. Damn, this game wouldn't be a lot of YouTube because apparently we're getting trouble with the person in the video. Account. Yeah, but YouTube is a fucking cesspool. YouTube is trash. Hey, here. Another one down. Could we heal a little bit? Okay. Fucking putting in work right. All right, now. You guys sleeping on the job? Reinforcements? Take him out, boys. Wow, really? I'm healing in that case. Fuck that. Um, let's go with some tuna and egg sandwiches. Yeah. Uh, oh fuck! I dropped these. Get hot, Shioya. Damage though. Oh shit, this is bad. He's chasing me! Good job, boys. Good job. Drop him, dude. Drop him. Fucking drop him, dude. What are you doing? Take care of him, so we can gang up on this motherfucker. And then let's eat. Now we should be fine. Ooh, you fuck now, bitch. Uh, as soon as I finish this chapter, and I'm assuming it's about to end. So not much fun. Beautiful. Easy. Basically, my intention is to finish this game before the weekend is over. I think we're going to be able to achieve that goal. But we'll see. We'll see. You good? 
You want a tuna sandwich, bro? Jimmy? What the? Hey, look who it is. Was that Shona? Your old buddy Hattori, isn't it? No, that's not Shona. Great. And who's the old man? Well, well. Never thought I'd be running into him here. Huh? So... KJ, President? You're the ones from the Yagami Detective Agency. It's stiff as shit, uh, That old man is the person responsible for all 10,000 employees in the Kajihira group. Shigeru Kajihira. So hey, he's the guy. Hmm. There it is. Oh, I, I mean, I have to leave it off where I, you know, I, just, where I can free roam a little, little bit, a little, 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 little bit. Previously, with the mole's murder of Shintani, the police begin to suspect Yagami and subpoena him. The cases of both past and present become a volatile mix at the ADDC. At one point, the land it sits on had been the target of a redevelopment scheme. And behind that plan, the Kansai-based construction company, the Kajihira Group, and its chairman, Shigeru Kajihira. Chapter 7, Limelight. Uh, that old man is the person responsible for all 10,000 employees in the Kajihira group. Shigeru Kajihira. So he's the guy. Shigeru Kajihira. You're familiar with Hattori-san here, yes? He's told me a great deal about you, Yagami-san. Me? He even clued me in on the perfect way to get inside your head. You better not be talking about Mafia, you child. As I understand it, you two are practically family. The young lady is quite fond of you, you know. I take it you're the one who gave Shioya the order to kidnap her then? <laughs> I wanted to see what you were capable of. Huh? Now that I know, the Cure clan will leave you alone. I can guarantee you that. Let me guess. There's a condition? There's something I'd like you to do. A job only a detective can handle. Here we go. A year ago, I set in motion a plan to redevelop a massive plot of land owned by the Ministry of Health. Yeah, I know. Hattori-san's article told me as much. <laughs> Sharp. Our plan was to take over the entire medical institute. That's enough land there for three or four Kamurochos. So I struck a deal with Minister Kazami and bought up the surrounding properties for next to nothing. All that remained was closing down the ADDC and the other arms of the institute. But I don't have enough time on this planet to wait for that to just happen naturally. So I turned to a man named Hashki. Here's a shot of the man. I've never seen this guy before. At the time, Hoshki was the vice director of the ADDC. But tempting him to join me was easy enough. But soon we were working together to sabotage the center. Sabotage? Yes, he drove out the ADDC's most promising talent and sold their cutting edge research to rival labs. He performed his part admirably. Sounds like a real douchebag, if you ask me. So, you're saying you bought off a government official? Yes, and it was easy. But then, just as the ADDC was on its last legs, something breathed life back into it. Which was? AD9. Mr. Kazumi did a complete 180. He took Kido's side and vowed to keep the center open. That drug 
ruined the whole damn operation. And where's Hashti now? Dead. What? He was beaten to death some six months ago. Somebody murdered the vice director of the ADDC? They're still not sure who was responsible. The cops wrote it off as a drunken brawl, and that was the end of it. Yagami-san, I want you to investigate Hashki's death. I have reason to believe it was premeditated. And what makes you think that? You sound pretty sure. He was suspicious of AD-9. Thought it was all a hoax. A hoax? But why? Just when we started talking about closing the center, along came this revolutionary new drug to save the day. The timing was too convenient. That's what Hashki thought, at least. He was sure that there was more to AD-9 than met the eye. So he did some digging, and not long after, he was murdered. Are you saying Director Kido bumped him off? It's a pretty serious accusation. If that were the case, I'd still be able to shutter the center. The redevelopment project would begin anew, and all my investments would finally turn a profit. But as of right now, I'm a hundred billion in the red. That's a lot of money! Say that again. I can't leave that large an investment on the table. No wonder you're so hung up. Spend a lot of exalts. <laughs> I have a new question. If you could have a drink with a video game character, who would that character be? Oof, you asking me this question after seven hours of streaming? Uh... Bayonetta, because she's thick. <laughs> Ma, what you drinking? <laughs> Whoever killed Hashki probably did it to spite Kajihara. Most likely someone working to protect AD9. The ADDC is hiding something. What about you? I'm sure of it. And that lawyer, Shintani, was close to figuring out what. At least until he got his eyes gouged out. Things are not all they seem to be at the ADDC. And if that's the case, you must want to know the truth, too, Yagami-san. That's why I came to you. There's nobody else I could ask to do this. So, as soon as the uh, game lets me move, I'll, I'll call it. But I am pretty, you know, when I get into the mood, bro, you know. Mafia, you almost got kidnapped thanks to you. Anything you want to say? Chairman Kajihira pretty much kidnapped me, too. Going after your girl wasn't my idea. I was just looking out for myself. Still feels like you owe us an apology. This guy doesn't have a spine, does he? <sighs> that guy's the fucking worst. <laughs> hey, shouldn't we roll out of here? Our friend's just about waking up. Good point. Let's go. Yeah, name's Hushki. Used to be vice director of the ADDC. Mm-hmm. Murdered in Kamurocho six months ago. Sorry to spring this on you, Hoshino. Think you could get all that for me by tomorrow? Okay, thanks. You too, bro. Thanks for hanging out today. Well, looks like that's it for today. See you at Genda's tomorrow? Sounds good. Night, boys. Yagami-san. What's up, Sugira? I was just thinking, teaming up with you was the right call. Should make some progress on my investigation, now that Kajihira himself is out in the open. I wouldn't have saved Mafuyu without you, either. Thanks again. No problem. Yeah, yeah, that's what I like Let me know here, if man. anything else comes up. Okay, perfect. 
A full night's sleep sounds pretty good right about now. Man, you ain't fucking kidding! Okay, so if I take a look... <laughs> no, enough taking looks. Wow, holy shit. Holy shit. The eastern side of town is pretty, uh, pretty, uh, side casey. I don't know, would you guys get mad if I, uh, took care of these off camera? Let's get my the outro. I think you should, because I'm about to leave. And I'll just play a nice little, uh, a decent R&B track, just end the day off. So what was your answer for my question, I had to do something? I said... Bayonetta, but then I thought about Samus Aaron, then I thought about this, that, and the third. But the motivation basically boils down to it's because she's thick. That's it. <laughs> so, uh, I might take care of these off camera, off stream. I might take care of any friend quest that I might have. I'll do a whole lot of um, grinding basically. And hopefully, next session, next stream, maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday. We'll beat this game and after that we'll start the new game but i want to thank everybody who joined pikachu swift kevin aj switch uh disco jensen everybody who lurked zendragoon for rating me as well appreciate y'all so much and switch even um subscribe and this was an amazing session i want to thank you guys i had so much fun so what we're gonna do here is, let me just go ahead and say, El Gato, how about you relax for a second? Just for a second, man. Just kill that. Like that. Now, I'll see you guys when I see y'all. What else can I say? What else can I say, man? <laughs>